that this is going to be a daily run, hopefully all boss, Wisp run. So the goal is to kill every boss in Noita using a Wisp. If you don't know what a Wisp is, you'll you'll learn pretty quick. It's like a it's like a, a, a term that the community uses. But uh, let's go ahead and start it up, and I can get ranting on that. So daily run, yes. Uh, let me make sure. Okay, daily run is grayed out, and we are good to go. Um. Whoop. Let's go get the orb. Why did the YouTube video start overlapping with Twitch streams? Used to be it was the only event runs this happened. Uh, actually, I don't think I have many of my event runs on Twitch. I have a couple of them. I mean, most of them have been um, just right, like just from the stream. Very few of my event runs have been uploaded because the event runs are usually really long, so they're not exactly the oh, most really watchable. Wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Like, uh, you know, my 36 hour orb ladder challenge. I don't know if that would do too well as a YouTube video. Like, okay, I gotta sit here and watch 36 hours of Noita. Woo! Oh my god, almost hit me. Uh, Cryptic Squid, thanks for the Prime 3 monther. Alright, sorry, I wanted to get this before I went ranting too much. I had to focus up. <laughs> what now, Mr. Pepe Doll? My what? Oh, actually, the keyboard you probably do hear pretty much a lot right now. Let me get it. Let me get the mic adjusted a little bit away from that. All right. Thank you for giving me a heads up. We'll see. I don't know if today's run will even be watchable for the YouTube peeps. We'll have to. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so what's a wisp? Good, good, good question there, Discrasia. So what the community defines as like a wisp is um, there are these projectiles that you can create that were discovered in the early days of Noita, and what it is is uh, basically there is a I don't, I don't want to call it a bug, but there's a mechanic that the devs never intended for the players to use. At least it doesn't seem like they ever intended for the players to use it. Where you can make it where a projectile doesn't uh, die, doesn't time out. So every projectile has a set amount of time before it just disappears. See, the spitter bolts is very short; it disappears very quickly. But every projectile can be made so that it's uh, time to expire. It actually becomes infinite. It does not. Uh, it just doesn't expire. It's just alive forever. So then. The thing that usually kills off the projectile are other things, like maybe it hits an enemy, so it dies, or it hits the ground and it dies off. So there's so a wisp would be a projectile that has an infinite lifetime that you've also had an, uh, all the mo you have all the modifiers modifiers set up in such a way that the wisp will not die off to anything, like it will just stay alive for everything. So you can oh, make really it follow you, you around. See this guy right now. He is and it looks like a wisp. It follows the character around, and then it sees an enemy nearby. It'll run over, kill them, and then run back to you. Right in the early game, it's kind of weird just to describe it. Uh, hopefully, you'll if you if you are checking this out, or hopefully this run does well, and we make it to the late game, so you can actually see it in action. I really hate when this happens at the beginning. So I think if I go through here, it's probably a dead end. Nope. Yep, and so this wand is in a rough spot. FM says it's intended or endorsed retroactively. There's a Steam achievement. Yeah, they, there wasn't one originally. They added the uh, the gods are impressed after people. Um, I remember specifically like Nymph's Pyre and Alias really making the oh my gosh, really making them popular. But then I think they were kind of like, screw it. But yeah, I have no idea if they intended for the community to actually go wild with it like they did. That's not bad. I think that'll get into there. That's oil. I think I think that may be exactly what we need there. Ooh, 
look at that. It's a, it's a pretty good early game wand. I mean, obviously we can't really use it too much right now, but once we move some of those resources around, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll try to speed up the early game a bit more than I usually do. I'm playing pretty slow right now, but I'll try to go faster. That way we can get to the, the juicy part soon. For my YouTube peeps, I've been trying to uh, record this <laughs> a, a video for them for a while now. And I still don't even know if today's will go up because we've had lots of issues with uh, our new setup. We have a 1080p stream now and a new computer. And with it has become stability issues and all kinds of fun problems. So none of the videos that I have been hoping to post on YouTube has gone up there. Uh, maybe today's will be different, I don't know, or today will be just another video where OBS crashes and I say screw it and throw the whole video away. We will see. What is that? Ambrosia, whoa, not bad. The Otter says, watching this reminds me of how fun Noita is. I don't know if that's sarcasm. <laughs> I hope it's not sarcasm. I love Noita. But right now we are in the slow part of the game. Uh, all right, hold up. But yes, there is an achievement. There is a Steam achievement for what we're doing today. Uh, don't worry, whenever we get to that part, I will make sure to explain in detail. But I don't want to go too extreme on the details whenever I may die in the first or second area. I don't want to go on like a 30 minute rant and then just never even reach the Wisp stage. Because then, then we'd have to do another run later and do the rant all over. But if that does happen, at least we'll have a video to throw up on YouTube where I, where I die. <laughs> it could be an entertaining death. Oops. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to pour out this worm blood we got going on here. That was rude. Guy throwing TNT at me. Well, I'm pouring out my, my worm pheromone. I think, I think I called it worm blood. I meant worm pheromone. Is that a new camera? Your colors are popping. Yeah, the colors are a little bit jank. They're not too natural right now. They're they're close, but yeah, they they're not they're not quite right. But for now, you have to deal with maybe some popping colors. And I mean, I and I'm all in orange too, so it's really popping. If your eyes are bleeding, just put a sticky note over that camera. Our whole setup, you know, this is this is now our second week trying to get this setup working for us. It makes you look older. <laughs> it's is it aging me? All the wrinkles. I need I need to I need to make it where the camera blurs a little bit so that you guys can't see the the age, the gray hairs. Why don't you drink that flask of worm pheromone? Why exactly would you want to drink a flask of worm pheromone? That's the better question, I think. I always put a sticky note, sticky note over you, Dunk. <laughs> Don't reveal my strats. Thank you, Chad. Real confident booster. Building my confidence. Got some Disney. Oh yeah, I will get some Disney princess filters. Don't worry, I'll be, I'll be beautiful soon, Chad. Right now you're seeing unfiltered, sweaty Dunker Slam, which is a little harsh on the eyes. Give me time. But for real, I do need to get some better camera settings. It's just, it's been difficult to, to work with. And I've been doing so much, you know, computer stuff these days that I'd rather, I end up just liking to do other stuff. I'm like, eh, I just, I just putting it off. What about getting the bridge orb with invisibilium? That's a good call, especially considering that uh, we aren't going to be killing the bridge boss for a long time. Because we're supposed to be doing all bosses with the wisps. So there's almost no chance that we get a wisp that early to kill, to kill the bridge boss. So I think you have a great idea there. Let's do that. Let's go steal from the bridge boss. Speaking of the bridge boss, if you guys didn't hear, uh, Woat did put up his bridge boss cheese mod that trains players how to do the bridge boss cheese. He did put it up on the workshop. I'll probably be making a video about that as well for the YouTube channel in the next day or so. I was wanting to do this video you know, like a week or two ago, actually several days ago, I guess is when I really sat down and I was about to do it. But then I saw that Woat's mod wasn't up and I thought Woat did a fantastic job with that mod teaching people because it was helping me, you know what I mean? Try to master how to do the bridge boss cheese. 
So now that the mod is up, I'll probably make a video on it and link that Wode's, uh, Wode's fantastic mod that he created. Alright, so remember the way this works. What we've done is we've hit a trigger point right here, right? So it's it's activated, uh, it's activated the main trigger, which is right here. Now this area, if if the player crosses this, it is going to spawn in the boss. But if the player is invis, it doesn't actually spawn in the boss. So it, later, though, the the reason I'm I'm specifically pointing that out is because I have activated that trigger that that trigger zone. So if later I go to kill that bridge boss, I got to remember that I already activated that trigger zone. So if I touch that spot, the boss is going to spawn in. He's going to be good to go. So we got we to gotta keep that in mind, you know, make a mental note so that later when I fight the bridge boss, uh, because normally, <clears throat> normally when I go over there, I cross over that zone, go touch the orb area, then I go back, right? But now it's just going to be the moment I hit that zone, he's going to be ready to throw down. Got to be ready. Didn't check the ceiling, check, uh, didn't drain the water, check, uh, true, ch we're not bridge boss cheesing right now. <laughs> this is not going to be a cheese run, this is a, a wisp run. So, uh, and in fact, I'll take a moment here and, uh, I'll, I'll update the title and I'll, I'll close the bets whenever I reach the very first holy mountain. So if you have any questions or anything, just wait till we reach the holy mountain and I'll be able to answer that. But just getting set up for hopefully a good run today. Tank says, I can't wait for that to be how you lose your run. Can I change my bet to no? Yes, you are allowed to change your bet. Until until I close the bets, as long as you can see that light is on behind me, you're able to change your bet from yes to no, no to yes, whatever you like. But once it closes, there is no changing. I am a little nervous, though, because I, I don't do that, that Invisibilium bridge boss uh, steal too often. So it's something that you gotta, you do have to, you know, remember. And I'm afraid to. I, I'm, I'm a creature of habit, so I may, uh, I may forget and just go through my normal motions and end up uh, getting myself in trouble there. Go through the usual routine. How was your day, Dunk? Pretty good, Alan. How's it going? Nothing too, nothing too eventful. I mean, I just woke up. Well, I watched the uh, the World Cup, so because uh, I wasn't sure if the U.S. was going to get eliminated or not. And I don't, I don't watch a ton of soccer. My international peeps are like, "No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm in the U.S. I'm, I, I know it as soccer, but um, I didn't know if the U.S. was going to get eliminated. So I figured, nah, at least want to watch some of their games before elimination happens. And it was, a, it was an exciting game. It was, it was a fun watch. Uh, so because of that, I stayed up later than I wanted to, because the game was pretty high. But besides that, nothing eventful going on here, just enjoying life. Getting ready for December, like guys, how the hell is it already almost December? Where's the time going? I hate going too fast for this very first zone because I always feel like there's a heart or something right around the corner that'll speed up the run or at least make the run uh, much safer. I wish I could know ahead of time. <laughs> like, uh, is it is it worth the time? Because basically once you know what a zone has to offer, you can cut down on the zone so quickly. You can be like, oh, this zone only... Because I mean, like, I'm not staying in this zone for gold. I already have more than enough gold to be happy to move on to the next area. However, if there ends up being some amazing wand or or hearts in this level that i that i can find i do want to snag them up to help out on the run today
Uh, let's see if I can hit this. What do we got here? Circle of Stillness. Honestly, I hate the Firebolt wand so much, I'll even swap that. Jinzumi says, my theory is that 2020 lasted too long, so the universe has compressed 2022 in order to equal the correct total time. You know what? I'm down for this theory. I, I, oops. I, I think that's an acceptable theory. I just burned away a lot of health there, not paying attention. Whoa! Okay! Today's daily's got some gold on it. Noted. Just use my triplicates to dig a bit. Oh my gosh, I hate when that happens. There we go. Concentrated mana. You know what? I'd rather the concentrated mana over what we got going on here. Okay. Spark bolts. Damn. I would like the spark. I would like to have. Spark bolts to put onto this wand. That would be an opening I'd be happy with. Uh, but since we're going for speed, spitter bolt on this wand is pretty decent damage output, so we'll take that. Lil you GYS thing 2020 ended. A little bit too much copium. The world is ending and we are stuck in the worst timeline. Is it true? It's the end of the world as we know it. Damn, where the hell is... Okay, this is... I think this is a formation that could have a heart. I think. Oh, Drum Bum, the, the seed that you were showing earlier is a god seed? Well, I'll definitely... Uh, I, I'll try to give it a glance later. It's always exciting when a community member comes across a, you know, a greater chest seed. I feel like I haven't seen one in forever. Like what one, one you know that I I ran into naturally. I have to live through you guys and your discoveries. If you don't know what a greater chest is, a greater chest is a uh, anytime a chest spawns, there's like a one in two thousand chance that it could be a greater chest, something like that. You can look up the exact odds on the Noita Wiki, and a greater chest can be like. Anything in Noita can pretty much be in a greater chest just to, just about not necessarily anything, but just about like the the most insane stuff You'll find in Noita can be found in greater chests. Oops, my chat's kind of scrolled up Zenimental says uh, recently I've been contemplating uh, actually just deleting such removing the bones folder The damn ghost has been killing me too much today's daily included. That's why I I just clear the bones honestly I, I mean if there was some fun like it, Either direction with the bones folder. It's it's lame either the the ghost kills you in a way That's like pretty ridiculous. If, okay, so if anybody doesn't know what a bones folder is whenever you die your bone, your your wands are considered bones, and they get thrown in a folder that, uh, in future runs, a ghost can carry one of these wands. It sounds really cool, and I definitely get why the devs created it. It sounds like a really cool concept. But as you get good at the game, as you get better, you build better and better DPS wands, and it gets to the point that's a little silly. Like you'll be standing here, see like don't see a ghost or anything, and then off screen uh, you just get insta one tapped. Because the ghost is carrying such a good wand that you built in a run that maybe you did like a 10 hour long run. And he, and he just hits you. He spawned in. The, like the ghost can spawn anywhere. It could be the very first zone. There's a clip of Latali dying before he even enters into the into this first area. He literally is on the surface about to walk in and the ghost just goes and just like, you know, obliterates him in a second. So those deaths are a little bit like, eh. And on the other hand, it can go very good. And you get a wand that previously took you like six or seven hours to build, and you get it within the first couple minutes of starting a new run. Well, that's kind of part of the fun, Anoita, is the struggle to get that good wand going, right? That's the that's the exciting stuff. So I also don't like that either. So I, I cleared my bones folder. Um, I, I keep the, the bones saved in another area in case one day I want to bring them back, but... 
I had so many runs where I just said, okay, well, here's a god wand I just got. And then I'd say, but I'm going to skip the god wand because I feel like it's kind of cheating, you know? And like around the hundredth time I said that, I was like, you know what? Might as well kill clear these bones folder because it just is getting silly. Keep my bones saved. <laughs> Alan, that's just good advice. Mystical says that's why I don't build good wands. The true the true big brainer. I mean, it's actually more often that it helps you than it hurts. I can I can very rarely remember uh, a ghost wand getting me killed, and like you know what I mean. I I, I don't really because so a lot of the times whenever you have these ghost wands, you got to remember that it records all your wands. So uh, some of these are just digging wands. So you'll start off a run, and four minutes into your run. A ghost comes charging you up, but he has like an infinite black hole wand. Well, it's not deadly to you. You're like, you're just shooting infinite black holes. So you literally just smack the ghost, and then boom, you have infinite digging uh, in your first area three minutes into your run. And that's one of the big struggles of Noita. And you're like, well, that's, I mean, at this point, you can just go wherever you want to go. You could literally start off the game by just making your way over to, uh, especially if you have Ambrosia, over, over to the tower wands and just getting god wands. I, I think I like the the creativity I guess of the ghost wand. I just in reality it does it's not as cool as you would think is what I is what I'm saying. Ow! Terrible TNT throw. Wanted a waste a bit of TNT here to clear this because we're probably gonna need it later. Hmm. Got one TNT throw left. And actually, we don't have a way out of the first uh, Holy Mountain right now, do we? Rut row. All right, so that that area is cleared. So if we want to go, come back for that. Was there anything I left in this zone? Was there a poly flask? I don't remember walking past a poly flask or anything. So screw it. We'll see if the first mountain gives us something to escape. We'll just have to see. Um, you know, this does happen. It does happen sometimes where you just don't get the, the perfect setup, but we'll see. We'll see if we have to adapt. It, uh, let's get back to it. Get back to the action. Alan says, how many uh, total cosmetics have we made? In our cosmetic system, we are now at, I want to say like the exact numbers, like 867 or something. Like it's, yeah, lock in the bets. Oh, I got to lock in the bets. Hold up. Boom, bets are locked. Sorry about that, chat. Sorry about that. Uh, so we do have a way to escape the mountain. Crisis averted. Uh, we talk about this pretty regularly on the channel, but some people ask, like, how do you always have a way out of the mountain? And I try to tell them, you know, it's it's very, it's, it's highly likely you'll have a way out. There's so many ways. And even if you get nothing in the first zone, which is what happened to me today, uh, I didn't find anything. There could have been something in there. I mean, and, and we're not talking about glitch methods, because obviously there's ways to glitch yourself out of the mountain. But uh, there's always some, like, I feel like the odds is like 90% chance or greater that either through the main level or in the holy mountain, you'll find something that allows you the opportunity to escape, which is uh, what we have here. That's, what, what are you on about there, chat? No, are you kidding me? No, I'm not reopening the beds. You gotta learn. <laughs> How is that possible? Some of you guys were here talking, and then all of a sudden you're like, I missed the beds. But you were here. You fools. Uh, fire immunity is the easy call here. Sadly, it's not that great to find right now. I was literally taking a shit. Uh... All right, break it. I'll, I'll I'll try to go on a rant on it later. I'll see if I can help you out. Um, but yeah, later we're, this fire immunity right here is going to be crucial if we make it to the late game, which I hope we do. And then we're going to go ahead and open up a gap in the mountain. So it's not 100% uh, necessary to open that gap. That was kind of a weird way for him to die. <laughs> I don't know why that seems so odd. It just like bounced right off of him. Um, 
It's not 100% necessary to open this mountain up like this uh, for a regular run, but for a longer run, it's just nice to have access to all the holy mountains that you can have. We have a better... We don't have anything. We've got nothing. What's the Wisp part? The Wisp is a community name. It's not like don't don't go thinking that there's some something officially named a Wisp. It's something that the community named these projectiles. Uh, but they do exist in the regular game. There's not it's not a mod or anything like that. Um, but a projectile. So you know, in Noita, you, you create your you know creativity is up to you. The, you know, you create your own wands. None of these wands are pre-decided. It's not like the devs say, oh, this wand is supposed to be built in this way. They're just ingredients that you combine and create, you know, you get certain results that some, some are really popular in the community. It's just some ingredients that when mixed in a certain way, you create a projectile that will literally like hover around the player and when it sees enemies, it'll just go boom and one tap them. So they call them wisps and that is the goal of today's run is creating one of these, these wisps. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to start off with a spitter bolt on uh, this one. Our range is garbage, but we're going to use that temporarily. Named like a, yeah, like most things, the Noita, Steed, the Foot Formation, the Smooching Gorilla, exactly. An infinite, yeah, exactly, Nifty. It's an infinite piercing bolt, exactly. People just refer to them, t tend to refer to them as Wisp, but no, there's no, like, official naming on that. Whoop. To be honest, Steve is very fitting. Well, his, his name is Stavari, so yeah, it's, I mean, he's pretty much, pretty much his name. Our digging is not the greatest right now. I haven't grabbed the TNT yet. I was wanting to hold off just a bit. Gotcha. Didn't know it had a nickname. Yeah, you can actually look up. There is a uh, a chart that I will be pulling up later that shows you how you can make um, any projectile into an infinite lifetime projectile, which is the key component to creating wisps. But that that'll all come up later whenever I'm building one of these wisps. The good thing is, since this is our second attempt at doing this, because our last one, uh, we succeeded, but the game crashed during it several times, so it made it not a very fun to watch video. Uh, but the good thing is, I learned a couple things along the way, because uh, these Wisps used to be much more popular in Noita. Like, in the early days, um, there was there was a small period of, like I want to say, like two or three months that these Wisps were considered like some of the best wines uh, in the game. Because you can create a healing wisp, you can create a damage wisp, you can create a defensive wisp. There's different kinds of wisps that you can create. And um, that may not sound like that crazy because these days there already is infinite healing. But back in the early Noita days, for almost a year, there wasn't really any instances of uh, like infinite healing like, like there is now. Like now you get a Greek letter, boom, infinite heals, right? Um, Back in the day, the only thing, the only time you got infinite circle of vigor is if you found a wand that had an always cast circle of vigor. So it was like crazy. That's probably why when you see some of the old school players and they see one of these infinite circle of vigors, they get really excited. But most of you guys are probably like, why is it? I mean, you could just get you know a Greek letter in any kind of heal and you have infinite healing. Well, it's because you know it's kind of maybe a little bit of nostalgia for those early days of whenever you saw one of those. It was like, oh my gosh, infinite heals. And you guys take it for granted now because you get it all the time thanks to the Greek letters. But anyways, this wisp that can, that can infinitely heal you was amazing because since the game didn't already offer that to you regularly, having this, this projectile that could follow you around and just heal you whenever you needed it, needed it was pretty damn nice. Uh, that's an interesting wand. Too bad the recharge is so ugly. I mean, we could we could make this work. It's just we would need a lot of resources. So I'm gonna keep in mind that this is you know we'll pick it up, but I don't think we're gonna necessarily bust this one out. At <laughs> 68, it's like, did we just see this run like two days ago? It wasn't a day, uh, two days ago. Yeah, about a week ago. It was actually the first day I tried playing Noita on this new setup, and because we had crashes and everything, I ended up doing away with it. I figured, eh. So today is our attempt at hopefully an actual watchable uh, whisper run.
So there's a chance for, if you're curious why I'm kind of hovering here, is there's a chance for a heart there, and I'm trying to get to it. And the game is not offering me much. What's up, Ben Lifton? Why is it that you can cast always cast wands without an actual spell in your wand besides the always cast? It's just how they function. It's supposed to be every time you could you cast a projectile, it will cast the always cast as well. But uh, no projectiles does at least let it cast one time, which is pretty cool. All right, we're, we're, it looks like we're forced to at least grab the um, the refresh on the TNT. Because, I mean, there are probably routes around, but this is getting pretty frustrating. Unless... Ah, of course there had to be Fireball Orbit on these TNT, but it's fine. We can make some modifications. We can fix it. You know what, let's just do this. It looks safe. Seems safe. Is there a use for the slowdown uh, projectile perk? Uh, would it be good or bad for the Wisp? Um, I mean, I'm, there are uses. I can't really think of one off the top of my head, but every modifier usually has some obscure build that it's kind of used in. Uh, Wisps, though, on the other hand, you tend to want them to go pretty fast. So I wouldn't think of a Wisp build as, as them being the most popular, but there's probably something I'm not thinking of, too. It's hard to think of, like, you know what I mean? When there's, there's, a, there's a modifier I don't use a ton, it's hard to instantly go through every build in my head and be like wait is it useful here and here uh we got some tnt just want to find like one heart i really wish you guys could see this guy right now he is drenched in sweat ben lifton says muted even uh with this moist resub well not for the moist resub of course ben lifton thank you for the 36 months the three year actual resub holy cow that's a lot of been twerking thank you been lifting for the the support i appreciate you man it's kind of scary dude loaded his shotgun and then left at me also if you're curious sometimes people will see that and be like oh there's a chest there don't forget that was a fake we killed it earlier and the body sits like lays there oh chance for a heart yes we found one the body lays there and, and it's kind of like a, a bait because you're like oh a chest and you're like oh wait no that's the thing I killed earlier just trying to make it through So the game plan is, I get one more heart, I heal, and then I just head directly over to the fungal area. Would you be doing a fungal ship today? Nah, I don't plan any fungal ships just because it could slow down the run a ton. And last, if you're curious, last wisp, wisp run that we did, I want to say it took like seven hours or something. And I'm hoping that the, you know, it's, a lot of it was pretty boring. I'm hoping to speed up today's wisp run. Make it not so boring. Uh, okay, summon missiles aren't bad. Don't mind them. Ooh, chance for something nice. I hate that spitter bolts uh, don't open chests, but... We can just throw some TNT at it or something, and... Eh. I mean, sure. Nope, nope, nope. Anyone know why I can't use my Prime to resub one day early? I don't uh, see it on the drop down. Hmm. Well, there is a lot of stuff in Twitch that can sometimes be a pain in the butt, so it doesn't surprise me that it's being difficult. But I appreciate the fact that you were trying to use it here, contrary. What projectiles make uh, for good wisps? 
So I, I I like to use Spark Bolt a lot because creating a uh, uh, an infinite Wisp with Spark Bolt is super easy. However, um, the last Wisp run that we did when I was trying to refresh my memory of how how Wisp work and all that stuff, uh, the Giga Death Cross. You know, Latali kept talking about you know you, you know use Giga Death Cross, and so I decided you know let's see let's see what this is all about, and I was impressed. I think Giga Death Cross was it worked fantastic. So. Maybe Giga Death Cross is one of the best, which is funny, right? Because a lot of you guys are, I mean, I, I, I ne like almost never use Giga Death Cross. It's very rare I use it. But as an infinite wisp, it actually works crazy good. I liked it a lot. Can you make a wisp out of something like a nuke? Yeah, any, any projectile. I, I don't think there's any exceptions. I think like every projectile uh, can be made into a wisp. Now, some of them, you know, function a little bit better than others because the variables that would decide if they're a good wisp or not is like its natural movement speed, um, which, you know, is also like, is like turn rate, things like that. Because a nuke, I imagine, would get kind of ugly as it travels so, so weirdly. All right, we found a second heart, which is what I was looking for. I still have that one heart formation, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the heal now. That's the whole point was to go faster today. During our journey, if we come across uh, any of the modifiers that are going to help with the wisp, I'll make sure to um, I'll make sure to point out why I'm grabbing them. In fact, you have FM has even got us linking right there. Thank you, FM. Look at that! Boom, right there. I'll I'll, I'll try to remember to link this in the uh, description if I post it to YouTube. But you guys have this link in the chat. This is this is a guide that literally so infinite lifetime spells. This is a core component of Wisps. See, like, infinite lifetime spells are often referred to as info, infinite Wisps, or simply Wisps. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing this, and this will go ahead and talk about how to do it and all that stuff. And the table that I liked a lot that Chad had me look at last time uh, was this, this table right here. Lays out every projectile in a really clean and easy to look at way. Um, and this can be very helpful when creating a wisp, but don't worry We'll go through how to use that chart and stuff whenever we get there. No point in, in going over it right now since uh, I'm hoping to actually use that chart in a bit The gods are very impressed with you. Yes, that's the achievement you will get if you are successful in creating one of these wisps uh, Okay, grab the heal Not bad. I don't really know what we're looking to make here. Yeah. Do you remember the duck meta? The duck meta? I mean, ducks are still respectable. Like, ducks are actually no joke. I'm, I, I'll am i go a long time without using ducks. And then I'll go to use them. And every time I'm always, like, pleasantly surprised at how good they are. They're, they're still no joke. Do an infinite nuke wisp this run? How many re reduced lifetimes and stuff would that, re that would require quite a few, I believe. There's this is the formation I couldn't get to, and it didn't have a heart. Oops. There's a reading chat and just dipped right into some some liquid. We may be, depending on how the timing and everything is going, we may try to make some really goofy wisps. Because I've actually never seen a nuke wisp, but that's probably because it's, it's probably one of the more... Because a, a nuke naturally... Oh, yes, we need that badly. Teleports. Uh, a nuke naturally has some uh, some things about it that make for it uh, being kind of a crappy wisp. With that said, doesn't mean we can't try. Uh, let me sort this in a better way. Holy cow. You just smacked me. Dunk always looking for hearts. He doesn't know uh, that the real heart is the friends we made. <laughs> Dragon, what the hell? What are you going on about, dude? The real heart is the friends we made along the way. It's the part where you're like, right, guys? And then the chat's like, shut up! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me? Did you see that? There was a Steve oh, I there. I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. 
the Drontoning. Yo, Theo with a 23 month there. What's up, Theo? Thanks for the moist mob and sweaty, sweaty loving and support. I appreciate you. All right, it's not. Uh, hmm. Wow, it really has been three wow. years. Thanks for giving us a place to have a great time, hang out, and just be gamers. Yo. Let the good times roll. Thanks for making me smile, Ben Lifting. My peeps. No, for real though, Ben Lifting is like, uh, he's an OG, man. He has seen some stuff. He has been here for some Noita experiences. So thanks for sticking with us on our journey. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Corin with the 35 monther. Yo, Corin, thank you for the love and support. Oh my god. There was a robo guy holding a wand and he gave me a heart attack there for a moment. Let's shoot some missiles at these guys. I think they should be enough to take care of them. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh, actually a good wand. Look at that. Pretty darn good wand. 265 mana recharge. This stuff's really light. It's a, it's a good wand. Basically what I decide, what, what makes it a good wand to me is that I can tell this wand can create a decently, uh, like it has the stats that you can make a high fire rate wand, like something that spams pretty quickly. See, this one also was similar, it's just this one's uh, Castellane Recharge were so rough, while this one is like, mm, delicious. So we will swap that out. Safe. This is safe. Eh. There's some concentrated mana and some pheromone there. Some more pheromone. Would you prioritize mana recharge recharge rate more or reload rate? Uh, you mean, you mean Castle or Recharge? So it depends on what you have. Um, Castle is normally the lower number. See, this one says Castle 0.55, Recharge 0.95. See, Castle 0.03, Recharge. So it's normally the lower number. Um, and, and, it, but it depends on your resources. Like, there are spells that remove Castle. There are some spells that remove Recharge. So if you, you can, there are scenarios that you can be in where you're like, I can remove tons of Recharge time. But I can't remove any Castellay. And then you can have the reverse happen. So it's all it's all situational. Um, I would say statistically, uh, you're, you're, you're most likely to want things that remove recharge time. Because a lot of the things that remove recharge time also remove some Castellay. But there are many things that remove Castellay that do not remove recharge. Does that make sense? It's rare I find myself, but it does happen. Not super rare, but it, 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 it happens from time to time where I'm stuck with a wand that I can take the recharge to zero. Hmm. We'll probably grab that on the way out. I can put the recharge to zero, but I can't get that damn Castellay to zero. That does happen, but the reverse happens way more often where you're like, my Castellay is zero, but my recharge is not quite zero. That one happens all the time. To me, slow but uh, steady spell is much more rare uh, than a swapper. I don't know why. Uh, well, both of them are dang rare spells. Um, I don't know why you'd want the slow but steady. I'm trying to think of, uh, is it is it necessary for some? Is it is it actually used in some wisp builds or something? There, will I don't I've never I never use that. My whole purpose for casting the if you guys are curious what Woe's talking about, slow but steady is that one clock. 
Uh, it's like the rarest one right here. Slow but steady. The reload time uh, of the wand is set to exactly 1.5 seconds. It's just like... It's it's very specific builds. I like never use this. Uh, love on tap. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, what do you think the pink goo out of those uh, fungus bombs tastes like? <laughs> Alan's filled with questions today. <laughs> it, 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 it's got to be cotton candy. It's the color of cotton candy. It, it must be. Dang, that's the second poly flask I think that we've seen broken in here. Chaotic poly specifically, I think, both times as well. Lum and Toxic Sludge. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Um, here is one of those rare spells I was telling you about that actually removes recharge but doesn't help your cast delay. So uh, more often is it that you can get rid of your, you get rid of both, but this is one that only gets rid of one. Uh, I do want to grab this. Hmm. Hmm. Shamrod says if you get a super high capacity wand, they tend to have recharge times greater than 2.5 seconds. So slow but steady actually reduces right, well, recharge quite a bit. See this guy right now. He is drenched. But it's like it, it it reduces it, but it it's still kind of like a rough recharge, right? I I could see if it was like slow but steady should be like point seven or something like that rather than 1.5 or whatever it's it's just it's a little bit brutal still uh jesus with the 17 month there thank you jesus appreciate you good morning man it's better but it still sucks yeah like i guess he's right but it's still like i mean in both scenarios i still throw away the wand right ah instead of a recharge time of 2.37 it's now a recharge time of 1.5 now i'm just like yeet <laughs> throw it away uh, all right, let's grab that. Oh crap! You gotta watch out because when you hit this guy and knocks him, like it can, uh, he'll fall. But I've seen players they try to fight him like kind of under him, and then they'll knock them, they'll knock the guy onto them. If that makes sense. Because if you if you get him close to you, he does a freezing attack, and that's where that's where runs die. You want to keep them out of range so they'll keep doing those tentacles. Don't let them too close. Because that freeze is uh, kind of a pain. There's so many pheromones in today's uh, run. I think that's like our third or fourth flask that we've seen in there. What the heck is going on up there? Break it up. Break it up. Okay, he's ambrosia. I mean, he's uh, berserkium. Ooh, ooh, that was acid that was pouring down. I think. Yes, it was. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right mm. now. He is drenched <laughs> in sweat. <laughs> Yo, Wower. Morning, nerd. Mr. Streams. Hey, Wower. I hope you're doing well, dude. Thank you for the 18 months. We are having our second sweat baby. Our second nine monther. Appreciate you, wow. Appreciate you, man. Uh, wait, the chat was saying something before I got distracted by the sweat. Uh, the sweat, it's in my eyes. A slow but steady set recharge to 6.9 then is, is useful. Thank you for weighing in. <laughs> Dang it, there was a comment I was gonna I was gonna respond to. Sorry, the sweat washed it away and I can't find it. The sweat in the chat, it slid away. I need, I need like a second. Let me like a second set of eyes. One reading chat, one playing the game. <laughs> Bane, what? Focus up, chat. Focus up. I won't even read that one aloud. I don't want to offend, uh, you know, listeners out there. <laughs> Oh, chat. What am I going to do with you? Hmm. Stoner says answer. Yes, exactly. Yes. 
Plasma beam. Uh, I don't think we're going to be needing any plasma beam. Normally we'd use it as our bridge boss killer, but since today we're having to do wisps, I don't think we'll have the opportunity. So, if we put the dig bolt on here, let's slow it down a bit. I was hoping to maybe combine a digging wand. Actually, oh no, the castle is brutal on that thing. What am I thinking? It has to be on something like this. And even then, this is not going to be great. I guess we could combine our teleport and uh, digging. Something like that. For now. That way we can all we can travel around, but also teleport with it. Put one of these tellies up. I don't think we need any of this. Summon Hollow Egg. We actually are going to need that. It is a way to summon in one of the bosses. We'll have that hidden away. Hmm. Point oh eight. If we were to, uh, I try to see if I could come up with a build that will work with that nicely. I mean, we could do like a little crappy ping pong luminous drill. <laughs> it's not the greatest. Actually, we could even move this to there. It's not bad, right? We can actually use this for damage. If you're curious, without the ping pong, it would just be... Eh. And the reason I put the, the digging bolt on there is because I, I could tell it's going pretty slow. So I knew by putting the digging bolt on there, it would remove even more of the recharge. So now it's the only, only thing is mana issues. Luminous timer is expensive. Like, regular luminous drills cost 10. Luminous timer, 30. Three times the mana cost. So I'd way rather have a regular Luminous Drill right now than a Luminous Timer. Uh, but we put Ping Pong on the Luminous Drill so that it flies out. And I'm actually going to use that as my Damage Wand because it hits harder than my current Damage Wand. And it's got more distance than my current Damage Wand. And it digs. So. Bonus. That's a good idea. Latali's right. Grab my free Mana. The things that cost zero Mana. And just toss them onto the Wand. Uh, we'll put the one there. You do that because it clears up inventory space. It's good thinking. Good old efficiency. Good call, Atali. Alright, come on. Clear out this fungal area so we can get to the good stuff. The good thing about Ping Pong Luminous is that it allows you to like shoot through walls pretty easily. Well, it digs away at the wall so that you can then shoot them on the other side of it. I do like that. <laughs> Mind's Eye, do you have your old, like, I think he has his old script on. No, we are not banning spells right now. here eh, 10 mana charge no thank you so so people uh, ask me pretty often what's more important cast or recharge we just talked about that right but people don't ask as often about mana max and mana charge speed are you not a fan of homing plasma cutter <laughs> i mean you can actually make a homing plasma cutter i don't know if you're memeing shikowski but it is a thing um but yes mana charge speed obviously is hands down the most important one because who cares about your mana max if your mana charge is just instantly, like, it's so high that it just constantly fills up your mana on your wand. Uh, but a high mana max and low mana charge, you'll quickly see how that's garbage. Uh, you misread it, Bree? Wait, what? Misread what? You had the ingredients for it, so I was wondering why you didn't make it. Uh, I have an ingredient to create a homing plasma that is dangerous for the player, but not... Oh my goodness! Did you see that area? 
and where teleports are really nice. So, I mean, when you say the ingredients, you're just talking about plasma beam and homing, right? What's, o what's up, overstimulated? He says, holy resolution webcam. <laughs> Alright, put your pants on. I was asking if you prefer recharge rate or mono recharge rate, not cancel. Oh, I get you now what you're talking about. Recharge rate or mono recharge rate. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Now that one is, now I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is a little bit harder to answer. I feel like, uh, so when it comes to mono recharge, there's literally just one spell you're looking for to to make that good, and that and, and that is just add mana, right? If you don't have an add mana, then you won high, then you're like, oh, I need wands with high mana recharge rates. Um, if you have a single add mana, then usually you're not as as worried about it, so you'd prefer low recharge rates. But yeah, that one that one's very situational. That's a hard one to answer there, Alan. I'd say it's it's. It's more common that you have uh, recharge removal than uh, than add mana necessarily, right? Because there's so many different forms of recharge removal. So high mana charge is probably more important. But in the early game, you have neither one. How often should I legitimately use shuffle wands? You just use Shuffle Wands in the early game whenever you don't have uh, the right stiff. For example, my main wand right now is my is my non-shuffle, right? I have it set up in a way so that I can do good damage. But this wand right here is just meant to tell you around. It really doesn't matter that it's a non-shuffle. Shuffle Wands are, are just not as good as as non-shuffles. That's just the reality of it. I wish there was some, like, really legit reasons to use. Oh my gosh. It was annoying. Swapper guy is, like, making out with the, the dude right there. Get off of him. There he goes. And then we just bonk the Swapper dude. Okay, apparently he didn't want to be bonked. We already have one Luminous Timer, but I'll grab it for now. Hmm. Playing yesterday's daily with acid shifted into hastium and got acid trail on me. Uh, nice, nice. Speed running with the best of them. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Nothing too crazy going on here. Just Noitin. What's that eye for? This is some lore stuff right here. This is some lore stuff. This is um. Basically, you have to eat some fungus and bring the eye from the surface here and you will get something that's like a hint towards the sun quest information, I believe. Because remember the sun quest, a lot of us, myself included, did the sun quest off of like guides and stuff, right? But they have they, they they tried to put stuff in the game to help people figure out the sun quest without having to use like community information and and things like that is helpful. With that said though, there still is a ton of stuff in the sun quest that is not very reasonable to do uh, blindly. There are parts to it that you can you know you can do for sure, but there are other parts to it that's a little bit much. Like how the heck do they expect a person? without community information to be able to survive the moving the suns. I have no idea. Would you consider making a run where you go through every uh, piece of lore for the sun quest and just explain the lore to us? I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to lore. And that, oh my god, that's for a lot of games. Oh my god, that was very scary right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm really bad about lore when it comes to uh, game, so I would not be the guy to ask about Noita lore. Fury Forge knows his Noita lore really well, so usually when it comes to lore stuff, I, I'll watch one of his videos for reminders. Alright, so I think we pretty much cleared this area. There was like a wand or two that I was wanting to take with me. I think uh, specifically this one here comes to mind. I'm going to swap that out. And I'm going to abandon my tablet for a pheromone flask, if I can. 
Oops. The exact amount of HP that I was looking for. Skolarks is excited for Dwarf Fortress uh, on December f uh, 7th. I have not played Dwarf Fortress myself. Chad has been, you know, wanting me to try it out. And I've watched a bit of gameplay and I'm like, this looks very not newcomer friendly. <laughs> so I, I don't know my thoughts on it yet. So this statue is a little bit messed up because I knocked the chain on top of it. And, and the fish are also hitting it, which is always adding to the chaos. That still worked out just fine. So the black holes are nice. I am not liking any of that. Hmm. Why not grab the heart before fighting Steve? I mean, I have Ambrosia if things got really ugly. Like, if I got really scared, I'd put Ambrosia on myself. And, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to go out into level, maybe see if there's an easy heart to grab or something. Or, I want to do some rerolls. Maybe have another way to heal through this. There's there's many reasons. If you can go without grabbing the heart immediately, you should. Um, but we'll, for example, we may, get a, we may get an opportunity right now. Let's see. Never mind. We're going to get Explosion Immunity. But let's pretend that we got um, let's pretend that we got the perk healthy exploration, right? This is just one example that I can think of off the top of my head. But there's there's definitely several examples of when you'd be glad to grab the heal later. So let's pretend that we re-rolled that and then healthy exploration popped up. Every time you visit a new area, you regain you regain 60 HP. Well, that includes this area right here. So the moment you pick up healthy exploration, you'll actually get a, a heal of 60 HP. So boom, my health would shoot up 60. Then when I move out into the zone, boom, another 60. So you get 120 health. So if I had already grabbed, if I had already grabbed this heal and then I ended up getting that perk, it would have been like, well, you just burn that heal for nothing. That's just one scenario of like you know min maxing it doesn't mean you have to play that that way right you can play however the fuck you want it's just an example of how it could benefit you healthy exploration is great yeah i like it a lot it's it's you know it's pretty badass not as good as wand experimenter but at the very least healthy exploration is like you know little noobs pick it up and get, make use of it imme immediately immediately while well, wand experimenter, you know, you gotta learn, like, hey, you just pick up a wand and fire it. Is Iron Stomach any good? Yes, we're at. Iron Stomach is potentially one of the best perks in the game, but it's only in a combo. On its own, it's kind of meh. It's alright. But it, it plays off of uh, another perk called Eat Your Vegetables that makes it where you can do, like, thousands of damage with just basic spark bolts. Basically, uh, eat your vegetables makes it where the more full your stomach is, the more damage you do. And then iron stomach makes it where your, st uh, you, you, your stomach can fill up infinitely. Like, you can fill it forever. So th those two together are, like, a crazy good combination. Oh my gosh, that sniper lived. Uh, okay, this is kind of a risk that I'm taking right now. Because I am too weak to be goofed around, so let's go grab the heal. I was hoping for an easy heart, but the game said no. No big deal. Healthy exploration was horrible for me as a starter because I would pick up uh, the first heart, then waste the two heals like you said. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not necessarily that intuitive either. Like I, I can understand why you would do that because. I mean, naturally, the way the Holy Mountain is set up, you go into the mountain, there's a heal there. So as, you know, you grab the heals, then you go over here and you look at your perks. It's set up in a way that players get baited into to grabbing it in, an, in, a, in, in a way that's not optimal, right? Now, with that said, though, the Steve, like having Steve there, if you're a newer player then you may not want to take that risk because it's like kind of like min-maxing 
and then while min maxing, you get yourself killed to something silly. Well, then it shows that the you know you're not quite ready for that level of min maxing, right? So it it all depends on the situation. Me, I was doing a little bit extreme there. As a new player, though, uh, it's up to you if you're if you if if Steve's there and how comfortable you feel with fighting, you know, Steve. I don't need that. Don't need that. I really don't need that either. But whatever. These are timers. I would like to grab at least one of them. Let's check the... Uh, I'll see if this damage is doing well. We definitely have a uh, potentially a, a good damage upgrade right now. But I'll wait and see how I feel about uh, this. And No, you know what? Kind of going back and forth. Let's... Let's look at this real fast. So, spitter bowl with timer. Put down a double. Two digging. And then... It doesn't really matter about wrapping it because it's not going to really gain anything. It's pretty nice, so what we could do is just put our speed here, since we don't need the digging too much right now. Give us some good range, put down a triple instead, and add in a little bit of a little bit of pep. So I would like to do the triplicate, but that's just too much mana expenditure. Not quite what we're looking for. Um, we could go with Spark Bolt, or we could go with Spitter Bolt, either one. Pretty nice. Spitter Bolt is slightly more damage. It does eight damage compared to this one doing uh, three damage. Actually, it's not even slightly, it's pretty significant. However, this one adds a 5% chance to crit. I would prefer the Spark Bolt if we had a larger wand, lots more, but there's only three projectiles being shot off. So realistically, Spitter Bolt is just flat better damage, right? 5% crit is not gonna help that extra five damage that we're getting, extra five damage is definitely better. What about Lumi Drill for the main damage wand? So our issue is not, as you can see right now, our main issue with our wand is not the, like a Lumi, a Lumi Drill, a Lumi Timer would be used because we need it to fire faster. And we have a, a ton of mana. We do not have a ton of mana, we have some mana, but our issue is that we're running out because we're firing too fast. That, that's usually like a general rule for your wand. You fire it, and you see what, where does it come up short. If you're never running out of, out of mana, then that means that, uh, you know, maybe you can find ways to increase the rate of fire. See if you can make it fire faster. Um, the, the goal is to have something that fires, like, insanely fast and doesn't run out of mana. And that's when you know you've built, like, a wand, like, perfectly balanced. Right now, we have a, a pretty dang fast. It's not perfectly fast, but it's pretty dang fast. It's just we run out of mana after a little while. So our shortcoming, like, our... our our thing that we need is just a better mana setup, which with either an add mana or a wand with a higher mana charge speed. That recharge speed is great though. Yeah, it's not it's not bad. Like I mean our recharge is currently zero. Or no, it's it's 0 0.06, isn't it? Yeah, because we have two luminous drills, each removing 0.17, so uh, that means there's remaining 0 0.06 recharge. So our recharge and our cast delay are actually at the same number. Because then this one removes 0.02 cast delay. So they're both 0 0.06, 0 0.06. Which is pretty good, you know. E even if I was to bring down the recharge, that means the cast delay would hold me back. Even if I was bringing the cast delay down, the, the recharge would hold me back. Since I told you guys I was going to pick up the pace. Oops, there's a uh, Uko down there. What we're going to do is we're going to head into the next shop and just glance. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to prep for a very early uh, look at the uh, Wand Mart. Which is one of those zones in Noita that is just so damn good. That, oh, we got some good stuff here. Hey, Steve. Get over here.
Okay, I shouldn't have shot him. He's taking too long. Get over here. There you go. I freed him. Oh, I think I saw one experimenter. I think I did. Which will mean Wanmart is going to be, like, perfect for us. We will have the exact setup to thrive in that area. You'll see in a bit. If Hopefully it is. I may be seeing things. I get I get a little bit, you know, delusional. Start, start hallucinating when you play this much Noita. You're like, I saw it. I saw Wand Experimenter. Oh, shit, I did. Okay. This is exactly what we needed then. Remember, this is the uh, this is the daily run, so you have about I don't know 18 hours or so before the daily run changes. So load it up while you can. So Wand Experimenter is going to make it so that we can uh, go to Wandmart, build up our resources very quickly, which is which is really nice for us. Uh, our main issue though is we don't have any way to edit our wands quickly, so we need to make sure that when we head over there. We only have necessities with us. Walmart, aka uh, potential uh, instant death area if you don't have explosion immunity. Yeah, yeah. In uh, Angermon is right. Without explosion immunity, the area would be very dangerous. It is still dangerous because there is those fungal spore guys, but still, still definitely a risky area. It's just not as risky. So what I think I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to leave both of these wands like that. And you know what? I think I'm happier with the... For now, I'm going to be happier with the Spitter Bolt. But it is nice to know that we have Spark Bolts here. And we have a Reduce Recharge here. And this is going to sound weird, but uh, we're actually going to use... We're actually going to grab that heal right now. And the reason for that is that that heart actually adds uh, 10 to our maximum HP, right? And the zone that we're going to, uh, we're going to be able to get full heals from it a lot. Like, several times we should be able to get healed up. However, if something hits us with a, a lot of damage, the only thing that's going to make us survive it is not healing, but just having as much health as possible. Ooh. Another heart. So that's the only reason for grabbing that Holy Mountain heart early. Uh, basically, just because he health healing isn't as big of a deal as it is as it normally would be. So the heal from it isn't as isn't as wasted. So for example, we just found a heart right, which added on twenty five uh, to our HP, and so we find a random one and we can safely wait. There's nothing scary about this one, right? Nothing looks too scary. And see, uh, we're, full, we're full health. We just used one experimenter to heal up a bit. I did see that chest, don't worry. Did you say there was a heart? Oh, finds a heart before Walmart. I thought you were saying, like, you missed a heart. That's kind of scary, because I don't want to get an electric stone out of that thing. Gold. Nothing too exciting. So another thing to remember about the one that I'm currently using um, is that it, it, a lot of our damage is coming from these uh, these digging bolts and spitter bolt. Obviously, adding in a bit of damage as well. The digging bolts damage doesn't properly show most of the time on the. Uh, is there a hidden heart here? Oh, there is a hidden heart right here. So this is one of the scenarios where two formations squish together. This is a formation that spawns a heart possibly right here. And then this is a formation that spawns a heart possibly here. So we could get lucky with a double heart. But uh, we usually refer to this one as a hidden heart. It's a kind of squish these two formations together. So it hides that one. Uh, but so what I was going to say about the, the digging bolt is that the digging bolt's damage doesn't properly show most of the time on the statue in the Holy Mountain. So this isn't exactly one of the oh we didn't get a we didn't get anything from this. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. Don't always use the DPS from the Holy Mountain statues to gauge how good a wand is, basically is what I'm trying to say. Because this wand, I think if you looked at the statue would probably look kind of meh. You'd be like, damn, it's not that good. It would kind of look like you're just shooting out spitter bolts very fast worth of DPS. But you wouldn't see the digging damage uh, likely at all. You would think meh, but it's actually a pretty strong one. 
It's because the, the statue was set up in such a way. It was, it was added like later. The devs added it as a way for players to better gauge how much damage they're building. But the, since they set it up as like a physical material slash an enemy at the same time so it can gauge damage, you end up with weird, not always accurate results with uh, DPS. Some wands it can actually make your DPS look higher than it really is. Some wands lower. A little scared that they're I'm spawning enemies around that wand, but I think we should be all right. Hmm. Well, we do have explosion immunity, so I should be able to safely shoot that. If you're curious what I'm doing, I was shooting the remainder of the heals because remember it's only you only get healed for a certain amount of shots. So I wanted to get the good heals out of the way and then grab this one. Hidden heart, another possible hidden heart spot? Nah, unlucky. So the other hidden heart would be right here. And uh, in fact, what's kind of funny is that the formation that spawns his heart is the exact same other formation that we got a heart that was hidden, right? It's the same formation again, but it combined it with another formation. Would have been right there uh, if it spawned in, but it is not there. I always wondered if the devs intended for those overlaps to happen like that, where it consistently can hide the hearts. I do not know. A glue wisp? <laughs> Yuck. Gotta say, I've never seen a glue wisp though, so... It would be original. There's like a worm path, but I can't tell where he went. I'm very confused. Isn't that... Oh, yeah. Worm? Worm, where are you? Oh, he died. Okay. Well, it looks like he didn't drop a heart. He did. He hit it somewhere. Hmm. F indeed. Do you know what uh, Multiplier Berserkium Hourglass does and noise together? Ah, shit. I don't know. Solar, are you here? Like three times? I, I don't know. It's It's a pretty good multiplier. Look under there. Wait, did you really? Wait, wait, you guys saw something? What do you? What do you see, chat? <laughs> Chat's claiming they may see something. Wait, where? Where was it? Ah, oh, damn it! Hold on, I kind of lost my my position. Long teleport bolt or short teleport bolt? Short for sure. Uh, I think, mo like, you know, in the early days you're thinking, oh, long telly makes is better, but you'll get used to the, the short telly. Under there? Under where? Seen things, chat? Have you gone insane? Chat just gone insane. Got him? <laughs> I just wanted to say underwear. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> it said, got him. <laughs> God damn it, Chet. That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Under is the original. Yeah, the original up dog. What's up, dog? Oh. Uh, okay, let's go over here. No, no, no. Weebs are why we can't have... Wait, what? <laughs> nice things. Okay, it is true. It is Weebs' fault, but you guys aren't helping. Oh, 
Let's go. Remove the damage plus before going to Walmart. Eh, it wasn't too big of a priority. I thought damage plus, whatever. Remove damage plus before going to Walmart. No, it's good. It's good. Like, I was thinking about that too, and I was just like, yeah, it's, I, I mean, I would assume once we have visited a bit of Walmart, we should have some good DPS. I mean, I, it definitely is an efficiency move having that extra damage plus to give us more to work with, but even if I don't, I, I don't think I'll be too sad about it. Red Tint says, give me my bits back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Red Tint. You fell for it. You paid it. Uh, Reputato? Reputato, thank you for the follow. All right, so we are heading to an area that we refer to as Wand Mart. Because there's just so many wands. It's like you go, you're you just going to the grocery store filled with wands. Use whatever you would like. Oh, it's a regular poly flask. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fire this just to make sure I'm healed up in this zone because there are high damage situations. There's a heart immediately. Yes, this area is filled with, it's called Wand Mart, but there are tons of hearts, tons of flasks, all kinds of good shit in here. In fact, uh, Latali was talking about this just the other day, but uh, it was discussed with uh, the community was letting the devs know, oh my god, the community was letting the devs know that they felt this area is too good, that maybe um, it needs to see a nerf. And uh, they, they needs to be made a little more deadly because the rewards that you get for going here are just you know it's just just too much resources too it's too damn good. But the devs were like meh, and they left it as is. So makes it one of those areas that if you're looking to do a, a long run like I am today, if you have the opportunity to go there early, you go there early because it can pick up the speed by a ton. If you're curious why I'm not firing that Lumistro wand yet, it's remember I have wand experimenter. So I don't want to waste my first shots with it until I feel like I need a little bit of health. And there we go. Instantly finding a weakening curse for explosions. This is a big deal because now uh, it means that we, ha we now have the capability to kill all bosses. Because some bosses, they have such uh, resistances and stuff that... Uh, you know, it's it's hard to you can't it's like you can't find a way to damage them. But with this, we can kill uh, all bosses. I prefer to find to find the weakening curse for projectiles, but this one is also good. I'll leave that lane there for now. New Wisp. I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll see about that. A nuke wisp is very scary. Just so you know, super scary stuff. Because you got to remember, lots of nukes equals the ceiling crumbling equals you may die. Uh, again, so many good wands in this zone. Too many good wands. Was not the wands in Walmart uh, Walmart nerfed in the beginning? It may be, honestly. Uh, I remember when this first zone was first added. Um, you know, people were all excited about it. And we were talking about it. It seemed really good. But... As the tweaks were being made, I can't remember the different iterations. I can only remember the one that has been around for a long time, you know. There's no ceiling in space, Dunk. Prove it. Go to space. Show me that there's no ceiling. It's the only way I'll believe you. This is one of the guys that's very deadly in this zone, because he does shoot off a ton of damage really quickly. Spam scores. Checked my entire Wanmar and not one chainsaw. That's pretty unlucky. I, I feel like if you actually clear the whole area, let me, for anybody out there who hadn't seen Walmart, let me just show you how freakishly big this area is. It's I don't know why they created this zone so good and, and massive. So this is the first snow area, which I think a lot of people consider it a, one, a, a massive zone, right? Same goes for jungle. It's a very massive zone. Tons to explore here, right? These are, I mean, 
This, these are very large areas. Now let's head over to the area that we're at right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Well, I, I don't know what was happening in their brain when they balanced this area. They were like, all right, this area is insanely good. All right. And it's massive. Okay. <laughs> it, I, I, if, they, if this area was so good, I can understand it being like decently small. So at least it was like this moment of like, ooh, did I get something good in this one it was small zone? But they made it insanely good and massive. It's like like the biggest fucking zone, and it's and it's god tier. I don't, I have no idea. But yeah, all of this uh, purple or blue colored area, uh, that is the that is what's considered wand mart, where it's you know tons of wands and and tons of hearts and flasks and all that kind of stuff. Probably so you could find any spell you might want uh, in any run. I mean, there's already parallel worlds for that though, right? Black bonsai. I would figure that's where Parallel Worlds come into play. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I can't really speak on that too much. I, I, one of these days, I will have to bully the devs into getting into like a Discord call or something, so we can we can interrogate them. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these out here for the moment. Bloop bloop. So we can go get, uh, see if there's any more resources that we're interested in. Um, but I don't want to stick in here too much longer. I just, because, you know, we're, we already got a decent setup to maybe get us going to hell. Maybe, maybe. Bro, that would be incredible. You should start a GoFundMe for uh, the dev uh, chat with Nala. Be like, come on, guys. We'll pay. We'll pay you to get on Discord. Talk to us, please. Well, like I said, I, I over the weekend, uh, or not the weekend, my weekend. Over the last two days, I, I, I did send him a DM uh, about some some Noita related stuff. If uh, if there is absolutely no response out of them, then I'd say our likelihood of that happening is is you know getting in a call with them is very low. But if they if they do respond, maybe maybe I could poke them and be like, hey, would you want to do a Discord call? We'll just have to wait and see. I would lean towards probably not going to get a response out. Of them. Probably not going to hear from them. Uh, there's a glimmer. Hmm. Glimmer's interesting. Only the devs into uh, telling us the eye glyphs. <laughs> the thing is, you say plural, bully, uh, bully the devs, but by the way, like, so him bully, the way he was saying stuff was like, he doesn't necessarily, I don't know if he knows the solution or, or whatever. I just know that, uh, Whenever he was talking about the Igolifts, he said that, you know, their, their team, the way they worked on stuff, was that they are able to add in their own, like, quests and stuff into the game. Their own ideas. And whenever you did that, it didn't necessarily mean the other ones, the other guys in the group, the other devs, knew the solution to these things, right? Like, you could just add in a puzzle, and the other devs like, oh, he added a puzzle. And then that's just, that. that's all they know about it. They don't know the answer to the puzzle. There's a chance they may not know it. Like, good thing I'm explosion. Man, got scared for a second. Uh, Himpuli specifically said, I guess. I guess this is why I'm saying it. Himpuli specifically said when he was in our chats, which that's RV on the Noita or on the Nala team. Uh, he said, "Was it allegedly? It's it should uh, work or something like that." Which meant like, according to the person who added it, it works. But it meant that. He's never, he's never, like, solved it or whatever. He's never found, like, you know, translated it or whatever the solution is. He's never done it. Uh, what'd you ask Nala about? So, I mentioned to them about, um, <clears throat> some issues with the, the Noita client. And, uh, things that they were, they were mainly aware of. But, um, because if you guys remember, we I made a video, it's been like a year ago, six months ago, I don't know, a while back, uh, called like Noita De or, uh, Devs Noita Broke, something like that. And basically it was showing one of this uh, this massive bug that was discovered by, uh, I think it was Entropy, chat was saying, 555 Entropy in our community, I believe was his name. 
And he kind of stumbled across some what he thought was a kind of a neat trick, but actually turned out to be a, a massive bug in Noita that uh, leads to a lot of exploits and stuff. And uh, I, I don't really use it or anything because it, it's you know it's a little bit, it's it's pretty dirty, pretty OP. But uh, whenever I I posted that video, I thought maybe the devs would be inspired to come back and patch it. And uh, one of the devs commented. In fact, I think I pinned it on the video where he was like, uh, I think it was it was Tim Pooley or RV, you know, however you want to, whichever alias you refer to him as, said something along the lines of like, oh, that's a bug. <laughs> or like, or he's like, oh man, so, some, some small comment of like, yep, <laughs> where you knew he acknowledged it as a problem. But when he talked about it on his stream after, after seeing the bug, uh, the other devs did not want to patch that because it would uh, set community's expectations uh, uh, up for, for possibly more content. He didn't say that exactly, but the way he worded it basically meant they didn't want people thinking there would be more patches. If they patched a bug, people were going to be like, oh, I can't wait for the next content patch. And they're not wanting people to think that. So I simply uh, was letting them, you know, letting them know that there are already fixes out to a lot of these bugs. Uh, there are, like, for example, if you guys don't know, in the workshop, there's a, there's a, a mod called uh, the QOL mod. Uh, quality of life uh, mod that was made by Latali that fixes a lot of these bugs and that uh, that if they would be interested you know they could they could do some we, we could we as a community would be willing to compile all these bug fixes in such a way that if they were if they wanted to pass it on as a community patch um, while yes I'm sure there are some people that would expect more uh, at the same time, uh, being a, a community patch rather than actual dev made patch may oh shit benefit. Uh, oh my god, my health got fucked there. Benefit the game uh, and us hardcore players a ton, and at the same time not get a you know like at least for the, most of us we would know oh it's a community patch. It does it doesn't mean the devs are going to be adding more. It's just simply something that the community got uh, added in. I, you know, I worded it. I, I don't know. I'm trying to be vague about it. I don't want to get into specifics, but that, that was all it is. It's kind of like a long shot, right? But I wanted to be like, hey, you know, the community wouldn't expect more from you guys if it was a community patch. No patches are working on Noita 2? Hey, I would take that answer as well. I would be I would be very happy with that answer too. Imagine they respond, too busy working on Noita 2. I'm like, take your time. All right. I won't message you again. I apologize. I think what it is, though, realistically, is they are, they've moved on to other projects and everything. And that's why I thought maybe they'd be interested. They could be like, okay, well, if the community is really that adamant, then maybe we can, you know, let them have their own little patch buffer bug fixes. Couldn't they give it to, like, Latali and have someone release it as the community content? Um, so you got to keep in mind that they are a business and stuff, right? So they, you got to be very careful with that kind of stuff. They got to make sure it's always in the right hands. Um, but something where something that the community could simply pass on to them for them to just like approve and then pass on would be what I would kind of hope they would they would be interested. But again, we just I just put it out there just to see because they usually anytime I've messaged them in the past, which has only been like two or three times, they've given me a small response. But it's usually like they'll say something. But this is the first time I actually said something that I know probably pushed them out of their comfort zone. Because uh, if you guys don't know, um, him pulleys the, the, uh, of the of the Nala team, the other devs don't really like to talk very much. They like to stick to themselves, and that's just how they are as developers, right? Like some game devs are that way, and uh, they have literally like, to, when, whenever whenever him pulley was asked, he, he went on to an interview. I, I don't remember what the interview was for. Was it Fury Forge was talking to him? I can't remember who was talking to him. And he was asked about some of the puzzles and stuff. Specifically the cauldron puzzle, which is one of the, you know, famous unsolved mysteries of Noita that uh, is looking like it's an unfinished puzzle in Noita, something that was just never completed. And we don't know if that's meant to be like, oh, there's something more, or uh, one day there will be a patch, or we don't know what the fuck it means, right? And when asked about the eye glyphs, he basically said there was a solution, saying, hey, this unfinished puzzle, puzzle, there is a solution. And people were like, oh, what about this other unfinished puzzle? And the other devs told him that he uh, they 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 didn't want him to comment on that that un, that that the cauldron. So then it leaves you in a case of like, wait, what does that mean? You know what I mean? It wasn't like you know he was willing to say with the eyes, yes, there's a solution. But is there a solution to this one? No comment. It's like, wait, what? What the hell does that mean? So it's very it's very weird. 
And he he himself, he said the other devs said they didn't want him commenting on it. That was like his exact words. You can watch the, I think it's on Fury Forge, uh, his YouTube video. That's where I watched it. Uh, it was literally, he got to that part and he said, the other devs uh, do not want me commenting on the cauldron. And it was just like, because uh, there's two directions that are pretty interesting. That like to, I, I feel like because I've played so much Noita, emotionally I go in like two extremes. My my, because I'm so invested, right? You get the the extreme of exci the copium side, the one that's like the you know you're like, oh maybe this is something amazing, maybe there is because it's something so exciting they want people to discover. I, I you know what I mean? You go down that road, and then you go down the opposite road of like if it's an unfinished puzzle, isn't that fucked up? Because you're putting in a puzzle that has no solution, and you're like not letting people know that. Like that's kind of mean, right? <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. Uh, so, but I, I and I, and so I have those two extremes, and okay, I'll stop. Chat's chat's hating me with the ranting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry. So I, d I don't know how to feel about that. I'm just like, what? Just a little bit of trolling. <laughs> yeah, is the devs just straight up trolling us? I, I have no idea. With that said, though, the the other devs have been pretty consistent with their whole, like, they like to stay quiet. It's not like they, you know, they were just putting out updates, but they were always pretty quiet. So you never know what they're doing. They're a mystery. Echo says, I feel like they wouldn't add the cauldron if it was complete. That's what my brain says to me all the time, too. I'm like, like you wouldn't just add that, though, and not have it complete. But, uh, remember, like I was telling you earlier, where... The devs were able to work on their own individual like stuff. Like they were able to work on their own like quests, do whatever. They can add their own their own flair to the game, however they would like. And whenever the final patch came out, uh, it sounds like not everybody was the uh, him. Pulley, for example, was ex he said on his stream that he was expecting to be patching Noita for for like years. Uh, you know, so they'd be adding content for a long time, yet that's not what went down. So if he was the dev working on the cauldron, expecting to have years to, to add, keep adding content to this, and then one day it's like you cut off, then it would make sense why you would have an unfinished puzzle, puzzle right? I mean, they made a game with 101 secrets, so it makes sense that they want to keep uh, things secret and mysterious. That's true, too. Like, if there is something, it would make sense. Um, especially because the devs really don't like the data mining stuff too much, as I believe they even put, like, a contract or some shit in the um, in the game, like, in the early access days, that people, people who data mine the game up would come across this, like, contract where, like, I think it was if, if a person agreed to not leak information then they would get their name in the credits or something i don't know like somebody in the chat will have to probably better clarify what i'm trying to say but there was some weird shit like that for people people who data mined would see it and then would would then like email and get their name like on the credits but also not leak the information or something I, there was some weird shit like that so it goes to show the devs obviously they really do not like you know the data mine stuff. Not that they like hate it or whatever, but they also want the mystery. They want Denoita to keep the mystery and the in the excitement. So if they were to say no comment, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. That that means they could be wanting to keep the mystery around stuff, right? Who knows? Do you think we annoyed them? <laughs> I think they yeah they're probably pretty annoyed with the Noita community because um, I feel like they would say small stuff, but. Uh, that maybe the the Noitsu community, myself included, of course, probably very uh, very aggressive with wanting you know stuff like oh we want this we want that and that probably gets very frustrating whenever you're like you know maybe you're wanting to move on to other projects you got other stuff going on in life and not everything can be based around the game but since we love the game so much we're always you know talking Noitsu and stuff uh, I'm sure they like to stay quiet just because they're like eh these guys are a bit much. Why would they be annoyed that people like the game? I don't think if they're annoyed that people like the game. It's probably more like um, when you have a vision for something and you create it, that's that's your that's your baby, right? You made this. But everybody always has their 
ideas for how your thing should work. That's probably a little bit how it comes across. They never said anything to say that they were annoyed, but I'm just saying, like, there's reasons for, for that many devs out there do kind of keep quiet. Uh, it's it's not like they're ignoring us for no reason. They may be ignoring us uh, for the fact that they don't want to open up that Pandora's box, right, of having to, like, then, you know, once you respond once, people expect more and more and more, so... Mind's eye over here trolling as always. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna go back to the main area because I was hoping for today's run not to be crazy slow, but I feel like my pacing is not the greatest. It's not terrible, but it definitely is getting a little bit hung up right now. I'm just ranting and not really seeing a lot of huge gains with my resources. So we're, gonna, we're gonna get back on the main track and see if uh, if we can do something else to speed things up. Come on, man. If you're curious why the teleport doesn't work in here, whenever you shoot a teleport, there has to be enough space for your guy to actually teleport through. Otherwise, you just... the teleport does nothing. It's a dud. Uh, okay, so we have a freeze here. Uh, we have the explosion weakening. Okay, I'm gonna fire this now. So this is a really weird wand. If you're curious why it keeps firing, even though it seems like it's out of mana, is you got to remember once it's once the the mana runs out, uh, it it will then keep hitting this early add mana, which is like adding thirty mana. So it's weird. It's like the situation of where once it's emptied, it will keep going thanks to this add mana being there. The worst pacing is still faster than my best run after a hundred hours. Hey, hundred hours though, Morpheus. Not to like, not like shit talking you or anything, but like, don't be discouraged. People at the community still consider that like really new, right? You're like, oh, one of the new guys. So, um, you'll get there, my dude. As long as you're having fun. I mean, that's what it's all about. And I and I definitely go. I go pretty slow a lot of the times. Because I really enjoy doing that. I just like playing around, you know, checking every corner. But today, since we have a goal in mind, I don't want to bore too many of you guys. You guys, I want to, you know, try to achieve this goal. The lightsaber required. Yep. Got us a lightsaber. If you're curious where we're going right now, we are digging into the gold room. Uh, if you're ever curious, I try to go at it. I go at an angle that tries to follow this slant. I point that out every time, but I think it is one that is really helpful and is always worth mentioning just because this room, this room right here shows you how little, um, you know, in the zone, I feel like some people will risk throwing away their whole run just to get a little bit of extra gold. But in reality, you just need enough gold to keep your run afloat until you can get to this room. So gold isn't like that big of a deal. I try to make sure that if they ever want to find this area, they can easily get to it. <laughs> no ducktails today. Got to keep it uh, DMCA friendly in case we post the run to YouTube. I'm sorry, Chad. Forgive me. Now, normally I, I would do I wait to do this run whenever I have like uh, infinite black holes, so it's just faster. But the problem is we're not killing the alchemist until. We're not killing the alchemist until we have a wisp, because all bosses need to die to wisps today. So that's delaying some of our speed a bit. <laughs> chat, chat singing to themselves. Chat saying sing it. Listen, my singing would be so amazing, so spot on that it would probably get hit with a DMCA strike. The 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 automated system for DMCA stuff it, would, it wouldn't be able to differentiate between me singing it and the original too dangerous <laughs> you're not forgiven for not playing I'm sorry I'm sorry been watching a ton of you on YouTube uh, the past couple months first time I've been able to uh, make a stream hey what's up there diner deluxe appreciate right, well, you stopping by you guys could see this guy right hey, now. hey he just with the prime too oh thank you for the prime age dude jokes aside DMCA is kind of quack <laughs> DMCA is quack. Does moving in the gold room uh, make you collect gold faster than letting it fall on you? Uh, I I don't know if it's necessarily much faster, but the reason I move is because you can well, suffocate. You can see this I'll show right you. Now. He is in sweat. So look at look at my O2 up here. Uh, right now it's doing okay, but if you sit here long enough, people tend to go to this room and then go to like the bathroom or whatever, right? They have something they're like, oh, I gotta go take care of doing this or that. 
And whenever you do that, you risk suffocating yourself. Not every time though. Sometimes you do it and you won't get you won't suffocate at all. Sometimes you come back and your character's dead. So I move around to avoid suffocating. Lee says I died like that. I can safely say there's at least like probably 10 to 20 players in our chat in our chat right now that have died that way. Um, and I don't blame them too, because it's it's not like it's like you get you get in the gold room, it's kinda like, oh it's cool, it's cool. And then you're like, well it's not dangerous, so I can use this time to collect money and go grab a drink or go grab a snack. And then you find out, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm not supposed to do that, I see. Never been here because I'm not a cheater. Oh, you don't like the gold room? Gold room is not cheating, my friend. In fact, there are two gold rooms in the main area. There's infinite gold rooms if you go to parallel worlds, but in the main world, there are two gold rooms. And the devs add this. Not this. This is. They consider this part of the game, my friend. Has Chase got TI up in uh, on the new PC? I have not. Don't forget that we can still play Nala's version of TI, uh, but I have not got the you know the good one loaded up. Which reminds me is that I I didn't carry over my settings as well, so I I got to do stuff. Rapping is cheating, Giga Chad. <laughs> Boo. Trillium says plus 250k gold is not even that much. Try going to a hell shop. That's probably why they added these gold rooms. It's because the hell shops uh, are expensive. You know, a single spell is like 35k down there. 35,000 gold. So you, you kind of need insane gold just to even consider shopping down there. City T says if all your friends jumped off a gold room, would you do it too? <laughs> What the fuck? Where's the other gold room? It's at the bottom left. It's uh, it's it's basically to the left of hell. It's not located in the most convenient spot. It's actually like kind of surrounded by lava, so that's why you don't see a lot of players go to it. Fast nuts is starting. Noita is cheating. <laughs> just just loading up Noita. Boom! You already cheated. There is no other gold room. Wait, what? What? It's a lie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lord Wootman is going through some stuff right now, guys. Let him have his moment. It's not real, man. But I've been there. You're not real, man. All right, that's enough gold. Where's the other gold room? The tiny one with 8K? Wait, what? Where's this Where's this 8K room that you're talking about? Uh, no, no, the, the other gold room. Uh, so, we are currently in this gold room. Yes. See where I saw that. We dug up here. The other gold room is... Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop, right there. I told you it's surrounded by lava. Not exactly the most convenient thing. That's why you don't see a lot of people go there, because it's they're not like one. It's it's kind of out of the way, and it's a whole thing. So yeah, there's hell. You just go to the left of hell through the lava. Another gold biome. The tiny gold room. Which tiny gold room are they talking about? I feel like I know what they're talking about. I forget where it's at. In the Vault Fungal. Okay, I didn't remember that part. Uh, vault Fungal. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. I have totally forgot about this. Like, I can picture the room, but, like, yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> that one, yeah. That one's so, that one's so random. I, I probably haven't been to that tiny gold room. Well, maybe if I was randomly digging accidentally, but I haven't like gone into the zone and went over there for the 8K or whatever in probably over a year. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, that's the world map. I'll again, uh, if you need that map, you can always type exclamation mark map in the chat. If it's on YouTube, usually I put it in the description. Things like the map or or you know whatever helpful guide stuff I tend to put in the description. 
It smells like up dog in there anyways. It does smell like up dog in there, I agree. I thought you were talking about that one, and I was like, that's a gold room. <laughs> you thought I was talking about the second gold room? Yeah, this is the first gold room. It's got 250,000 gold. This is the second gold room. It's got 8K. It's got 10 bucks. I am playing RimWorld while playing Noita. It's so good. Wait, what the hell? You're playing RimWorld while playing Noita while watching a stream. I'm going to diagnose you with ADHD because I don't know what the heck is going like. <laughs> what does your computer screen look like? You got three monitors going there? Uh, let's head to the right. Man is 1000 IQ. That would be really hard to, to, to juggle all that. I'm over here struggling with just Noita and Chad. All right, is everything in order? We have our ad mana, we have a freeze. Okay, so we can get to hell, hell pretty easily. All right, we're in decent shape. Not perfect, but decent shape. I also forgot to grab that heal uh, to the left of the first zone, but whatever. Did you get your new uh, new monitors in your computer upgrade? So my current main monitor is a is a nice one. I mean, they're both an identical monitor. I ended up getting so basically when I did the computer upgrade, I got a second of this main monitor. Uh, my monitor before, damn, it, I don't know where I put it. I think I put it in a closet or whatever. It was a monitor from like, it's like a, the original like flat screens when they first like invented flat screens for monitors. They were like, look at this new technology. It was, I mean, it was old as hell. It's like twenty years old. So that one is gone. I retired that one. And that was what that's what used to be the what the chat was on whenever I would play. And because of the resolution and stuff, it was pretty rough. Uh, but the monitor that I use is a 27 inch Asus uh, 144 hertz. And uh, I remember when I got this, uh, chat was like, you know, I, I remember chat would always ask about my my streaming setup because it looked a little bit weird uh, to, 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 to the viewers, I guess. Like, I don't know, I, every once in a while I would kind of adjust something and they'd be like, why do you stand up? Because if I needed to tilt my, I I, ha, I played on an old TV, no, no, it was a Polaroid TV, I've talked about this before in the past, and I'd have to stand up sometimes to move it a little bit because the angle wouldn't move, wouldn't be quite right. And uh, they'd be like, why do you get up? And I'd be like, well, it's a Polaroid TV, It's it was like, it's kind of large. And, uh, and they're like, what the hell? And they're like, you gotta get a gaming monitor. So uh, chat selected this one, this monitor for me. So then I bought it and I've, I've really liked it. And so I've had it for maybe a year and a half or something like that. And then I was like, uh, probably more like two years I've had this monitor. And, um, and then I was like, well, screw it. You know, with the computer upgrade, I got the same monitor again. IPS, VA, or TN? I don't know what this means. <laughs> yes. Did I answer correctly, chat? Did I pass? Well, it says DN. D's nuts? Is that is that what it means? D's nuts? All right. <laughs> I, I knew it was going to be D, <laughs> D's nuts. I just realized I haven't made you uh, or the chat hungry uh, today with food talk. Uh, would you like to? <laughs> Don't do this to me. Come on now, man. All right, so we have we have a really good setup. If you're curious, I'm just getting things in order here. Uh, you know what? We'll keep that double. Throw that away. Grab this. One moment, black hole. Uh, it just sucks that this wand has bouncy on it. If it didn't, we could definitely use it as our main wand. Damn it. If you're curious, so let me let me show you why bouncy is a big deal. Um, hmm.
Okay, say there's an enemy right in front of me right here. So, <clears throat> whenever whenever I'm shooting at stuff, you see all these bounce? Well, maybe maybe it won't be so bad. I, I There's some surfaces that it, it, yeah, we are still getting the, because it, hmm. I, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it would bounce a little uglier than that, but the bounce is still delivering just right. Usually you do not want bounce on things that you want digging. This wand is both a combination of a digging and a damage wand, but I'm kind of thinking the bounce isn't as ugly as I thought. Maybe we work with this. Let me let me let me try it with this for a bit. I was expecting that bounce to be a little more, bleh. but it's like it's all right, it's survivable. Uh, drop this, put this up. You know what? Create, you're out of here. Spitter, best projectile. Vial, it's not bad. It's not bad. I definitely say that Viala to you know. She she always has she always loves the the spitter uh, timer and sometimes I don't give it enough credit, especially whenever you have speed up. It's like real nice when you get speed up on that thing. Let me check it's digging in the snow. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Oh my god! Wait, what the hell was that? That explains that. Whoa, what an interesting wand. Look at this thing. It's a three cast. It's got a reduce recharge on it. Hmm. So... First off, we need to uh, get the heal from this wand. So again, remember, do if you wanted to get a heal from a wand that's dangerous, you grab the spells, drop drop them directly onto the ground before you do any of your editing. Put this heavy spread over here. Uh, crits, garbage, garbage, garbage. And uh, once we've taken the stuff off of it, we can still cast it, get our heal from it. Now we can edit with it. And I think that this can be a one cast. That's actually okay, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's fine. Yes, it is. Watch this difference if we actually, it won't be bad actually. Let me, it's not terrible, but uh, I guess we'd have to move this here if we wouldn't want it to be too annoying. Um, but for now, we're going to run it like this. That one's a little bit hard to discuss the, the building on. Actually, we don't even need that because it's a three cast. Oh, I forgot. It's going to cast uh, this and this at the same time. Um, if you're curious, basically the admon is adding cast delay. So by putting the luminous drill to cast... Uh, so. This Luminous Drill is not part of the payload. It's separate. It's casting this and this at the same time. And uh, this Luminous Drill removes Castaway. So that, that takes care of that. But since we're not doing any wrapping or anything, you could literally just place the add mana inside the payload. And then you don't have to worry about having something to remove. Because remember, anything put inside of a payload uh, cannot add or remove Castaway. So inside a payload, fast. Outside the payload, slower. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it outside the payload just because it's my normal building method and we need the Luminous Drill anyway so that we can have ways to dig through walls and stuff. There's a healer. What if I put the payload inside of me? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, Awesome As has gone horny on main. It is official. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, by the way, earlier, my bad there. So we had dinner deluxe, uh, or diner deluxe just with a prime. And then Weber Weber, my bad, Weber. I was I was I saw you hit me with the prime. I was in the middle of a rant. I got sidetracked, but but Weber Falcon, thank you for the prime, dude. I, I appreciate your support. I get ranting sometimes and oh shit, electrocuted myself. Uh, I get ranting and then I take 15 minutes to acknowledge a message. Weber, I hope you're still out there lurking in the shadows. Know that I appreciate your support. 
So you know what's funny is now that we've been electrocuted uh, while holding uh, this wand, it actually loses its uh, visuals. Hey, there's Weber with the winky face. Hey, thank you for being here, Weber. I appreciate you. And thank you for the support, of course. Uh, so now we've lost our graphics of our, our, our main wand. It's just a, not graphics, but our, our, you know, the color. It's just a black wand now. If you would like to get it to back to its normal color, uh, see, look, even if I drop it, you'll see that it's, it's just a dark wand. You can get it back by, because um, I got electrocuted while holding it. So if you get electrocuted again, it will bring it back. However, I would, I'm would i not going to voluntarily electrocute myself just so I can uh, you know, get the color of the wand back. It doesn't really matter that much to me. But you, if you really wanted it, you could throw it into an enemy's hands. And then when they pick it up, you electrocute them. And boom, you get your uh, the colors of your wands back. That, I don't know why that exists exactly. It's like a burnt wand, kind of. I have no idea. Show us, please. Electrocute yourself again. Oh, fuck. There was a... There was a gold drill that I kind of broke. Whoops. Whoopsie. Angor Angorimon, I, I appreciate you controlling yourself. Does that always happen? I've never seen that. I think so. Um, because I'm not the one that figured out. Like, I remember Solar told me one time. He said, hey, do you want to fix your wand? And I was like, what do you mean fix it? He's like, because don't you see it's dark? I was like, yeah. He's like, you can fix that. He's like, give it to a mob. So I gave it to a mob. He's like, now electrocute him. Now electrocute him. And then it went back. I was like, oh, shit. So I assume it's like something that happens to everybody. But I don't know. It's just a random thing that doesn't seem to hold any significance. Well, currently, maybe one day some, somehow it'll still hold some kind of significance, but these days it doesn't... The community has never used it for anything, so it's just some random thing that happens. It looks cool like that. The toasted wand. In all seriousness, what's the point of eating until you're satisfied uh, in this game? So it's, it, basically the eating mechanic was added as like a restriction, kind of. One of the early strategies for getting the heart out of the... You know, like at the very first level to the left of the level, there is a water area. In fact, pull out the map again. That map is useful. Uh, the difference is that when I get electrocuted, I just die. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Electricity can be scary. Uh, let me pull up the map real fast to show you something. Thank you for the follow, by the way, there, Finstein. Feinstein. Uh, so right over here, you know, this is the first area, right? This is a starter area. To the left, there's this water zone. You got to drain all the water out, and then you can go get the... the there's a plus 25 HP, and there's a heal. It kind of moves them around in there, depending on the formation. But in the early days, the way that players would get to these is we would tear a hole in the side of the wall and then we would drink all of the water because there was no, you didn't have like a stomach, uh, your stomach didn't get filled up in the early days of Noita. So you just drink all of the water and then you could, uh, you could do two things. You could mess with your monitor's brightness to see in the dark or uh, you could just wander around in the darkness till you found the hearts. And, and so then the devs eventually they were like, nah, 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 we got to deal with this problem. So they made it where the monitor trick doesn't work anymore. Not the monitor trick. It's like actually in the options. Like you used to go to brightness or contrast, one of these. And if you moved it, you could see in the dark in there. And the devs got tired of us pulling that shit. So they, they changed it so it doesn't work anymore. And not only that, but you're, you had a stomach. So you'll explode if you try to drink all that water. Now, once they added that... They later added in a eat your vegetables perk, which uh, they may add it around the same time, but that actually plays around how full your stomach is. So your character actually does gain an eating mechanic where you start to starve. And if you're starving, it starts to damage you. But if you fill your stomach up, the more filled your stomach is, the more damage you do. So like 99% of Noita runs, you're not going to give a shit about the eating mechanic so much, right? Like you're not really going to do much with it, but... In that rare scenario where you grab eat your vegetables and you're wanting to do as much damage as possible, then it, the eating mechanic can be a, a big deal. 
It is also one of the reasons that gamble can be pretty annoying because if you get eat your vegetables from a gamble early on, that means for the rest of your run, you have to focus on making sure that you're constantly eating because your stomach's going to be emptying out. You're going to start starving. It's a whole, it's a whole balancing act, you know. Averod, thanks for the Ave uh, for the the follow. I appreciate you. Eat your vegetables is so bad. What? So bad? Eat your vegetables can potentially do thousands of damage. But on its own, it, yeah, okay. On its own, I guess I, I'm not going to hate on that. But together with Iron Stomach, very good. I took it once on a long run. I will never take it again. <laughs> well, one thing that's really weird, and it's, I can't really explain why exactly it just just noite to things but the more full the more full your stomach is okay this is gonna sound really stupid at first when i say this the more full your stomach is the longer it takes to uh empty now what i mean by that is just moving one percent now slows down even more so for example if your stomach is 100 percent full to go from 100 to 99 it, it, it's going to take, let's say, like 10 seconds, right? Let's just say 10 seconds. All right? That's 100% from 100 to 99, moving 1%. It takes 10 seconds. If your stomach is 10,000% full, to move 1% could take like a minute. So for some reason, they as your stomach fills up more, it also slows down the percent that it decreases. So combined with eat your vegetables, you just want to eat a fuck ton, fill your stomach up as much as possible, and it actually gets to the point where you no longer even have to worry about the eating mechanic because your stomach is so full that it, yeah, exactly. Rich says disproportionate slowing, exactly. For some reason, when it gets so full, it just really, really starts to slow down. So fill it up so much that if you if you do want to grab eat your vegetables for a long run, you need to make sure that you grab iron stomach first drink a whole lake of water and then grab eat your vegetables because if you if you grab uh eat your vegetables first then water won't work for filling up your stomach and it's kind of a thing have, uh, if you have ambrosia you can eat slash explode the moon though what if you have ambrosia you can eat slash explode the moon though are you do you mean like just ambrosia yourself and keep exploding over and over over and over what's up jj Does it have a flat rate? That's what I'm saying. It, it apparently does not have a flat rate, which is what you, you would think it would. But for some reason, as you start to fill your stomach up more and more, the, the rate at which it, it's it's emptying slows down. I have no idea. I can't, I've never looked into the engine. I've never looked into the code before. But uh, that's, what, and that's how I was taught, and I tried it out, and it seems to be true. If you really want to test it yourself, all you got to do is... Get Iron Stomach, go drink. I mean, you can literally just sit for like five minutes drinking the lake and your stomach will be so full that you probably won't have to eat anything else for the entirety of your run. And you will do tons of damage if you get to eat your vegetables. Like crazy amounts of damage. What the heck, man? Things keep shooting me. How many repulsion caves for infinite ambrosia stain? Three? How many repulsion capes for infinite ambrosia stain? So there's if you have two repulsion capes, you can keep stains off of you like for like they, they'll only stay on you for like a frame. If you grab too many repulsion capes, the repulsion cape can break and no longer function as it's supposed to. I don't know about this. If you're talking about the infinite ambrosia stain, you're talking about like with a mod restart there, whoa? Because a mod restart is where I know of the getting stuck with the stain thing. Uh, I'm gonna go that. Red Tin says the rate of decrease is directly linked to the overall percentage. Kind of like how Heartache exploit, uh, kind of like the Heartache exploit. Hmm. Well, all I know is fill your stomach up, problems go away. No, about stacked stains, so they become non removable. Stacked stains, so they become non removable. I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to, Will. 
Uh, but one more hidden mechanic about Iron Stomach that I, for I forgot to mention earlier is actually the second uh, explosive projectile that we've seen. Chat, where was that other one that I saw earlier? I wish I I should have done taken a mental note. I was thinking, eh, I'll grab it later. Then I forgot. If you have like 10 plus repelling capes, they stop removing and even make it uh, impossible to remove stains while moving. But isn't that true for all stains? It wouldn't just be ambrosia, right? But maybe there's some strategy to that. Was it really over and overgrown? Oh god. Don't say don't say that. I don't want to head all the way back there just for another explosive projectile. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll drop this and this and this. We'll heal up. Do you turn on the drill? Yeah, but you gotta have electricity and I and, and there needs to be oil in it and I accidentally emptied the oil. So we are not able to anymore. <laughs> I would have been able to with this uh, electricity, but I, I fucked up the machine. It's not a big deal, it doesn't really do too much. It would, don't get too excited, but yeah, it does turn on. So one thing I was gonna say about the iron stomach is that uh, if you drink something like polymorphine, you actually gain a hidden polymorphine immunity uh, that doesn't even show up on your status. Because there is a poly immunity for eating the poly mage, right? You eat a poly mage, it'll tell you over here, it says poly immunity for like, you know, 60 seconds, 100 seconds, whatever, depending on how much you ate. But if you drink polymorphine while having uh, iron stomach, you can actually swim in polymorphine and it will not polymorph you. The problem is that you have to like, you have to like, kind of keep like a mental note of like a timer because when it runs out you're not going to be aware and not only that but you actually aren't immune for that long so you really got to drink a ton of it to have a true like uh you know what i mean like have a long polymorphine immunity or not only that but whenever you eat a polymage you gain you gain polymorphine immunity whenever you have iron stomach and you drink polymorphine you are only immune to just polymorphine if you go to swim in chaotic poly it will poly you still so, there's some weird mechanics going on there that I don't really make use of a lot. Uh, <laughs> what is Ingrith going on about? I don't know what the hell he's saying. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want... I kind of want that accelerating shot for my wisp. My future wisp child. Let's, uh, hmm. Screw <laughs> it, we don't need that extra thing up there, do we? Put that in the ceiling. Yeah, if you had a water to poly shift, you, you, you at least have a, a, a way to try to deal with it. Iron stomach would be the answer. Curious where I'm going, I want to check the free spell room. Though it's probably going to be kind of a brutal dig. Hmm. Ow. Damn. Luckily, I'm explosion immune because there's propane tanks everywhere. Oops. Can you drink lava with the iron stomach? Yes, you can. I got a very interesting fungal today. Uh, blood to polymorphine. Run died in two seconds. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough one there, Axe.
Does personal thrower spells work if casted with a trigger, or does it attach it to the payload? So, if you have it inside the trigger and no projectiles in the trigger, is that what you're saying? I've never done that without any. If you if you have projectiles in the payload, then yeah, only the pay, only the payload things will have it. But without any projectiles, I'm not exactly sure they make money. I can't say I've ever done that. Oh, Latali says all numbers for satiation when you eat. Uh, wait, all numbers for satiation when you eat. There is a cooldown where satiation doesn't reduce. Without eat your vegetables, this is 600 frames. With the perk, it's only 400. And after you lose one satiation every three frames, wait. And after that, you lose one satiation every three frames if you have eat your vegetables. Without the perk, it's every five frames. Huh. So wait, it's just the key is having iron stomach and having your eat your vegetables. Not necessarily how much I you fill your stomach. I fear the moist mob. I think. So it does not change depending on satiation level. It is flat. Hmm. Hey, what's up, CD? Yo. How's it going, CD's community? CD raid. <laughs> CD raid. How's it going, guys? We are just doing... Ooh, there is a second one, but this is not the spot I was expecting it in. And there's an electric arc. Interesting, interesting. Oh, I didn't free a spot. Chad, I blame you. It's your fault. Hold on. Oh, I really wish you guys Thanks for love, CD. Right now. He is drenched in sweat. The perk makes your stomach uh, become empty faster, to summarize. Hmm. I'm interested in that because whenever I fill my stomach up like crazy, which I haven't, I've only done it a couple times. Like, let's say I go to like, I don't know, 10,000%. I feel like the number barely moves. Meanwhile, if I'm like grabbing your vegetables, it goes from 100 to like, you know, zero in, in like a minute. Like, that thing is just dropping off of like so fast. Uh, let's drop that one. <laughs> Flog says, see, it sucks. It sucks. Yeah, well, I wouldn't recommend it for long runs, but for a short run, eat your vegetables, iron stomach is a uh, huge potential damage. In fact, I posted a seed on my YouTube channel of where, uh, where I, I showed in a run, I got up to like several, several hundred, if not, I don't know if I broke into a thousand DPS with just two spark bolts after the very first like holy mountain. Literally one Holy Mountain and you're already doing several hundred DPS is, is at least what it was. Which goes to show how, how freaking strong the combo is. Bloop, 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 bloop. So be very careful if you decide to take the portal back. So I dug here, right? But if I take the portal back, there's a chance that whenever I go back in it, it'll uh, collapse the... Uh, like this could collapse. It didn't, but there's a chance. If you look, pieces of stuff start to fall when I jump through that portal. And if it chooses to break this, uh, if a piece of uh, that, if, if it selects random pixels around that, that fall. If one of the random pixels happen to be the glass, the whole ceiling will collapse in. Uh, which, you know, it just didn't happen there, but it could have. Just got lucky. Which is why I ambrosia, just to be careful. Woo. What happens if you stack the Iron Stomach slash Eat Your Vegetables trick uh, and the Hungry Ghost trick? I don't know. I, I imagine big damage. <laughs> Huge damage.
Ooh, a chainsaw. Yo. Ambrosia up. Okay, don't really want any of those. So normally I would take Projectile Eater, but remember today is about creating a Wisp that kind of like follows us around. And the problem is our Wisp will get eaten up by the Projectile Eater. So let's not do that. Eh. Let's just take a... Uh, normally you know me, I'm not about Breathless, but we'll take it to help with our Leviathan kill. Chainsaw is an easy grab. In fact, I never grabbed those spark bolts earlier that I wanted to. Should have done that. Okay, take up space on this one, please. There's some cement. So this double, if you're curious, this double trigger right here means we potentially can do big damage. Very easily do big damage. I mean... Hmm. Explosive projectile, explosive projectile on a single spark bolt. Wait, where's the statue? Hey! Juan says, I hope he explains chainsaws this time. <laughs> Don't trigger the chat. So here we go. Let's see, like, boom. Did it say three? There we go. 330. 330. Big damage. Now, this will be very helpful later. I mean, we could we could run it now if we wanted to. But we're going to use it in our boss killing build in a bit. So for now... Hmm. Do we want to do... Rotate in a double here. Bring the chainsaw. Yep, yep. Good, good, good. And I'll put that up for now. Sure. Why not? That bridge boss uh, cheese uh, mod is compatible with Noita together. Good to know. Woo. There's a cool pinball uh, Noita mod. I don't know if pinball is the right thing to call it, but it's like kind of like Noita pinball that was created. Uh, Keith is the one that posted in the Discord, so I, I, I don't know. I guess he's the creator of it. Ooh, that's some pretty good stats right there. Yeah, pretty interesting mod, and apparently you can play with Noita together. I think we're gonna try that probably All in the right, well, coming days. See this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Uh, let's do that. This. Here. Oh, there's there's two people I need to shout out. Uh, Merp with the three month there says thanks to dislike me for my sub gift. Ye 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 ye. Or thank you for the th you making use of that uh, that sub bomb from dislike me. Eum uh, Tynes with the twenty three month there says what champ? What champ? Tynes, thank you for the twenty three months. I appreciate your love and support. Didn't heal with Juan. Uh, that's because I am stupid. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I have that one. Mind me, just blast my way around. Another ping pong path. Um, I think we have one. That should be enough for us, right? <laughs> you're not stupid. You're just old. Thank you, chap, for defending my honor. 
The next shop will be in about, let's say, 10 minutes. We did the other one early so that uh, I could stall it a bit. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do one in about 10 minutes. Oh wait, there's a heart there. You can see it because whenever I you have light on your wand, it gives off a flash, and that flash it kind of revealed that heart for a second. Let's see if we can find a heart mage. I think I just heard a heart mage die. Honestly, I don't know what that what that noise was. Could have swore I heard it. Oof. A heart mage? Yeah, it's a red mage that will. Uh, if we find one, we can take our health up to over a thousand uh, HP with just with just one heart mage is all we need. Accidentally killed? I don't think I shot him. I don't think I shot him. I heard him die off screen when I wasn't taking shots, though. I I mean I I could have shot him accidentally. It was an accident, I swear. Sorry if you hear that loud squeak. I was moving my keyboard around. Free. Uh, heart mage, where are you? No, not not hard mage. <laughs> That's something else entirely. All right, dragon, come say hi. What a weird wand! Look at that. 0.08 Castellay, 0.08 Recharge. I mean, I guess we could use this as our future Tele Wand, you know? Where's that Stendari Uko pick again? <laughs> My god, the degenerates in chat. Glass desk? No, it's actually wood. I don't know why. I guess it's kind of like a... I don't know what you call it, but it's it's got like a... A sleek... It's not like a... It doesn't feel like it's a textured or anything. Oh wait, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um we kill a, we'll kill a dragon in a parallel world. We'll kill a, we'll kill a dragon in a parallel world is fine. Damn it. I won't use the wand though. Just in case that is considered. We still have to kill it. Damn it, so that means we have to go to a parallel world now to go get a dragon. We like I it's an all boss run, so I'm supposed to kill all the bosses with wisps, and I and I say that I don't I don't kill the bosses beforehand, that way I can't use their resources. Uh I have to reserve the boss kills for the wisps. So I have to so I can't really use the resources from that dragon until after I've killed the dragon with the wisp. But bet's not open, it was just I I shouldn't have killed the dragon yet. It's a habit. <laughs> I've done it literally a million times. Well, not a million. A million. Let's say literally 3,000 times. Call 100% bullshit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said kill all bosses. I'm still gonna kill the, if I don't kill the boss with it, then I agree with you. As long as we go to a parallel world, so as long as we kill a dragon, be good. Explain to YouTube what happened. Didn't I just explain it? Dunk says 3,000, uh, show us the stats. Well, first off, stats weren't always tracked, plus trick kills don't count. There's a lot of variables there. A billion times, though, okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, if you're curious, chat is, is baby raging right now. Uh, they're calling, they're calling scammed because the bet, the bet was supposed to be that I kill, um, all bosses with wisps. 
and out of habit, I just went and killed the dragon. But we're gonna, we're still gonna kill the dragon. It's still gonna be all bosses. We just have to go to a parallel world to get the dragon, since the dragon is removed from our main world. He's scamming. That's not a scam. Listen, if I end up not killing the dragon with the wisp, you're right. It is a scam. So we'll have to wait and see. The shit talk is so thick. What? What are you on about? CK says, uh, to be honest, I also forgot why we're here. <laughs> like, I forgot we're not supposed to kill that. Yeah. Oop, oop. Uh, I have a couple hearts laying around. I can't use the dragon heart, but we're not finding any heart mages. It's kind of sad. Lord says, uh, I don't consider the dragon a boss, so it don't count in my book. <laughs> the dragon is a boss. He is on the boss pillars. We will kill him. Don't worry. So normally the item radar would be the way here, but we're already so so deep in. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it. Okay, extra health is not bad. We'll wait to grab it. It has not been 10 minutes, so I'm watching a timer. Be good. So you're saying you could then kill the bridge boss in the main world, only to then go to a parallel world and find one there too, right? Wait, what? Any boss that, that spawns in the parallel worlds, yeah, we can farm them there. But you gotta keep in mind that I, I'm not using the resources that he offers. That was the, that's the whole point. That's the whole reason I said I don't I don't kill him. I'm not supposed to be using their resources, so I just don't use what he, whatever he offered. Actually, let me go get rid of that one guy that was over here. It makes me nervous. There's a broken wand. Now you killed it. Why not use the stuff? Because for the it's supposed to be for the challenge that we're not we're not relying on the boss's resource. That's the whole reason. Like the all bosses part of the run is supposed to be like getting to the the wisp without relying on like bridge boss cheese or whatever to give you a boost in the run early. That was the whole point of it. So that, I mean, obviously that guy didn't drop anything that that was that helpful, anyways. Oh, there's a heart mage. Deep. Um, I, my Telly wand is dangerous right now. I can't use it yet. I, mean, I can't. I can't give it to him. I should say. Is, is there? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. It's gonna be like that. This is gonna be a really sloppy heart mage trick right here. So, give us a little boost. Let me prep this wand real fast. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. I 
I'm calling my local representative at City Hall. You'll be hearing from them in the morning. <laughs> You're so stupid. It's not cheating, Chad. You're missing the whole point. You're missing the whole point of the challenge. There was a heart. There's a heart there too. Okay, it's give me one moment. Actually, wait, no, it'd be this one we'll put up. All right. With that, I demand a recount. <laughs> recount. Ah, damn it, Chad. Hold up. Uh, okay, there's a heart there. Getting the heart made sure is going to be kind of annoying. There's another heart mage. What the? Okay. Hello, friend. That should be more than enough to get us by for the rest of our run. Get some water going. Oh shit, what the? Get out of here. Alright, let me. We're up to 8k. We're gonna be fine, chat. That's more than enough health. I was I was thinking of maybe even going without a heart mage today, but gotta get my cow my cowboys mug over here <clears throat> for the haters. Eight and three, baby. <laughs> you know it, Vio. Oh, and Goromon's right. I forgot we also have the uh, the perk back at the mountain, so we can add on another four K if we want to. Hmm. Uh, let's get moving on. You know what? I think I may re-roll that, because what's another 4k health? If we die, it's because of polymorphine or a, a frozen melee likely, you know? Griffin says, the only good cup of tea is a strong cup of tea. What the hell's happening in chat? That was wasteful. That was wasteful. I just figured 4k health is so bleh. I felt like I should shout it at y'all. Now we know. What dropped out of that thing? I think there's, there's homing underneath all that crap in there, and I want that. Alright. Oop, slid right into that. That oil. Alright. Let's get back to the sweat. We have some heals up here. We have the double explosive projectile. I left the explosion weakening curse at the at the top on the ground, right above the wand mart. So I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. Let's just push onwards. 
Oh, I was grab wanting to grab homing. That's what it was. That's what it was. Uh, I'll get, get rid of that for now. Oops, did I just... Nope. There we go. Hey. Don't forget that uh, Toxic Sludge damage does scale, so it, it does pump pretty good damage right now. Giga Death Cross. Actually, one Giga Death Cross. It's probably going to be the one that we use as our main Wisp. I dig it. So, uh, oh, this was Aiming Arc. It wasn't regular homing. Well, Aiming Arc actually isn't that bad, necessarily. Eh. I'm not happy about it. Uh, let's see. We have all these, and then we can add in another double and put down a Spark Bolt just to take up space. Giga Death Cross goes up here. And then put that up. Oh, we're spending too much mana now. Whoops. That's annoying. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's fine to do for now. Just use short homing. I have short homing, but you got to remember we're making a um, we're gonna be making a wisp. So I'm trying to accumulate materials for our future wisp. That's why I was hoping it was regular homing. Ooh, that was kind of scary. Got a little too close to that guy. Another explosive projectile, but we already have two, which is how many you need. Woo! Right through the heart of an explosion. Twenty. Look at this thing. Twenty-six capacity. It's got the speed-up shot thing that I would like to. Eh. <laughs> Trogdor says I'm from YouTube and not very cool. What does a wisp want? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Why the not very cool comment? <laughs> Uh, hopefully you'll get to see very soon, but the goal is right now whenever I fire this death cross You see how it just it just oh shit. Okay. Well, it flew at me, but it's not supposed to fly at me It was trying to get to those fish death crosses will do that. They'll fly after fish. It's kind of annoying um, But I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to build a wand in such a way that we will have a death cross that when we fire it off will literally stay in the air next to us and run around killing any enemies near us and then run back to us People in the community refer to them as wisps. It doesn't have to be a death cross. It can be any projectile, but death cross is likely going to be the one that we use because it works very well as a wisp. Um, and you'll you'll get you'll get to see that soon. But it's a projectile that follows around the player and kills all enemies nearby. Think of like Yondu or some shit where you're just like fucking doing nothing and it's just boom 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 one tap and everybody. That's the game plan. And these levels, they definitely have a lot more to offer than I'm than I'm checking out. It's just when once I get the the wisp built, it's it's still gonna take a bit for us to get this these wisp ingredients. And one, once I get it built, I then have to, you know, kill all the bosses, which is going to require me to go to a parallel world since I removed the dragon from this world. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the ingredients as quick as I can, which the fastest way possible is going to be by heading down to hell. Go to hell! <laughs> removed? <laughs> He died of natural causes, all right? <laughs> the dragon. He died of natural causes. It just, just happened to be that I was shooting in his general direction. Uh, ooh, look at that. 
We get the uh, weakening curse for projectiles. That's that's pretty nice. I don't think there's anything else that I'm too interested in. Uh, nope. Additional damage from the horizontal. That's nice. In fact, I'll grab it right now and slap it on our wand. It'll add it'll add eight damage to all of these. Uh, hey, can't you see I'm wand building here? Oh, melee immunity. Okay. So I am going to grab the melee immunity. And then... I don't think I need anything else there. I will leave both of these eggs on this wand and put it in the ceiling. So that I can use that later on the boss. Um, put a freeze here. And remove that there. Ah, oh, that's some bullcrap. Alright, I have a general idea of what I'm gonna do. Actually. Wait, did I get rid of the ping pong? What? What was I thinking? I didn't get rid of it. I know where I left it, but that's annoying. I was wanting to use this to... Hmm. Damn it. I was going to use ping pong freezing luminous drill to dig faster. That's not an option right now. Wait, what the hell? What did I do to my... Hold on. Triple. One, two, three. Double adds this. Oh, this... Uh, okay. Well, we grab that. Triple. One, two, three. Double adds that. Triple on there. Okay. Are we good now? Kind of. I really don't like the mana issues. Hmm. It'll do. Curious where oh wait, I forgot to clear space. Not my smartest moment. Drilling shot. Oh, there was drilling shot. Thank you, Chad. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Drilling shot is important. I gotta clear space anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <laughs> drilling shot is actually very important. Chat's paying attention because last time, um drilling shot added about 45 minutes to the run just looking for drilling shot. It was it was actually really annoying. Because drilling shot is necessary because for the wisp to not die whenever it hits the walls and stuff, we're going to need piercing and drilling is what we'd like. Or at least the drilling allows it to go through the walls. Piercing will keep it also from dying on contact with the walls. Um, put the Giga Death Cross here. And we'll just put some filler stuff in there for now too. How does this look? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six spots? Here, we can make it. That should be more than enough. Uh, I gotta put this wand in the ceiling so I know to grab it later. Get rid of the explosive projectiles. Well, the thing is, I think on the wisp, uh, we may we may want to do an explosive wisp. I mean, obviously, it's not necessary. Or just, did you mean just put them on there? Yeah, I could have just put them there as a temporary spot.
All right, we're about to be into hell, and then we're going to go directly for the hell shop. Now, the most exciting thing that we could find down here in this hell shop is Summon Taika Sova. Summon Taika Sova is a spell that lets you summon in wands. So, we could literally create a system to just farm all of the stuff we need for our wisp today, all the remaining stuff, in a matter of minutes. Um, which could, in, you know, instead take hours. It, it could be a huge time saver. Now, again, we may end up getting lucky and getting the ingredients we need anyways for the wisp from other spots. But it's just nice to have it. Let's put it that way. But not necessary. Give him the old freeze kick. So we follow the far right wall. Free fall all the way down. Where is this? We're in the hell zone right now. And mainly if you're in hell, the, the main reason you go there is there is a, um, at the top area, that's where there's an orb. And usually people hang around that zone just killing some enemies, getting the essence, getting the orb, things like that. But what we're doing is we are dropping way down to the bottom where there is a shop down here. It's called the Hell Shop, and it's very expensive, but it's got some of the best spells in the game. Uh, reduced lifetime and increased lifetime are not something Summon Tychosova can give. Also, remember to divide by two. Oh, thank you for the reminder, Latali. And, oh, shit, yeah. Uh, wait, is is it uh, divide by two and uh, one reduced lifetime and one increased lifetime? Was that the setup, Latali? And so, and so that would mean we can't get those from Summon Tyke of Sova. Uh, gamma, I'm likely... Yeah, you know what? Let's just grab Gamma. Summon Tyke of Sova. Wow. Wow. Uh, that, was, uh, that was pretty fucking nice. Gotta say. Pretty juicy. Paints me to know that Dunkbot wants to uwu, but can't. <laughs> Dunkbot definitely does not want to uwu. I don't know what you're on about, three babies. <laughs> He's talking crazy. On behalf of Dunkbot, no. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, so what we're looking for right now are. Divide by two. Um, we already have the Giga Death Cross. Ooh, add trigger. I think we're gonna do add trigger, actually. I'm gonna end up spending all my money. Um, let me, let me remember real quick. Let's we'll probably even just post for a reminder. Divide by two, plus reduce, plus increase. Okay. Um, the reduce and the increase spawn down here, right, Latali? But we're going to go through a parallel world, so we'll probably get lucky anyways. Um, what all are we missing? Piercing and homings. All those we'll get from Summon Taika Sova. Any add mana stuff that we want. It's literally just the divide by two, the reduce and the increase. I think that's everything. Um... Yeah, that's true. Without without that, we couldn't use the Giga Death, Giga Death Cross. We'd have to use the Spark Trigger temporarily with, if we don't grab this. Uh, I was just trying to see if there's too many other things that we need to buy, but I, I don't think so. I think it's like three things, right? Get off me. Did you find, uh, like, did you find by yourself all these locations in the game or the wiki? No, the so back whenever I first started playing was like in the very early days of early access. And I, all, all of my days of playing Noita has been on stream with the community. So it's always been a community like effort, right? Like, I'll, for example, 
Um, even if I ever like roam into an area that's like new that I don't recognize, usually there are people that are talking strategies like, hey, you know, the first time ever you like, you know, seeing the lava, they're like, if you can get under that lava, there should be a place called hell down there. So then it became our focus. We get down hell. Then we, you know what I mean? So there's always a community thing. It was never me like on my own, just adventuring, which I enjoy playing it that way. I enjoy like, you know, playing things as a group, everybody being like, hey, try this, try that. That's how I've really enjoyed my time in Noita, so yeah, no, I wouldn't say that I... The only time that there was ever, like, a solo experience would be, um... It was weird, when Noita was coming out into 1.0, so they had early access, it had been around over a year, and they were 1.0 was coming out. For some reason, they did this one day early for streamers, I guess to, like get like hype or something going for the game i don't know i don't know the marketing side of things so i can't really speak on that too much to know if it's like a good idea or a bad idea i just didn't like it so much because it felt like you know it's pretty, pretty much streamers got a day early version and then uh, people were forced to either watch or if they didn't want spoilers to just like you know have to sit out of the noita section for a day and on that day was the one time that we were really roaming into areas and the chat was i mean they were still able to able to theory craft and stuff but a lot of what they were coming up with would be like what they were seeing around because they weren't able to to get it hands on yet so i can remember whenever we found like you know we found like a key and then the chat was like oh snap like the, you know the the alchemist dropped a key they're like okay like, like where does this work and the chat was like well i was watching weedo's stream and on weedo's stream uh he found a chest and they didn't know how to open it that must be where this key goes you know that kind of stuff that was like the early days of 1.0, piecing together stuff like that. Oh shit, now. Very early days, meaning literally the first day. Well, the first day of, of 1.0, yeah, yeah. Very The very early days of 1.0, the first day. Well, actually it'd be the negative one, because <laughs> it wasn't even the first day it was out. Yeah, I, I didn't like that part so much. I wish the devs just did, like, because not only that, it created this whole thing where, like, I had to try to get my hands on an early key because uh, the people who are over, like, marketing and stuff for, for Noita were, like, I guess they either, you either posted your email in your Twitch description or they just did not contact you. So I actually didn't have an early access uh, to 1.0 until, I didn't even know there was one until, like, the day before. And so then it became this whole like messaging the devs, like, hey, get my hands on a key. And they were like, oh shit, you don't have a key? I was like, yeah, like, like I didn't get sent one. So it was this whole thing. And the people in our community that weren't streamers were like, damn. So I, because normally we played it together. We've always experienced Noita as like a group. So it was like the one time where I had to basically wait for a day. But it wasn't that big of a deal. It just was a little bit, just a weird time to Noita, really. Remember to grab spells to X? Yeah, I thought maybe something better than the missiles. It was that. It was that probably the best ones that we would that we would want. Uh, wait. What? What did Mister Who Man say? Did you find? Oh, um, because I'm kind of sad that players have no chance to find it by, out by themselves. Game does not give hints at all. Yeah, it's weird. There are some things in Noita that you're like, given enough time, a player will figure out this or figure out that. But yeah, there are just so many things that. You know, people, I'm sure there are many that claim to have done this or that on their own. Ooh, I'm really totally saying this could be made into something really cool. I have not seen an Infinite Wisp version of the bullet. Uh, damn it, I am going to run out of gold though, Latali. Is it anything worth a damn? Durium says do it. Is it that, is it that good, Durium? The JFK bullet? What the fuck? <laughs> the bullet curves. <laughs> too soon, three babies. Too soon. Give it another 30 years. I have no clue, but it's a bullet. It does seem like it could be really cool. Yeah, well, it always, if you have something you want me to raid, make sure you remind me as it gets close to uh, raid in time. And I'll, I, I usually try to sh spread the love, you know. Do it for the clickbait. Hmm. The bullet is basically a spark bolt wisp, but 100% success rate. Oh, okay. So that's only the difference is the spark bolt. I thought maybe something about the way it moved or whatever may have been like really hilarious. 
But the clickbait of the curbing the bullet thing may actually be solid. I don't know if I'd be bold enough to put the JFK build like Three Babies was saying. <laughs> there had to have been another shooter. This angle's impossible. Spells of black holes could be good. Shmamron saying about you can buy four more spells with your current money, so one more on top of the divide by two, the reduce and increase, or just save the rest of your gold. Well, we have to buy, yeah, we we have to get one of these spells to something to remove the wisp because we are going to need to do that from time to time. So maybe that's our four. If I was smart, I would have grabbed the uh, music notes and prepared a wand to portal my way back up to the surface, right? I was a smart Noita player. He says that he leads the spells to black holes. Well, I was just waiting to see if there's anything like better. I didn't, I don't know. Maybe it is the best. I did like spells to acid quite a bit though for it. Just searching hell, don't mind me. Man, a lot of I feel like we're seeing a lot of divide by fours, divide by threes, divide Ooh, reduce lifetime. Huge fine, huge fine. Massive fine, chat. Massive fine. This is a wiss only run, no shooting bosses allowed. Don't screw it up. I did accidentally smack the dragon earlier, but we're gonna have to go to a parallel world anyways to go gather some resources, so it'll probably work out. Uh, spells to death crosses. Hmm. What are you looking for? We are now missing. Um, so we're. Our goal is to make it where a projectile stays alive forever. So there are specific ingredients. If you have a specific projectile in mind, all you have to do is do, 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 go to this guide here, which like I, I can link in the chat, FM had linked it earlier, uh, and you choose the projectile that you're wanting to make infinite. So the one that we are looking to make infinite is the uh, Giga Death Cross, which uh, Control F Giga, uh, no, not that Giga, or that one. There we go. Giga Death Cross. And from there, it tells you three and one. And you have a 100% chance of it being created. So three and one. So three is the reduced lifetime. So you need three reduced lifetimes and one increased duration. And whenever you do that, you can create an infinite uh, lifetime projectile of a Giga Death Cross. Now, there are tons of different versions. You know, you can make other projectiles. It's just right now we are, we are setting our mind on one specific one 
Um, but if this doesn't work out soon, I can show you. Uh, there's there's many other ones. The easiest one that we have right now is a spark bolt. The spark bolt only needs one, and we have that. All it needs is one reduced lifetime. So we are already set up to create a wisp for this. Why reduce lifetime? So there is a... It, Basically, if you can set the lifetime of a projectile to negative one, it will make it so that it has an infinite lifetime. So normally the lifetime should be like, oh, like 1.2 seconds or something, right? Like one second, two seconds, three seconds, whatever. And if you set it to negative one, the result is that it, it stays alive forever. Timing wise, it doesn't time out is the better way I should say it. You'll see, don't worry, you'll get a, you'll get a good look at it in a moment. So this, like I said, this is something I don't think the devs necessarily planned around. It's just the community, uh, the community discovered it and then the devs were just like, fuck it, I guess we make it an achievement. Make it a thing. Okay. The new guys in the corner puking his guts out. A run, 1008, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Is a nuke wisp viable? I mean, I'm sure it could be viable. I don't know if you would, I mean, there's other ones that are better probably. Was a bug uh, and the devs said, nope, it's a feature. Um, So I think calling it a bug would be a little bit extreme. I think there are some, um, there's a scenario that they were trying to make a projectile have an infinite lifetime for, you know, something on, I, I don't know, just something out there needed to have an infinite lifetime. And they were like, uh, just make it where if it's ever his lifetime is set at negative one, it stays alive. It just is infinite, right? Rather than setting the number at like nine, 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 nine. They're like, just if it's negative one, it's just set at infinite. Well, then players basically found a way to make the projectile go, its lifetime go back to that sweet spot. And then it also had the same result. I'm trying to think of a scenario of why they would have set it at negative one for infinite, but it was it was likely something that was set in the code, but for what purpose, I don't know. But well, once the once the community discovered it, the devs uh, when they added the achievement in, I think it was added with 1.0. So when it came out, we'll, we'll, the, the, the message will pop up on the screen in a second. In fact, we could already get the message to pop up uh, when I get to the next Holy Mountain. Yeah, I think I'm just going in circles at this point. We could get the message to pop up. I was just hoping to do it with uh, the Death Crosses. Them Giga Death Crosses. I gotta get better at exploring this shop in a more uniform, like, organized way, because I kind of just, you know, run around sporadically. Yeah. I don't know, we saw so many divide by fours in, in here. It's crazy. It's pretty pr common for programmers to use uh, programmers to make values that should always be positive. Use negative one as a reference value. Yeah, see, so it makes sense that like they had they had set something there without the intention of players using it, just for you know some some other reason, and then end up players kind of made use of it. Or, you know, maybe they were like, let's put it in the game, see if players make use of it, and then if they do, we can expand upon it. That's also possible. It's just, I, the reason I guess a lot of people tend to assume there's like, it's like one of those bugs that became a feature, is because even simple things were bugs that became a feature. Like, when you go to a parallel world, and you jump into a portal, it takes you back to the main world. So it's like, oh shit, you're not allowed to use portals in parallel worlds, at least the main portals, you're not allowed to use them. The devs themselves said that they, whenever they came out, like in early access or whatever, 
and uh, people were playing and, they, and the players ran into the portals and it teleported them back and they were like, oh crap, it sent me back to the main world. The devs were like, oh, that was that's not supposed to happen. And they were like, ah, but I don't know, we kind of like it that way. So we they just left it. I was like, what? I mean, that's so. That's why it's, I, you know, you end up assuming that with many things that you're like, did they anticipate this? No way. It must have been an accident. Uh, did I check everything here? Just about. But that's kind of like the nature of Noita anyways. Like, I don't think, I think the devs would be like, well, I mean, even it, like this build right here, you'd be like, oh, did the devs intend for this build? No, they literally just, they didn't intend for any builds. They were just throwing out ingredients into the world and then players were coming up with ways to use them. The reason that, I, that I, I'm fairly confident whenever I say that is because uh, like, you know, there has, like Himpoli has streamed himself playing Noita before and I can tell you whenever he gets certain ingredients like this he definitely does not build wands like this because <laughs> like, I seen him I seen him play and I was like what is his wand crafting was a little little bit jank you would think it would be optimized to hell but it was it was definitely not shade no I'm just saying like is because even the devs they were just creating a world for the players to to experience they weren't necessarily pre deciding how everything should be used Um, I don't want to, I don't know if it's worth digging all that way. I'm going to go to one more hell shop, I think, chat. <laughs> Shots fired. I mean, <laughs> it, I think him Pulley would agree. He'd be like, yeah, I mean, I don't, he, he'd probably be like, yeah, he's, he just, cre he created the world that we have fun in. He doesn't play it all the time. Chase saying the devs are shit at the game they made. Well, I think that's a lot of devs don't really play the hell out of the game that they make, right? It's pretty common that they make a game and their their experience with the game is fixing issues and stuff for people. They don't necessarily do a lot of hands-on play themselves. A holy bomb wisp? I have not seen that one. There's quite a few wisps I haven't seen though. Especially with like the gigas. I've never seen any of the gigas made into a wisp. I don't know how that would work. That's like creating weeb commands and shame those who use it. Hey, I didn't make those. Look at Durium. Durium is the one that made them. He's in the chat right now. Fucking blame him. Throw, throw hate at him. He won't even deny it, too. He knows he did it. He's like, it's true. I've damaged this community in a way <laughs> I never intended. He says, I made only two, though. Yes, but you were the first, most aggressive ones. It led to the chaos that is uh, going on these days. Going back up to the surface is going to suck. We are two hell shops down. And yes, you can keep dropping down to more and more of these hell shops. It, that's why you, you want to take like a portal with you so that you don't have to fly all the way back up. But I'm not a smart man. <laughs> I didn't plan for this. I'm a fool. A damn fool. Also, uh, I would recommend you taking freeze when you go down here unless you want to do lots of lava. Because when you kill these enemies, it just spews everywhere. Uh, screw it. I'll grab spells to black holes. Uh, is spells to black holes... It works with uh, unlimited spells, right? right? I'm starting to think maybe not. Because it is black holes. And black holes tend to not work with unlimited spells. Hmm. What do you mean take a portal with you? Uh, the music notes from the tree on the surface, you can grab the, it's A, D sharp, 
E, G, those four notes, if you play them together, it'll summon a portal, which will take us to the surface. So if you're ever heading down so deep into hell that flying up is going to be a pain, then once you get all the way down here, play the music notes, a portal will appear, you can jump into it. You can only do this one time, though, in, in, in one run. I mean, you go to a new run, you can do it again. Apparently you can do it with each instrument uh, one time. What about getting explosive detonator uh, from Tekasovi? There could be, we could do some kind of teleport setup, but we're so far down here, it's like we would need it after, like we need it now. <laughs> uh, I've gone down seven hell shops looking for the dark moon. I don't want to uh, open the game anymore. Seven hell shops looking for the dark moon. You, should, you only have to go to the first hell shop. <laughs> seven. Have you lost your mind? Uh, we're just going to grab this one. That's fine. Oh, okay, so we're just missing divide by two and increase. Oh, why am I going back that way? Yeah, this is lined up correctly. Some Midas. I don't know what kind of weeb stuff you're requesting right now, Lope, but I'm too lazy to click links. Once I get the wisp going, I'll feel a lot more chill. Just I feel a little bit annoyed right now that we haven't got our ingredients yet. We got lucky with Summon Tekasova though, so because normally I'd have like four more spells I'm looking for. But instead we're just missing one. Increase lifetime. Increased lifetime isn't even like that rare of a spell, so it, it, we may be better off just traveling through a parallel world, run through the shops real fast, and getting it that way. That's why I'm not going to keep going down to further and further like hell shops. I'm just kind of glancing through this one. And then we're going to be heading up. Oh, there was spells to acid. I was looking forever. Already grabbed the black holes. No turning back. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Good here. Christmas themed weave emotes. Are there Christmas themed weave emotes? Is that what what was linking? Yeah, the Omega Black Hole's purpose is to kill off the Wisp, because you gotta remember, we will be creating projectiles that are supposed to pretty much stay alive, you know, forever. But sometimes you have to put down your own creations. It's sad, but it's true. Especially if you put something in it that was kind of a dangerous combo, and you're like, realize it after you shoot it. You need a way to turn it off. So that's what the spells to Black Holes will do. Spells to anything. It converts it to a black hole or whatever. See, this one would be spells to Giga Death Crosses, so it convert the Wisp over to, get to a Giga Death Cross and just die off. Um, hey, thanks for the kind words there, Lord Neckbeard the Great. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Go get some rest. Saw blade equals Giga Death Cross. Did I say spell? Did I say spell to Giga Death Cross? Spell to saw blade. <laughs> Actually, it was spelled a Giga Saw Blades, wasn't it? Axe says, I missed you getting melee immunity. I thought for sure that worm was about to end your run. Luckily, that worm it doesn't hit anything like the uh, dragon. Dragon's melee hit will just massacre you, right? But that, that worm, he hurts, but it's nothing like the dragon's. Yeah, if, if the dragon was coming at me like that, then yeah... <laughs> I would, it would be an insta run kill. Even with 7k HP, like he'll 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 murder you. I remember one time when I was fighting the dragon, I had like 3,000 HP, so I wasn't too scared. And so I went up to the dragon fight, kind of with the goofy wand, and I shot a couple shots at him, and the dragon just goes boom and ran me over, and I insta died. And I was like, what? what? I had 3,000 HP. What the hell? 
some nukes right there. Lord Neckbeard, appreciate the follow. That's why I was suggesting explosive detonator for uh, clearing the wisp. Oh, I see. And I could have saved a spot and a purchase. I actually like the explosive detonator idea a lot because it's, you know, to deal with as much like spells or whatever flying around. I may end up snagging one off of the Takasova anyways. Funnel, thanks for the follow. I'm just doing my final glances around here and then we're going to start heading back up to the surface. So what I'll do is I'll create a temporary wisp that uh, will be a spark. Well, it's it's still going to be a wisp, but it's not going to be like as cool as the Giga Death Cross. We'll have that wisp until we get the uh, the final ingredients to make it uh, to trans to to move over to our Giga Death Cross, which is the the one that I think you'll like more. But the Spark Bolt one will still be cool. It's still cool. Oh, wait, did we never grab a divide by two? We never did. I totally forgot I was exploring for that. So yeah, it literally is just one spell now, the Just one. The spell increase. Or the yeah. Lifetime increase. Omega Sawblade Wisp win? What does an Omega Sawblade need? Not that I'm going to, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, Omega... What the hell? 12? 12, uh, reduce lifetimes? I guess you would just use the divide by 10? And then two of them? You'd use a divide by 10 on a reduce? And then have two sitting there? Yeah, because it would divide by 10, plus the one would be 11, plus an extra one. Yeah, something like that. Jesus. Summon Omega Saw Blade. A little, little wild. I just feel like I'm like, yeah, I passed one up for sure. I can feel it. I passed one up. from the keyboard. Sorry, chat. Probably hearing lots of keyboard presses. It's getting intense. Uh, Comp, I see you dropping off down the sweat. It'll be top tier. You don't need piercing. You don't need drilling. You don't, you don't need boomerang. You don't even need to stay alive. So Lazarus. All right, we're gonna drop out the bottom, and then we're just gonna just head over to the right. I think. Is that one of those bullets. Get me out of here. Almost out. Wait. 
Damn it. Rude. I said I was going to drop out the bottom, but I keep finding like new areas that I didn't explore to. And I'm like, uh... There we go. Alright, now we're heading back up. Oops. This is going to take a moment. Let's go. What are those parentheses spells? Uh, yeah, like Wode says, they are conditional, like, programming spells. They allow you to program a wand. An example of something that you could do with that is you can make it where you have a wand that, um, so pretend like you're firing your wand, right? You could be firing your wand and then you get low health and instantly while your wand is firing just like this, it, because you're low health, I think it's below 25% health, it'll fire off like a circle of vigor. Because you could have a condition where at low health, fire off this spell instead. So the moment your health gets low, boom, it'll fire off the circle of vigor. Then it goes back to firing your normal wand once your health has gone above it. It sounds really cool, but honestly, I've never seen any any builds that I'm like, ooh. Because it just takes a lot of work to build something that is like... It just is neat visually, but at the end of the day, it's better just to have two separate wands doing two separate things. What COV means? Circle of Vigor. It's like the best of the healing spells. Um, it's the one that's a green circle that when you cast it, your health just starts like shooting up. I have a challenge for your big event. Make a do-everything wand using conditional spells. Digging, killing, traveling, healing. That, that wand better be thick as hell. Alright, we now we're back to the first hell shop. Gotta travel past this. Is there any two-step spells in Noita? Like, uh, you summon something and explode it? Um... Yeah, I mean, there are many, there are, there are several situations that you can do that. Um, they're not as popular because people like to do one wand that kind of does it all. But uh, there is a build that I posted on my Noita YouTube channel like a couple months ago that's like called like player made portals or something like that. And players actually came up with a system where you can literally lay a spell on the ground, store a teleport in it, go far away, and then you can set that teleport off whenever you want, want like a timed explosion basically and it will warp you back uh, it's pretty pretty neat stuff yeah the dormant crystal exactly dormant crystal is definitely the build that you think of when you think of something that you set off you could do you could do damage builds out of it too stream doesn't end until you find a 70 plus capacity wand which at this point may be impossible Ending stream sounds like great content. The stream that never ends. I just live on stream now. Wait, where did I enter? There we go. I was curious what I entered in. All right, so this is where we first got into hell. It's 
kind of the reason I wanted to push my health so high so I can be just like kind of sloppy when I go through this zone. Smash my face against the wall. I'm like, oh, I'll make it through eventually. Uh, I think we came in over here. Yep. Okay, get around the corner. A little scary, but we have so much HP, it's not like the biggest deal. We grab the health here. Okay, let's go ahead and create uh, a wisp, yeah? So, first we need to get... We have drilling, we need piercing, and boomerang, which we can get off of summon Tychosova. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down double explosive projectiles here to kill off the summon Tychosova stuff. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so summon in a wand. This is going to take a minute to get set up. Uh, gamma, cast a copy of the last spell on your wand. Put the summon Tychosova there. There you There. I'm going to be doing this for just a moment so that I can get a faster setup. I'm thinking uh, chainsaws. Let me see how, how many times can I fire this thing off? Hmm. Alright, here's what we'll do. Two cast. I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Who dis? Who dis? Cohen with the 12 month or the one year resub. Thank you, Cohen. I appreciate your love and support. Thank you, thank you. If anybody's confused on what exactly we're doing here, um, Summon Tychosova actually just summons a wand it's, it's pretty much by itself it just summons in a wand however it only has a single charge so what i'm what i've done is i've made it where gamma casts a copy of summon tychosova summoning in a wand and then immediately i'm killing off that wand just so i can see what it it, it brought in and uh to speed up the the rate of fire i'm going to put some chainsaws put a little build like this so hopefully i can bring in quite a few of them oh no not this is okay it's not oh wait yeah that makes sense should be like that, right? Yeah. A little scary. They got aggressive. They got a little bit feisty with me. Uh, actually, hold up. Go far away from that area for a moment. Oh, good. I gotta find a better spot to, to do all this. Chat, I need your eyes. I need your eyes, chat. I want to be looking for boomerang and homing, the good homing, like the big homing, and piercing. Chat is boring today. The bot's muted just for just for today. Come on, man. Um, where can I do this safely? Hmm. Ooh, this one is nice. Projectile area teleport. Um, I do want that one. We already have one drilling. Uh, actually, I don't know if having multi... We may do some science with that. Okay. Summoning them in and killing them real quick. So if you're curious, it's it can be really tricky to kill these these ghosts. So for example, let's say I, I just bring in this ghost right here. I summon them in, and I try to kill them. I just try to shoot them. 
most of the time your wands will not damage them. You have to find stuff that's considered that that that's dangerous to these guys. So the explosions from the explosive projectiles, while they're not dangerous to me, they are dangerous to that ghost dude. That's how you can kill them off. You got to make sure though that if you do go to kill him off, that you don't just injure him, and and him and for that guy to know that you're the cause of it. Because if I injure him and he knows that I did it, he'll fire whatever wand he has at me, which could result in my death. Because I mean, he gets random stuff on his wands, you know. Could be could be some good shit. Uh, real quickly, let me build up a oh my god, a little nest over here. Appreciate the lurk lurkage there, Milton. If you uh, apply acceleration to a wisp after you apply drilling, you can cancel the slowdown in solid materials. Oh, I think we had that in the wrong order then last time, Latali. Thank you for that information. Some cool wisp information right there. Which hopefully I don't immediately forget. Alright, so put that there. Wait, what? Get out of there. Chainsaw. Here, there we go. Should be good enough. All right, boomerang. Rotate towards kind of interesting. Chainsaws. Hey, hey, go, uh, uh. come on, man. Hold on, let me just move stuff real quick. First time. Uh, orbiting arc actually helps with some infinites, right? Let me place it here in case later I need it. Uh, Alright. I wouldn't mind an add mana or two. Did you end up finishing the infinite gold run the other day? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, there it is. There is a good homing. Uh, don't worry, I'll explain like with all these modifiers what 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 role they play whenever we, our wisp is going off. So don't go thinking that you're having to figure it out for yourself. It's just it, it helps whenever I just explain it as it's being used rather than trying to explain it ahead of time. We already have acceleration on that one. Dang, oh, as I say, we're not getting any ad monos, but there's one right there. You can now use uh, one orbit plus two ping pong to substitute for increased lifetime. Yeah, I, I hate the way that they fly, though, with the orbit arc. Uh, the one that I enjoyed, though, was the, the heel bolt wisp that we created with it was kind of badass. So that's why I was, I was grabbing it, thinking maybe we'll do something there. Maybe. Okay. Remember, piercing and boomerang. Those are our two key missing components. Another ad mono. Real quickly, I need to create some more space. And you know what? Let's uh, let's actually check the stability of our game. Oh, I just had to create a new zone for 
picking up wants and stuff, you know. Is is the heal bolt wisp still healing you if you're polymorphed? Kind of. So the heal bolt wisp will still exist, but it won't necessarily uh, boomerang to you anymore. I don't think. I think it kind of like loses its target. <clears throat> How is Dunk making all these wands? It all comes from Summon Taikasova. It all comes from this one right here. This one spell. Summons a possessed wand to aid you. And we found it in Hell on today's daily run. It was one of the first things we found in Hell. Keep in mind, this, this spell does not need to be unlocked. It can be in, a, it can be in your regular run anywhere. Um, in fact, we had a run uh, about a month ago where we found a Summon Taikasova in our very first zone. Uh, it was in a chest. We opened it up and it dropped out. And so by the very first Holy Mountain, we had already summoned in hundreds of wands. It was pretty wild. Uh, exactly. Gilf remembers. He remembers. Okay, let me get that all set up. Let me, real quickly, let me check. Let's see, task manager. Let's see. How is Noita looking? It's not terrible. Like usually Noita has gotten way more unstable by now, but it is getting close to like where it probably needs a reset sometime soon. So we'll uh, give it a reset in a bit here. Let me just get everything prepped. That's there. That's all here. See, summon Taika Sova, and all we're doing is we're just rapid firing the gamma, which is the gamma copies the last spell in my wand. So just like we were rapid firing black holes, now we're gonna rapid fire summon Taika Sova, uh, like that. Which actually, hold on, I just realized. Why don't I, I why don't I move some of these manas on here to help with our mana issue right now? It's kind of annoying. Move this away. We could go mana, mana, it... like that? How does that look? Oh no, this is kind of complicating things, isn't it? Oh, it's a three cast. How annoying. One, two, three. Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three. Wrap that. Wait, something's wrong. One, two, three, hits this. Triple, one, two, three. Wraps, oh, there we go. There we go. If you're curious what, what matters there is because in this scenario, the chainsaw, remember when the chainsaw, this is groups of three, casting groups of three, so one, two, three. This is group number one. That's getting cast and that one has a slight slowdown on it because what's happening is the uh, add monas are adding castellate then it hits the chainsaw chainsaw removes all castellate so that's nice uh, but then digging bolt adds 0.02 digging blast add, adds 0.02 so that's 0.04 castellate out of this first group you set it this way so the chainsaw's at the very end chainsaw gets hit last so it removes all castellate the moment it's hit that's the magical property of chainsaw all castellate's room so this is group number one zero zero like insta frame cast. The second group will then wrap to the sec to the first group, so we get the speed we're looking for. Um, what about freeze? I don't think it's needed any longer. And speed up and just place there for now. Why wrap with digging bolts? Uh, you have a bajillion chainsaws. I like keeping a couple uh, digging bolts around because I like the way that they dig. 
Um, but yeah, having having two of them there is probably just just having at least one of them there. Um, but I like I like keeping them as random as spells and not just exclusively chainsaws since chainsaws don't dig quite as well. There was a piercing in there. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Grabbed that. Is there anything else? Uh, more chainsaws, which we're not too interested in. So then now we are missing another big homing and boomerang, and then that's it. I think so. Yeah, chainsaws do add sp spread too. That's another good point. You get to horn on them chainsaws, depending on how you're firing it. Can get some crazy spread going. Uh, another add mana. Maybe, maybe. Dang, another one. They're all starting to pop up now. They're everywhere. Mana, mana, mana. Uh, put that there. We don't need another piercing. We just needed the one that we do have. The thing I'm looking for is the boomerang spell and uh, one more big homing. This is not 100% necessary, but since we got summon Tychosova, I'm being kind of picky. Since uh, when I show it, when I show the the wisp the first time, I would like it to be a pretty cool wisp, you know. Normally, whenever I don't have summon Tychosova, you just build this like you know whatever jank wisp you can build. You're like there you go, it works. But this one can be a, a pretty high quality wisp. Just gotta look for the stuff. There's even a heavy shot on there that we could add. So the wisp is really pumping. Explosion weakening curse, uh, which we already have the projectile weakening curse. Um. Don't you, uh, we need drilling. There was drilling. No, we have drilling. We do have, we have two drilling, in fact. Uh, we have two, two of the drilling things. Uh, don't think we need the extra luminous drill. Triplicate, why is it triplicate on the wand itself? Not sure. I mean, at this point, if I find Boomerang, I'll go ahead and build a, a Jank Wisp until we get the finished stuff, but it's it's damn close to being perfect. It's damn close. In fact, let's go ahead and throw away this. Put that up. Don't get too complacent if you build one of these wand farms like I'm doing. Uh, there are there are times that it can be kind of like almost unexplainable where these ghosts will something you maybe something you shot just something you did pissed off the ghosts. So when you go to summon them in, they they could these could have an omega saw blade like on these wands, and the moment that they see me, they fire it, and those omega saw blades do thousands of damage. So don't get too complacent. Make sure you're always you know quick to kill off these ghosts whenever they spawn in because you should not trust them the moment you start thinking that they're your friend you're dead you're already dead boomerang the hardest I've ever looked for boomerang. I don't even need more any more ad manas. We're set on that. Our new wand farm area. Yeah. 
Make sure you yell at me if you see a boomerang. I'm trying to move quickly. Come on, man. I can't quite tell that wand's going so quick. Abusing these poor ghosts. <laughs> hey, he, he can't be trusted. I've, tr I've tried to trust him in the past. Oh shit, they got picked up a wand. They're too dangerous. Getting very unlucky. Homing. All right, so the it literally is just um, boomerang left. Well, 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 well. Hey, Dunk was watching one of your older YouTube videos for the Moon Quest. Uh, what happened to the Creeper Stash? <laughs> <laughs> he took Slendykin's comment and, and modified it. Um, what happened to the hair? So my hair was longer during the COVID days, which um, pretty much whenever I, I became a streamer, it was like a couple months after starting to stream regularly, COVID became a thing. And I took COVID, you know, seriously. I did not like go out at all. Um, I pretty much was not around another human being besides my girlfriend who lives with me. Um, for for a, over a year, not even family and stuff. It was in complete isolation, and then um, so I didn't even get a haircut or anything. That's why I have like some some videos where my hair is like long and greasy, and looks like I haven't bathed in a couple of years. He have a girlfriend? Why do you why do you seem so shocked? <laughs> chat is speechless. Wait, what? This is not news chat. What do you mean that's still you? Are you still saying my hair my hair's not long and greasy, it's short and greasy now. Get it right, damn it. I've never had to look for boomerangs so hard in my life. We're getting screwed on RNGs in right now. I think he's disappointed you're taken. <laughs> Don't worry, Chad. I, I, you know, the girlfriend knows the deal. I told her that she, you know, she's gonna have to be, she has to be the side piece. Chad is my main squeeze. She accepted it. Said so Chad is always, always gonna be number one in my heart. <laughs> There's a heart. There you go. Volcasio is feeling the love now. I may have to go to a completely new holy mountain because I feel a little nervous with this many wands around here. I mean, I think we're just asking for like a crash or something, you know? I was getting complacent, so I'm way too many wands there. Boomerang! Oh! And double. Jesus, that one was a true pinata. Did you see that thing? Okay, of course. We got two of the duplicate one. So Summon Takasova will do that. Summon Takasova will, um. Because you're you're summoning in so many wands at like some of them are like in the exact same X and Y coordinate, and because of that you'll get you'll get duplicate looking wands. Which coincidentally was uh Pretty crazy one. 
All right, add mana, add mana, boomerang. Finally, woo! Did you say you need piercing? Nope, nope. We have uh, piercing right here. Double homing. We have boomerang. Let me go grab my wand with all my other resources on it. Uh, wait, was it this wand? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Actually, we can even fire it on this one, can't we? Alright, let's build us a wisp. Now... Let me go ahead and lay out some stuff, because this, yeah, this is going to be kind of annoying. And in fact, let me move to a safer area. This, this, we can actually scoot that over, double add mana, put down a black hole. Uh, you think I would have grabbed speed up with all that, those resources there, but I did not. There's a speed up there on my telly. Is there... Hold on, where's something... Oh, okay, okay, I see you guys. Don't trust them. Couple floating wands there. Waiting to throw down. I was looking for that one. I, I've seen several of them. The, uh, the, the, the light shot. I was wanting to grab that real quick to take with us. Light shot, I've seen like 50 of them. One was in the top area, Scrub says. Let's see. Not that one. Not that one. And once while it helps to kind of like grab ones to shuffle through them quicker. The one to the right? Wait, not one of these, right? No. I'm not talking about squiggly, I don't think. I hope you're not. You, you sure you're not mixing up essence to power? What's with all the ghost hate? I don't trust them. I never trust ghosts my whole life. I'm surprised with how stable the game is with all the wand spawn in it. Yeah, I know. That's it's one of the things about Noita that there are like the devs seem to accept some things about instability in the engine, which I think leads to a lot of people thinking about how unstable the game is, how like, you know, it's like, oh, it's poorly programmed or some shit. When in reality, this shows how how fucking well it is programmed. There are just small things in it that if if tweaked could really make the engine shine. Um you're on the left, go to the right. Oh, wait, wait, it's over here. Incoming crash in 30? Yeah, I think we are. We're cursed now, right? Wait, which group? This group or this group? I mean, I definitely know. Oh, 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 I just saw it. Yep, okay, well, I don't know if this is the exact one you were talking about, but here it is. What we were looking for. Uh, now to find where I put that, uh, that wand at. There it is. Hmm. All right, let's get to a safe mountain where I can build a wisp and not be afraid of the game crashing. Also, let me get away from here. And I thought dunk point, dunk ball 2.0 was copium. Wait, wait, what, what are we talking about? What are you saying, Scopia? We will make it at the next mountain. Let me just get back up here. Did I miss anything? Just a lot of wand farming. That's about it. It's a wisp you're about to see. No need to explain it when you're going to see it with your eyes in just a moment here. I got to get to the mountain though so I can actually... 
Okay. Back in the mountain. Let me do a quick reset for stability reasons. Because, you know, you don't want your game freaking out and crashing after all that hard work farming wands. Okay. So, first things first. Remember, whenever you're wanting to create an infinite wisp... I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Uh, Ben Off, thank you for the four month. I appreciate the sub. Much love to you, my dude. Four months of sweaty loving. Appreciate you, Ben Off. Um, remember, when you're creating an infinite wisp, first you choose a projectile. What is going to be the projectile that you create an infinite wisp with? So, for now, uh, because of the resources that we have, we're going to go with a spark bolt trigger. So, spark bolt trigger is going to be our core of the wisp. Uh, and you're like saying, okay, well, how do I know what ingredients to make it into an infinite? Remember, I showed you, uh, you pull up the spark bolt here on this list, which I'll link it in the chat right now. And I'll also, hopefully, if I post this to YouTube, uh, have this in the description. Uh, remember, this chart right here is kind of hard to find. It's right below the image that Nymph's Pyre made. Uh, it just says uh, expand. So I expand this. Boom, this chart is good to go. So look for the spark bolts. There it is. It doesn't matter if it's spark bolt trigger or whatever. It just, the spark bolt is, is all you need to see. So here's a spark bolt and it has one. All it says is one reduced lifetime is all you need to create a, a, an infinite projectile out of it, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I can give you some good visuals on this. Um, so let me real quickly with this spitter bolt, I just wanna show you something. When I shoot this, See how it dies off? That's the projectile expiring. Means like its lifetimes run out. The reason I wanted to show you that is because that also happens with the spark bolt. You just usually don't see it because it runs off camera, but it is dying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put boomerang onto this spark bolt so you get a better look at it traveling around. And you see how it dies off? It dies off after a little bit, right? Now, we're wanting to make its lifetime infinite, so it doesn't die off like that. So the way you do it is one reduced lifetime is all you need. One reduced lifetime on a spark bolt. You don't need the boomerang, but the reason the boomerang is there because I want you to be able to see it orbit me, you know? So every time you fire this uh, reduced lifetime on a spark bolt, there's a 6% chance that it will create an infinite uh, projectile. The very first time you ever create this, you will get a achievement. Um, and so we're, let's fire this off. And in fact, you'll see a message pop up on my screen here. Every time I fire it, 6% chance. So it's gonna be a couple shots for, before we get it. All right, maybe I'm gonna fire a little bit faster. There it goes, it created one, see? And you see how the projectile was following me? But then when I hit the ground, boom, it hit the ground and it died. But it didn't expire from its, its regular lifetime. It, it expired only because if I run it into like a wall or something, blip, it dies. So that's when you start to add in other things like drilling. Drilling will, will solve that issue of it, you know, smacking into a wall and dying off. And in fact, let me go ahead and try to increase the rate of fire on this. There you go. See, this is this is infinite project uh, infinite lifetime projectile. When I hit the ground, boom, it stays alive. Now we currently still have an issue with it. Watch this when I jump into the fish. Boom. Hit a fish and it died off, right? So we have it where it hits the walls and it doesn't die, but it hit a fish and it died. So that's whenever you want to put um, piercing on this bad boy. So um, how does that work if you put a chainsaw in front though? Uh, the the chainsaw is not do the chainsaw is it's just dying off like it's it just casting like normally. Like I, I you can cast it just like this. That's that's fine too. I was just putting the chainsaw there to try to increase the the rate of fire. It just makes it go faster. It's not actually on um, the projectile. It's literally just there for recharge, removal, and cast delay purposes, stuff like that. Uh, so one thing I wanted to point out that's important that you know when building uh, this infinite wisp is that normally something with piercing is dangerous to the player, right? You do, if something pierces, it means that if it hits the player, it can it can kill you. However, hold up, this thing is taking forever. I may have to add put some add monas on this bad boy. There we go. So, this spark ball right here, you see every time it's hitting me, it's firing off the chainsaws, actually. It's firing off these chain. this chainsaw right here is firing off when it hits me. But, 
Chainsaw naturally does not have damage that will hurt the player. So it's okay for Chainsaws to fire off on top of me. However, the piercing is on this Spark Bolt, meaning the Spark Bolt can hurt me. But if you try to calculate, well, how much damage is it going to hurt me for? Spark Bolt does three damage. Piercing removes 16 damage. So while the Spark Bolt is hitting me, trying to hurt me, it's hitting for uh, actually less than zero damage. It doesn't heal you, but it just doesn't hurt you. Uh, and then now if I go jumping into these fish, watch what the chainsaw does now. See that? It just ran right through them and then back to me. It's it's just fine. So our wisp is coming along nicely. Uh, we need to put some more advanced shit on it though. We need more space. Not the fish. Don't worry. I left some of them. I didn't kill off the whole thing. Um, hold up, chats. So real quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast uh, spells to black holes. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want the wisp to die off. I don't want this wisp hanging around. It's, uh, you know, it just... Whenever I'm testing stuff out, it's it's easier if there's not two different wisps and you're like, wait, where's that wisp and why is that wisp? To, you know, it's just easier to get rid of it. So, you know, keep it simple. Now, the reason I pointed out that this this piercing on this spark bolt could hurt me, but it's three damage and this is removing 16, is because you could fuck up and be like, oh, let me put heavy shot on the, the spark bolt. This is bad because if this is an infinite wisp and it has heavy shot, that means that extra 44 damage is added to a wisp that's coming back to hit you and it's going to light your ass up. So that is a bad thing. That's a no-no. Don't do that. Uh, however, uh, so we're, we're moving our wisp onto this wand right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And in fact... Uh, what all did we have? We had this, 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 and this on a spark bolt. And I think I even showed like a chainsaw. This is what we had before, right? I had the other chainsaw on there to, to make it cast faster, but this is what's the what's in the wisp. When I fire this, look how much mana it's costing us. It is expensive as hell to create one of these. So what we can do is to speed things up, we can put uh, an add trigger on the outside. Because remember, so a spark bolt trigger with add trigger just mean it's still just gonna be a spark bolt trigger. It's, it's not a double trigger. It is literally, it doesn't matter if you put a spark bolt here, a spark bolt timer, anything. It's just gonna result is gonna be add trigger on spark bolt. Anything is a spark bolt trigger. All the stuff in between it are all free, all modifiers. So if I put it here, this is bad. Still very expensive. This still interacts as a spark bolt trigger though. But I want the whole point of putting this there is to make these modifiers all free. So now these are all free. I can fire it off, and as you can see, it's much cheaper now. And I can try to farm that that wisp better. Uh, before we go doing this, though, let me go ahead and make this uh, wisp better. So what we want to do is we have the boomerang going on. Let's make it so that our uh, modifiers hunt out enemies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put double uh, homing on there. And the reason you want to do this is because if you have one boomerang and one homing and there's an enemy there's like a struggle it wants to boomerang towards you it wants to go towards the enemy it gets a little bit crazy it's like it's a tug of war but if you put double homing the homing is stronger so it'll pull towards the enemy once the enemies are dead it comes flying back to you and uh and chat's also one in acceleration so sure we can we can throw the accelerate so it does it all faster as well uh okay and let's make the payload a little spicier so instead of delivering just a chainsaw Let's deliver, um, we'll put, we'll put, um, add mana on there and then a, uh, triple with, let's just put maybe three chainsaws for now for simplicity. Obviously it's not the craziest thing ever, but keep it as simple. Double add mana does, is a little bit overkill. Uh, at this point, do you still need the boomerang? That's a good question there, perhaps. So the problem there is your spark bolt will go le will, will leave you and go chase around enemies, but then it's just gone. It's just going to leave, right? You want, the, you want the spark bolt coming back to you so that you can travel around and your spark bolt or, or whatever wisp you make is killing stuff and then running back to you. Killing stuff and running back to you. This is more advanced than my college years. <laughs> Wait, does accelerate affect lifetime? No, it does not. So there's the wisp. Uh, it's born, ready to do some murdering. As you can see, just smack the fish around. Uh, it, the homing doesn't naturally run towards the fish, so this uh, this whiff should, shouldn't go doing anything too crazy on its own. So let's 
Do we not have a black hole setup going on here? I don't think we do. Let me dig out into the level real fast so that I can uh, show you an enemy. Wisp? Did the black hole pull the wisp away? What is this shit? Oh, I gotta make another wisp. If they go too far away, you may may lose your children. There you go. Alright, uh, let's show them what we can do, little wisp. Okay, that's... Yeah, so he's hunting out... So oh, okay, of course they found a statue. Okay. <laughs> well, hold up. The statue, remember, the statue naturally it homes towards the statues, statue, so uh, let's... Try to find something it won't home to and just uh, be a pain in the ass. There we go. Now we have a wisp. Go, wisp, go. So Latali was saying that if drilling goes after the acceleration, which I actually didn't know this, it makes it so that the uh, the wisp doesn't get slowed down. So, like he said, like at all when it hits the walls. Something like that, so I'm gonna try that out right now. I wanna see, did it just home off? God damn it. Um, yeah, so that's why the boomerang is kind of crucial and maybe maybe acceleration could be too much for for that thing. It's. I feel like it's still going slow in the brickwork, isn't it? Hmm, maybe there's something we're missing there that he was saying. How to get multiple whiz, you just keep firing. He was saying acceleration after the drilling. But that's how we had it, didn't we? And it didn't seem like it was really benefiting from it. Why is this one sticking so much closer? Interesting. So it does matter. Clearly this one hugs me a lot more than the other one. It does go faster through it, but... Yeah, hmm. So right now we have four wisps, right? So we can just go around, find some bad guys, and the wisps will just run around taking care of business. Don't worry, our wisps are gonna get, is gonna get a little cooler. Oh, there's a swapper over here, so you can see that I just got swapped. Oh, shit. Been swapped all over the place. So whenever you go um, like wandering far off like this, one of the bad things is if your wisps travel too far off screen, there's a chance that they'll get outside of like your render distance and your wisp is just like frozen in time off screen. Some of them will find their way back to you, but not all of them. Uh, if drilling happens after it blocks out acceleration, opposite situation uh, when the other way around. Okay, so... Okay. Oop. So the way that we have it set up now, it is it is optimal for the the speed, right? <laughs> Name the wisps, otherwise they have no personality. <laughs> Cloud, that's your job. You're supposed to name. Actually, don't name these. We're going to be killing these off soon. You don't want to get too attached. Uh, the wisps are off that they're, they're going and doing their thing, but there's still some more modifications that we can make to this uh, One of the big things holding this back though is the capacity of our wand is only a 15 capacity wand And this is kind of annoying because we want to be able to build like a badass wisp, right? So let's go get a better wand and Take the final steps to just build a Omega wisp Yep, tower time. Exactly, the cat. Exactly. How do they damage if they are below zero damage? So keep in mind, the thing that is below zero damage is the spark bolt. This is the thing that has piercing attached to it, is only the spark bolt. So we want that thing to have zero damage or below zero damage, so it doesn't hurt me. Because I'm vulnerable to it, enemies are vulnerable to it. Now the payload, the payload is what it's delivering, and that's where the damage is. The, the, if you did this, now these are dangerous to the player. But it's on, it's only doing this, where 
only only the spark bolt's dangerous. All that stuff's not. So you'll see, you'll see that it's actually firing the chainsaws off whenever it hits me. It's just they're not, they don't, if, if the, unless the chainsaws get piercing on them, they won't hurt me. Uh, heavy shot on the chainsaw? Yeah, you could do heavy shot on the chainsaw. Add, add some more damage on there, exactly. Um... Come on now. Is there not a 26, uh, 26 capacity in the current? The problem is this one right here is like slow as hell. 2.78. Definitely an annoying wand. So then this new, this new, um, new wisp that I brought in here if you notice I kind of moved around the order of my my spells so I think if we wanted it to move uh, better I think it's it's this is the order to for speed right Wait, now I'm now I'm starting to lose my place I think this is the speed order could you break in the tower yeah we're about to do that So I don't want to spend too much time creating these because these are a six percent chance. The the Giga Death, uh, the Giga Death Cross that we're gonna set up is a hundred percent chance. So we don't have to sit here being like, "Come on, get a wisp," blah blah blah. Um, let me just real quickly run down here, and I want to murder a couple more things with our new setup. So watch these ghosts; they stand no chance against our our children. Ah, oh, crap! They found the statue. Well, they're done. Because once they home on to something like the statue that doesn't die, they're just gonna just, like sit there forever. So, oops. Oh yeah, that was one more thing I was gonna, one more adjustment I was gonna make. If you shoot black holes, it does like you know carry your kids away. One more adjustment I was gonna make. So I'm gonna put projectile area teleport, but let's go get a better wand first. Uh, gamma goes here. It's all goes there. And Lana's go here. Damn it, I should have built a better damage wand because it's gonna be annoying traveling back up there with my wisps. Come on, wisps. Go murder. I need you. I need you, children. Kill for me. You have to watch out because when they run over stuff like that, I mean, they can set it off, which could, you know, do some serious damage to you if you're not, like, prepared for it. Yeah, like that. Took a bit, but they did it. Oh, crap. I don't have something to... <laughs> Whoops. Keep up a bit of water. Keep in mind right now, the wisp, the wisp build isn't too exciting. We could have built a wisp similar to this one for a while now. Um, and this isn't like, you know, the, it, it gets better. And, but there are, you can get way more creative than this too. Keep in mind, it's a very vanilla wisp that we're building today. I'm not going to go anything too wild. But you can create, um, you can create a wisp of a heel bolt. That is a heel bolt that follows you around and sits on top of you. Now, obviously, if you were to do that, you would want to remove the homing on it because you only want boomerang. And it would just sit on top of you, healing you at all times, which uh, I'm already forgetting what is necessary for that. We may we may do one of those if you guys want. Uh, I have no idea why you don't kill the dragon with this one. <laughs> Go. Shut your mouth. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> okay. DJ says, I just got 12k health uh, with Glass Cannon by luring a Heart Mage in the Holy Mountain before I took the perk. Then using Ambrosia to get Heartbreak stacks and getting both the Glass Cannon perk and the Holy Mountain Heart before they expired. Nice. Very nice there, DJ. Um, two Chain Spells for Heal Bolt. Chain Spells are part of the, the Summon Tykosova pool, right, dudes? Because if you want, we could create a, a Heal Bolt... Uh, Wisp, if you guys would like to. What, was our, what were we doing right now? We are trying to go to... Oh, yeah. Let's go... Screw it. We'll approach it from above. Run's going good there, Woat. Pretty good. No complaints. Can you use Nala to make it have no duration and then re reduce the duration um, to the same effect? Um... No, there is something... Oh, there's something that, that makes me think of, though. I don't think it's Nala that you want to do it with, because Nala just overrides. Um, I feel like there was something that... Uh, was it Wand Refresh? There's something that, that has a similar effect that I've seen people do, but it's not quite what you're saying. But, you know, it, does, it doesn't work with Nala, and I don't think it works with the... Um, it's it's kind of like you can make a wand stats do similar to what you're saying, but not a spell stats. Does that make sense? Um, because this, we're trying to make a spell have a negative lifetime of uh, of negative one, but a wand, on the other hand, you can. Um, I think you can put like the what is what it's, it's something like. This one right here, where it sets it to 1.5, but then I think you can do something to tweak it. There's there's something weird there. I just can't remember. So my point is, yes, in the Nala's case, I, I can't. I don't know of anything that that can override it, but that doesn't make it always the case. I just can't remember the, all the builds all the time. So I'm like, damn. I wish there was an example I could give you. Uh, oh, we got a heart mage over here. You know what? We can we can kill. Um, we'll go kill the. One boss over here while we can. Did that one wisp just fuck off? Where are they going? Maybe we don't want them going so fast. Kill that guy. All your children are leaving home. Yeah, they're really like escaping. I don't think he's actually opened his mouth yet. So, there he goes. He opened his mouth and then the wisp said, fuck him. Get him. First, first official boss kill. There we go. Not bad. Ducks. Wait, where did I enter in? Oh, from here. So if you're curious what we're doing right now, we are heading down to where the um, where the wands are, where the tower wands are. The multitasking skills are struggling right now. My brain's like. Ugh. Uh, so it helps if you line up right over the orb here, because it's pretty much where the... Actually, slightly to the left of it's probably for the best. Uh, we just said, fuck the cursed rock, and we go in here. And here is where we can find a wand that could give us a um, more more capacity to work with so that we can create better wisps. So this is a 26 capacity. I'd be much happier to work with that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this one and I'm going to move the materials around. No, we are not going to grab the always cast nuke wand, you sick bastards. Uh, this one's also pretty cool, this, the wand of swiftness. But uh, the Wand of Multitudes, yeah, these wands actually have names because they're pretty special. These are located at the top of the tower. They're kind of like you're supposed to climb the tower and then you get these as like a prize. And we just said, fuck it. And we just broke through the wall and we're just stealing the prize. 
It said, screw your rules. Oh, I forgot I can't edit right now. Uh, that's fine. We will just glitch this one out. I mean, we did just look away, chat. Look away. I'm just too lazy. I don't want to walk back and forth a billion times. Look away, chat. This isn't happening. I'm not one to use too many glitches, but uh, I really hate having to run back and forth when you don't have one experimenter. It can be pretty frustrating. Should be right around here. I think we're over the... Uh, yep, 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 yep. I'll grab that uh, wand in a moment. Uh, toss, 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 toss. This is why you never meet your idols, chat. Wait, what? What? Would you want this patched if you if you made a patch? That's a good question there, Flognort. So there are multiple versions of like five five wanding or whatever. I think that there should be a legitimate method of that what I just showed you because there are downfalls to that method I just showed you. The me the downfall is so you, pre you first off to do it, all you have to do is you press E and four, like at the same time. So I just press them in the same moment, that's it. And then this screen comes up, then you press four by itself, and it glitches it out, it's a visual glitch. And I cannot shoot my wands, I cannot fire. And the only way I can start to shoot my wands is I have to press like one, and it whips out like another wand, and I can go back to shooting again. This is very dangerous because during this time, it, things can kill you and stuff can grab the wand out of your hand and start firing it. So I think that it's got a kind of an interesting trade-off where if you five wand, you're vulnerable, enemies can grab it. It's kind of fun. It's like an accidental glitch thing that I think is fair. There is a much better version of five wanding where it actually safely puts the wand up in your wand category. You can actually shuffle through all of all five wands cleanly and you can still use your wands. That one I feel is is too strong. That obviously is a huge advantage, but it's up to you, right? It's a, it's a single player game. You play however the fuck you want to play. That's just why I do specifically that glitch, if you're curious. It's the one that I've... I, and I even resisted doing that glitch for a long time, but at the end of the day, it just got so annoying whenever you have, like, that situation I just had where I had five wands, and I was like, I don't have edit, edit wands everywhere, but I have five wands, so, like, screw it. Let me just five wand it. Uh, real quickly, we are transferring our wand over to here, and then all this other, all these other resources that we're gonna throw into there. Do do do. Still haven't got to make our Giga Death Cross wand yet. This is making me sad. All right, so here is our wand. It's exactly the same wand that we had before. The very first shot I took with it, it flew off, so it's, it, it, it is working, as you can see. And they're running after the statue and doing no damage to it because they have drilling on it. Um, all right. <laughs> let's pack some damage on this thing. And, in fact, let's go ahead and throw on a weakening curse for projectiles. Throw in another uh, an add mod on here. Any large multicast? We haven't really had any. Uh, I guess this is another triple. We can throw a triple K bolt and one of these, I suppose. Could you use phasing arc instead of drilling shot? So phasing arc will cause it to move differently. It does like these little bounces. I don't know if it'll work completely as a substitute, but I see your logic. Um, chat, do you guys know if it works as a, as a clean substitute? Because it'll kind of like do like these little hops through like a wall. Oh, phasing arc adds lifetime. Oh, that complicates things. Can't you increase the cast speed? Yes, we could put a chainsaw at the very end. So this, this all of this is currently packaged in one group. 
Um, and if you check the multicast, you'll see, count it out. It's a three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, it's a five cast. So this is the exact group. So if we put a chainsaw on the outside here, it'll cast this spark bolt and this chainsaw at the same time, which should increase the rate of fire to allow me to create more wisps. So one thing that's annoying about our build is remember, spark bolts with this piercing effect, every time they touch the player, they will fire off their payload. They don't hurt me, but they you still have to deal with the like spraying of like damage and bullshit. I wanted to go see an enemy real fast, so you can smack. Go get that guy. Go murder him. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, there we go. I don't know why they were being... They were like, wait, I'm coming! So what I should have done... Is... We are going to add... Projectile area teleport to the wisp. So I can get rid of these wisps here. Jesus. There we go, we killed off the wisps, and then now, I'm actually going to take away the triplicate as well, it's a little bit loud and annoying. There we go, now our wisps will have this area teleport around them, so that when enemies are nearby, they'll leap to them, so instead of getting, you know how you just got stuck where it wouldn't attack them? That's kind of annoying. Oh wait, it, I'm surprised I didn't go for that statue. I was hoping we'd run into something real quick, but... Come on. So, one thing to know about these wisps is you, you cannot take portals. If you take a portal, like so, they don't follow. And, well, unless you're in the Rinder distance. However, if you get close enough to them, which I don't know exactly where I was just then. So it's hard to say. Probably end up eating the wisp away, even if I go to the right spot. But they they normally oh yeah there they are. See at least one was still waiting. I don't know where the other ones went, but you can go pick the wisp back up. Uh, obviously it's you know you would just create more wisps, but in case you were curious. What about putting a venomous curse and projectile damage field to the spark bolt? This is dangerous. So remember, anything that we apply to the spark bolt, it is hitting the player. So right now, we are getting hit by our own spark bolt, but it's doing zero damage. So something that does zero damage to us is like, whatever, like, who cares? But if we put some weakening curses, like Venomous Curse or uh, a Projectile Weakening Curse, this starts to make us vulnerable to things. Now, the Projectile Weakening Curse will just make us vulnerable to potentially projectiles hitting us, um, but... You gotta be afraid of that stuff. You don't wanna apply any, uh, the Venomous Curse will start hurting us like immediately. Why did I go down? Why didn't I just go up? I don't know. Let's head, we're gonna head to a parallel world and we're gonna go grab unlimited spells and we're gonna go grab a um, decreased lifetime. And in fact, once we get to the parallel world, I may, wait, what am I doing over here? I was going to say I may create a, a Wisp Healing Bolt. Uh, Wisp don't uh, despawn if you move far, but that Nested Teleport trick uh, does. So, the Wisp will wait for you, but it, it will lose its payload. Uh, is probably what you're curious about. Let me hmm, let me show you what I, what I mean by that. So, the Wisp itself will still exist. But he's not. It's not going to deliver the damage that it once could. I should have pointed that out. That's a good thing you said that, uh, Reputato. It's actually a really important detail. <laughs> so the wisp still is there. It's just not as nearly as good. It's a it's a garbage wisp after you find it. I, I you pretty much I don't think of that because I never return to the wisp. But the reason I wanted to point out that detail is because some people may uh, find themselves in a situation where they're like, wait, where the hell are these one wisps are coming from? And it's probably your old wisps were just like unloaded. But yeah, don't don't use wisps that were unloaded off your screen because they will lose their their payload. 
Is there uh, a way to uh, add a teleport bolt to it so that it always teleports uh, the payload directly to the enemy? Wait, what? You, I'm a little confused by that, Nilau. What do you, what you mean? You can also lure your wisp by going wisps. Thank you for the pro tip there, Vial. I gotta try that out. Come here, wisp. If you make a wisp that sticks uh, to you constantly triggering, can you have it shooting off crazy spells like you're a firework? Yes. Keep in mind that can be dangerous depending on what you're having to shoot off, but yes. Um, so, Nilao, what you could do is you could bring the, t the player can teleport to whatever spot uh, the spark bolt is hitting. You can make the player get teleported there, yes. But to where, yeah, the other part is a little confusing. Let me do a quick restart for the stability of the engine, because remember, every time you, before you go to a parallel world, best to do that. Uh, and we're not going to play that scared of the cursed rock, though normally, if your health isn't this crazy, you should be afraid of it. But our health is pretty wild right now. Uh, read Black Bonsai's message. Uh, I just had the weirdest interaction I've ever seen. Juan with an always cast ice ball. A single Matasade made a huge empty hole. Uh, I have a screenshot, uh, but how can I share with you? Uh, Discord or Imager, either one works there. Thank you, Flog, for making sure I didn't miss the message. You can have a two trigger chain where the second trigger is teleporting cast. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But I think he was saying he said to make the enemy teleport to the bolt, to the to the projectile. You can make the player teleport to the enemy. May, I may have read it wrong actually. Make the payload teleport to the enemy. Oh, I got you what you're saying, Tronis. You're saying you're saying instead of having like you could have the area teleport also on the payload so it also jumps to him. I got yeah, 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 yeah. So like just like the just like the the spark bolt itself has a um has that thing on it, you could also put that onto the payload group as well. They could have you could either just just move that one and only have it on the payload, or you could have a second uh, projectile area teleport and have it on both groups. If that, if that if that's what you're saying, which I think from what Tronus was saying, that's what it sounded like. Oh, so so if you have the acceleration after drilling, it literally is no benefits whatsoever. Really. Okay. Well, I'm determined to have my wisps kill. Yep, there it goes. Good job, wisps. Good job. Sure, grab some gold. Why not? Right, let me... This wisp is not going to kill the bridge boss, right? Uh, it will not be the greatest at it, but it can kill them. Uh, so at this acceleration in this spot does nothing, is what uh, is what he's saying. So either if we have it here, then it means that it is doing something. But I don't. I don't. I'm a little confused by this part. So here we get we get the sped up going through the walls and all that shit. But maybe it's a little bit too out of control. But the, ah, I see. So the boomerang. If you had if you had this uh. If you had this acceleration, like this order, Latali, but had a multiple boomerangs, do you think it would be like kind of a cooler result? They seem to stick pretty close by. Or are those my old ones? So not area teleport, but teleporting cast. Hmm. 
That's how I said, yeah, with multiple boomerangs, probably okay. But for now, we'll keep the acceleration off just to keep things under control. Um, hold on, let's see what Tronus is saying. Uh, trigger a teleporting cast on yourself. Hold on. Have the wisp trigger a teleporting cast, then it triggers the damaging payload, triggering a teleporting cast on yourself. I guess I guess in my head I just can't picture for what purpose. That's why I'm getting so confused. I'm like, so like, what is the end goal from this thing? Whoop. But yeah, basically, it must be possible. Tronus understands what you're saying. Uh, all right. Remember, we cannot take the portals here because we are in a parallel world. Uh, and I went way off course here. Oh fuck. Hold up. being wasted. I don't know why we're getting such terrible rerolls. Oh yeah, I forgot I need to be glancing at the shop to make sure that if we come across a reduce that we're actually paying attention to it. That is a lot of acid. Oh. Uh, not quite. Oh, that could be decent if we wanted to spend the time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Fots says you can take the teleport. It just won't. It won't. It won't take you somewhere you want to go. Go ahead and move this order. Be less ugly. Checking the free spell room. Not what we were hoping for. So, uh, Trost is suggesting you make a whisk that always stays on you, but make the payload something that fires off and kills things. So it just sits on you firing off over and over and over, and then like the things that fly out of it are like homing off. Uh, double explosive uh, on the payload. Yeah, we could do that. In fact... We probably will do that for some of the bosses here. It's just right now I've been trying to... Because you got to remember right now with the setup, the the spark bolt causes it to fire off on my own character. So I'll, here, I'll show you in case you're curious. Holy shit. Hold on, let me get... I need a wisp in here to take care of business. Also, remember whenever you're fi trying to create one of these uh, wisps... Don't create it too close to the wall. Like, you'll never be able to create a wisp if you're firing it directly into the wall like this. You need to give it some space for the, the spark bolt to fly out. But see, when the wisps run over me, they fire off their chainsaws. So that explosive projectile setup that you're talking about... Um, ...will cause it to, like, they, they'll just be blowing up constantly. <laughs> no! I wanted to create it. There it goes. Alright, real quickly, let's fire that off. Kill off all the projectiles. Now, let's. Oops, I'm going to do that. Use double explosive projectile and, wa and watch this. Durham says, what do you mean? You don't want to explode 20 times per frame? <laughs> what the hell create two of them? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they, it's getting a little bit jank right there. I think the reason that they're not explaining explosions is because the... Uh, 
we 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 made it so that the chainsaws won't be making sound so that it won't lag up our game so bad. And I guess the explosion is attached to that, so we're not hearing anything. But I bet you if we attach no, there's a digging bolt on there. I don't know. Hmm. Wonder why we're not hearing sound on it. Definitely some jank going on there. Makes me nervous for the stability of the engine. Holy shit, let's get... Okay. The game started to freeze there for a moment. Yeah, that was a little bit bright. <laughs> Mega, Megan's like, my eyes! Please stop! I can't see anymore! Hmm. Alright, we'll move these off for now. Again, though, we're probably going to make use of that build that you just saw in a, in a bit. It's just right now it's not necessary yet. Um, so this spark bolt trigger is, is firing off every time it hits us, right? It hits the enemies and when it hits us. The Giga Death Cross build will not fire off when it hits us, only when it hits enemies. So it makes it a lot cleaner to use those crazy builds. Um, I mean, it's a lot, a lot frame friendlier, I should say. I just came here uh, from my five failed runs that got no further than the Heesey base, and then I see this. What's up, game the most? How's it going, man? Yeah, he kind of stopped by for a weird run. It's a, uh, you know, we've been going on this run for like five hours now or so. So we're, we're pretty deep in. But don't be discouraged, my friend. That's how Noita goes. The early days, the early days can be pretty messed up. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. That's, that's Noita's way. Uh, ooh, unlimited spells. Yes, we do want that. Uh, that way, now our death crosses are unlimited. Okay, spells to uh, black uh, black holes or spells to black holes is limited. I wasn't sure if that also became unlimited, but I just figured because it had black holes in it, probably did not. Does the acid version become unlimited though? I think so. Now go kill the dragon. Oh yeah, we gotta go get our legitimate dragon kill. Um, interesting. No chance. So things like repulsion and all that could be nice here, but the thing is, it'll make our our projectiles a lot more sporadic. That's, you know, the trade-off of having Wisps. If you want them to cleanly orbit around you, the Repulsion may make them a little more chaotic. But you can't. You can grab it. It's still fine. It's just for today, just to keep the Wisps close to us and everything. I'm just not grabbing it right now. Uh, we're going to kill the Dragon on our way back up. Uh, what do you think is the biggest misconception that early players have that you wish they uh, would understand sooner? Um, gold is not that big of a deal. Like... I've seen so many new players when they're playing, um, they'll have like 400 gold and they'll be at, you know, like 80% of their health bar is gone and it, it feels like they're only putting their life on the line to try to collect a little bit more gold when it's like, I mean, gold is helpful, don't get me wrong, I'm going to be like, gold is completely useless, but realistically, if they got to that first holy mountain, Got to see a couple perks, got to see a couple spells. Maybe they could buy one spell, maybe two. Actually, the first Holy Mountain, if it's a spell shop, they can buy several. Uh, but I'm saying they may even be able to reroll perks. Once you start to get to learn how to work with perks and everything, you start to realize, um, you know, the potential, how, how OP and how quickly you can be, become OP, you know? And that item radar shows hearts. That's a really good one, Flog. That's a really good one because the devs. They were not thinking on that one. They called it item radar, so people assume that it's just going to point you to like flasks and stuff, which most players aren't really like crazy about flasks. I mean, flasks are, are damn nice, but you're not like, I need a radar to point out every flask in existence. But actually, uh, oh my god, look at everything. <laughs> everything down here is just dead. Um, item radar should be treated as heart radar. Who gives a shit about it pointing towards flasks and stuff? It, the fact that it points towards hearts is very fucking nice. And as a new player, you know, that, that's how you keep your run alive, HP. HP is why you should be wanting to hang around in the early uh, level longer. But once you're running low on HP, you back you back the hell out while you can. Uh, and so now we gotta go back up. Do 
Did we find out if the chain spell is in the uh, summon Takasova pool? I can't remember. Wait, item radar shows where there where there are hearts? Yes. They show you where the hearts are. Even if they're hidden in a wall, it will literally point you to a wall. And you go grab it. You'll be like, why is it pointing me to a wall? And then you'll dig in the wall and you'll see a heart hidden in the wall. And you're like, what the fuck? If I put, for example, divide by 4 next to divide by 10 plus a nuke, does that mean uh, 40 nukes? Um, yeah, I think that's that should be how it works out, yeah. Well, actually, wouldn't it be 41, I think? Because it would be the nuke itself as well. You helped me beat the tutorial for my first time. Hey, congratulations there. Is that hot? Hi, hi, Kinka? Hi, Kinka. Thanks for stopping by. Congrats on that win. Uh, do we have melee immunity? We do. Okay, so it isn't as scary. So, I'm just preparing a couple wisps here. Actually, no, I just realized I need to dig this first before I go preparing the wisps. Three wisps. <laughs> there we go. We officially have killed the dragon. Uh, it actually dropped us a chain spell. Uh, is this the dragon or is this a dragon? It is a the dragon. Mm, checkmate. You didn't think about that, did you? Who's looking foolish now? Uh, give me one second. I'll be back for that. Am I always out of water in this room? Hey! Try to bite me! I'm trying to keep up with my children so they don't go flying away. Uh, Alright, let's grab this. Uh, that's not what. Okay. I'll just leave it there for now. Who cares? Remember to hydrate. Oh, uh, hydrate or dehydrate. While I sip on my, oh shit, my cowboy's mug. <sighs> Not there. Wiss, where are you? Get your ass back here. We don't need them following us anyways. Is there a way to kill Wisps without spells to X? Um, there's a couple ways. Uh, well, one thing, well, it doesn't necessarily kill them, but if you jump to a portal, they're not going to follow you anymore. If you get far enough away from them, they'll stop following you. So, for example... Oh, the runestone of emptiness. I didn't even think about that one. Any of the runestones should kill them off. That's it. I didn't even think about that one. Oops, I didn't mean to yeet him away. You can black hole him away, I guess. Um, when you jump to a portal, they won't follow you through the portal, so that's one way to get them away from you. And then also the... Uh, where is the destruction uh, or detonate uh, spells? Or detonate explosives? That's what I'm looking for. Chad, I'm blind. Where's detonate? My eyes. I left a wand behind. Oh shit! I did leave a wand behind. Fuck. Let me. I'll go back and grab it. I forgot to grab it on my way. Thank you for paying attention, Chad. Um, it's right there. All right, that's helpful. I did leave a wand behind with very useful spells on it, too, so I have to go grab it. Right there. Explosive detonator. All nearby explosive spells cast by you instantly detonate. So, actually, a lot of projectiles have a uh, detonate-like component to them. 
you can you can straight up remove it if you would like like you can remove the detonate component um, but because of that it works as a really good way to kill wisps like even spark bolts and stuff have a detonate component to them that you could just make them poof And yes, the red portals do work. They're one of the few portals that uh, basically holy mountain portals are, are scuffed, but like those red portals, they're good to go. Gotta run all the way back for all the spells I lost. Wait, I still have my chain spell, right? Yep, you got that. Don't jump in the portal. Took the portal to save time, then end up wasting a lot more time. <laughs> we just we just did a, just did a lap. Take a lap, chat. Take a lap. Ah, just as I planned it to get some exercise. Our noito was looking a little thick. Oops. Armina. Alright, Chaz, the perfect time to kill another <laughs> boss. This is just as I planned it, alright? I, I, this is exactly as I planned it. Alright, so this right here is going to be the Forgotten that we're going to be fighting. And... Oh, we are not set up with explosive. Hmm. This is asking for trouble, and we do not have the eye. And oh, we, really oh wait, we could fight the Leviathan. Right now. He is drenched in sweat. That one also is looking for trouble, but I like it. Let's fight the Leviathan. Oh, we'll have no more water in our world, though. Nah, water's for chumps anyways. Oh, yeah, I gotta go. Doo -doo. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Uh, Brisket and Chris, thank you guys for the follows. Gon uh, Gondola with the eight month there. Yo, big eight. Appreciate you, Gondola. Uh, and then uh, Milton Future with the Prime. Welcome to the community there, Milton. Appreciate your support. Uh, so this is going to be kind of a weird moment because we are about to be fighting the Leviathan. Apparently I fucked up when I was levitating here. Damn it, I levitated... Wrong. Hold up. Hold up. Mm -mm -mm. Hello? Parallel world. Oh shit, I forgot. I'm in a parallel world. Whoopsie. We are not in the main world. I, I, yeah. The Forgotten would have been there, though. <laughs> oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Wasted time. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, stop wasting time. It's business time, guys. I will grab the eye whenever I get back to the main zone, though, because I, sh I should have had the eye already on me. That was a mistake. I'm, like, holding this concentrated mana like it actually matters. I should have grabbed the eye long ago. Hollow with the 17 month there says slurp it all up. You know it, Hollow. Thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate you. Holy shit, that was dangerous. We just went flying by a bridge boss who could have polymorphed us, and that would have been so sad. What a way to go. So we're going to look through one more parallel world to see if we can find the remaining resources to make the better wisp that I've been, you know, ranting about. But if it, if we don't come across it, then I'm just going to say fuck it and use the wisp. Because, uh, we, I mean, our wisp isn't bad right now, right? It's a pretty great wisp. But I just thought it would be cooler to show a, a more interesting wisp. And you can color coordinate these wisps, too, by um, using, like, the glimmer spells and stuff. So that you could, if you build different kinds of wisps and you want them all fired at the same time. You could have them, you know, be different colors. You can tell which one is doing what. 
Oh my god. Woo! Went right over that guy. I was asking for it, man. That dude was waiting to spank me. Yeah, Monka Giga indeed. Polly is one of the worst mechanics of all video games. Eh, I, you, I kind of like that it exists. I mean, I, 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 whenever you're in the late game right now, if it wasn't for Polly existing, we would just be like completely asleep at the wheel. Like we would not be paying attention at all because you'd have no fear. Exactly, like Brisket said, the threats should be real. You, you gotta have something to, to keep you, some equalizer. And if it isn't if it isn't poly, then it'd have to be something else, right? So you'd end up just pretty much replacing it with another threat. Combo says I in fact I wish there was more late game danger. I agree. I agree with you. You know, like they've gone through different changes in Noita and they've made some I mean it's always been like polymorph has been the late game like fear, but uh, did you know that at one point they made it where polymorph mages actually bled like a fuck ton of polymorphine? So you would be traveling along, you know, normally you see a poly mage, it's like, ah, you just smack him. Well, then he would just burst out polymorphine out of him, bleeding it all over the place. And you'd be like, oh, shit, <laughs> he's bleeding everywhere. Uh, but now, you know, that isn't a thing anymore. The only things that bleed polymorphine are up in heaven. Which, that's why players pretty much don't visit there, because it's like an unnecessary risk. You're like, I'm not forced to visit there. There's no risk down, there's there's not nearly as many risks down here, so... Just keep it safe. Hey, you're supposed to be dead. Uh, I don't really want any of those. We still aren't electric immune, so I could end up getting myself killed through electricity. We aren't completely immune to everything yet, guys. Why aren't you killing the guy that actually is right next to me? Lazy wisp. I know gas fire. I don't, I, it makes you a little floaty whenever you grab it. I just don't like the way it makes you move. But in general, it is. I mean, it is nice. Uh, getting like killing off the stuff. Oh wait, no gas fire. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm thinking of gas blood. I don't know why I didn't grab gas fire actually. Because we have we have fire immunity. Is there any reason not to right now? I was thinking gas blood when I saw it. Holy shit! Uh, that's my fear right there. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't grab perks because if I'm not, like, specifically... I, I, I usually remember gas fire when I'm doing a, like, super late game run where um, I, I need to, like, be... Imbro not ambrosia up, but immortal because of all our stainless armors. That's the time that I start to remember that kind of crap. But right now, since I'm literally just focused on... Building a better wisp and getting annoyed that the game's not giving it to us. They're heavy shot. So we're gonna make a pit stop at this next holy mountain and we're gonna build a healing wisp. Just because at least it's something. We haven't had any updates to our wisp build in a while. Okay, I would like the toxic immunity, wouldn't mind that. Yo, Dunk, that was uh, a teleporting cast. Take it uh, for some wisp testing in the eye room. I mean, I, I'm trying to think what kind of wisp you want me to build with that bad boy. <laughs> to buy teleporting cast? What, what did you want me to build with it? Hmm. In Biz Glimmer, make a wisp to confuse everyone. That is true. You could make a wisp that is uh, invisible. In fact, I don't know if we... Uh, let, me, let me see some real fast. Don't need that. Um, Oh, 
I was hoping I'd be able to see the chainsaws on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's one. So you can kind of see it. Just barely. And in fact, I think it's starting to, like, it's, it's like you, you have to really stare to see that wisp. You gotta, like, put your eyes on the screen. Hmm. And then you can just kill it off like that. Put matter eater on it. So <laughs> just eating through the walls as it's going. Um, real quick here, let's do summon Tychosova for this. And... Do wisps fly towards those? I don't think they fly towards the ghosts. Put this up. Giga black hole wisp win. This could work, actually. This is fine, chat. Oh, fuck. Oh, Wisp! You, you traitor! <laughs> the Wisp went and hugged the statue. Alright, play it cool, Wands. Play it cool. Okay, the Wisp does see him as a threat. Good job, Wisp. Right. Now, I just wanted to get a chain spell. Did we ever figure out? I can, I, I've asked it several times, but I think if, if people are responding, I'm not seeing it. Um, I wanted to see if there was a chain spell we could get on it, but I may have to go look on the- oh, there it is. Yay! Uh, grab this, put this here. So we have- we have double chain spells, Is and this should be enough to create a wisp of a heal bolt, I think. Let me go ahead and look at our chart here. Bloop, 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 bloop. Alright, go to the chart, we type in heal. Uh, wait, what did it- what, what's it taking me to? Where's the- where's the heal here? Oh, healing bolt, there it is. And it says two, 6.6%, two of, yes. Okay, so we can create a wisp of the heal bolt, which is fantastic. So, uh, let's just do, okay, real quickly, let's get rid of all the charges. Oops, why did I try to put that there? Um, let's get rid of all the heal bolt. Actually, no way, we need the charges. What am I talking about? Do we need the charges? We could attach everything to it that anyways let's see we go oh i see i see so this here this here so now it could create a wisp we need boomerang on it and we need piercing so now boomerang chain spell chain spell piercing Heal bolt. Oh, we need drilling too. When I fire this, and the, the chainsaw on the outside is there just to speed up the, the rate of fire on this thing. Uh, I believe that should be good. Yeah, there we go. Got us a nice, a nice little wispy here. Should follow us around. In fact, let me see if I can... Wait, what the hell? Isn't it supposed to be a 6% chance? What is this, 100%? Could have swore it said 6%. Oh, it must be pretty low, because now they're being a little bit a little bit goofy. Alright, well we have we have some. So let's. Hmm. I guess we can test these down in, in down here. We can't drown ourselves. 
Where's some nearby lava, chat, so I can s s show this in it? How long do the wisps last? They're forever. I mean, you can lose them, but they'll they'll stay here forever as long as I keep track of them. Why is it a 6% chance to work? It's just something in the, the code. Not, not every projectile is 6%. Like, if you look at the chart, it will tell you... Uh, the percent uh, whenever you fire it, uh, the the likelihood of you creating an infinite that that one's as low as 0.5 percent, less than one percent for some of these. Uh, but then there's some really nice ones, which is why we're we're wanting to make a giga death cross. It's a hundred percent chance of of every time you fire it, it makes a wisp. That one would be perfect for us. Uh, I don't know, but you should divide the boomerang. Oh, that's true. That's true. Durium is right. If we um, if we did a refresh, then we did a divide by two on the boomerang here. It should make it where it boomerangs stronger, right? Like this. Hopefully we did it correct. Starting to question if I built it correctly. Maybe not. Something's not right because the chainsaw's not firing off correctly with it. I wonder if I should be moving it. I wonder if that, that would factor in there. I don't, I don't think so. Will that even work? Wow just went to gift sub let off. Oh, hey, it worked. Twitch said it could not complete my purchase. Damn it, USA. Why did you win? Not only am I homeless and bankrupt, now I can't even gift sub let a sub. What a world we live in. What a world. This is this a two cast issue? I don't think so. I mean, we're, we're starting to create them now. And if you look, um, the ones that have the double boomerang, you should notice that they stick to me a little tighter than the other ones that do not have the divided boomerang. They're a little bit slower to, to stay with me. Uh, the crappy I thing really is, though... I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. I'm pretty sure that if we shoot a black hole, it's still going to pull, pull it away pretty badly. Uh, this goes here, this was here, piercing was here, we're missing something up there. I don't think it was the divide by. I don't remember putting a divide by on it. Hmm. An anonymous gifter gifted one out to Latali. Now he's been with the Moist Mob for 28 months now. I rage, you tried to do it and the anonymous person did it, so hey, it happened. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you, iRage, for the love and support. I appreciate you guys. Divide by 10 by Boomerang. <laughs> really Boomerang that shit. Ad mana? Was it an ad mana? I don't know. It wasn't ad mana. It was something else. Oh, well, it's not a big deal either way, I don't think. We shouldn't be in danger. Danger, danger. Uh, black hole. Uh, which should go at the end. Oh, speed up was here. Screw it. Yeah, see, it's still one of them that went yeet went yeeting away. Those wisps, those wisps are working overtime. The bye bye two on boomerang was drawing the heal, then discard the next spell, which was chainsaw. So, is it in the right spot now, though, Latali? What if you made a black hole wisp? You can, and it'll just follow you around. And the crappy thing is, though, it'll like pull in everything towards you, you know? You have to be very careful. Come back to me, my children. Damn. 
Damn, they were pissed. I forgot that we still had explosions on there. Holy fuck! That guy's that guy's immune to explosion damage, so that's why he's just sitting there not giving a fuck. Uh, we gotta do something about this. I had to do it. I had to kill my children. Damn it, Steve! You're still alive? You're supposed to be dead. There we go. Alright. Um. Why not make an all achievements video on YouTube? We may do that eventually. I am I'm just kind of winging it these days. All right, explosions get off of there. That was kind of blinding. Uh, summon Takasova. So basically, the only way we can find this this increased lifetime is through like regular spell shops. I mean, it, it's actually it's in quite a few places. It can just be on a wand. It's the issue that we're having is that it's not in the summon Takasova pool apparently. Um, which is very, it's like limited. If you're curious, you can look on the wiki and see the, what spells can, can be dropped. Uh, what, what, what spells can be on wands that are summoned from Summon Takasova? Uh, yeah, Wand Mart, maybe, maybe we make our way over to Wand Mart. We're getting desperate, aren't we? Oh, I really wish you guys getting could see desperate. this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. But, uh, real quickly... the bad guys. What the hell was that? Was that heart mage? Oh crap. It's Telly. Hey! It's Mac. Ooh, that's kind of scary. pretty scary too. I took the portal. S'more. S'more. Um, Alright, let's just go... Actually, no, no, this works. The reason I was going down there was for lava anyways. I wanted it, but there's lava here, so I guess we could, we could test it out here. quite have this set up optimally, but whatever. Do tiny now? Yeah, we'll go... I mean, I'm a little bit sad. I was hoping to build the Giga Death Cross version, but the game is saying, nah. That is not allowed. That's it, right? That's all we need here. The game made you jump into the portal. Well, I mean, there was no holy mountain after that. We just went, there was no, we weren't gonna be like, oh, let's check this mountain. I was literally going towards the lava. Um, okay, this isn't working. Reduce lifetime. No, it wasn't reduce lifetime. It was double chain spell. I think I'm messing up. How did I get it to spawn it earlier? Drilling, that's what it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was like, what am I missing here? Drilling. Oh, and piercing. Both of them. Uh, oops. That's kind of, kind of crucial ones. I may have that, that divide by two. We may have to do some science with that in a moment because it may be in the wrong spot. I just thought we created one with it earlier with this exact setup. Let it go for a moment. And the two cast should be fine though. There it goes. I was gonna say, oh, what the? It just created two back to back? Wow. Wow. There's three. Okay. So, we have our, we have our healing wisps. Woo! 
So, we currently have Breathless, so that's what's causing us to sink so fast. But, let's see if I head on down here. And now we can go on a, sh you know, strutting at the bottom of the lava ocean. And if you're curious how it's able to keep up, it's because we have three healing bolt wisps that uh, currently are just following us everywhere that we go. Now, obviously, if I move too fast, it makes it makes it really hard for him to keep up with me and to heal me. So I have to kind of st stand still every once in a while, let the wisp catch up. Hmm. Mine some hellstone now. <laughs> Wrong game. Can a healing wisp or a few and saving grace protect you from the black sun? I think the black sun eats projectiles at its core, so I think it I think it kills wisps. I don't know if there's some way to make it where it can survive it. But if it wasn't for the fact that the black sun killed the projectiles, then yeah, it was should. I'm missing something. This might have been already asked, but why is the healing projectile uh, as infinite without a uh, reduced lifetime? Uh, it's because, so each each projectile is different. I was already showing like the chart. I, I'll link it again in the chat if you're curious, but everything on this chart, um, which if you're curious where the chart is located at, I'll even refresh the page so you can see it fresh there, chat. Um, so you should, you start here, you scroll on down and look for this chart right below Nymph's Pyre's uh, image right here, right below it, There's you just hit expand. And this chart will give you every all the information you need to know. So look up healing bolt, control F, healing, heal, okay, hold on. Heal bolt, and see it even tells you two. And you scroll up, two of what? Two chain spells, that's all you need. Two chain spells is all you need to make an infinite uh, projectile of it. So we have, we have the two uh, chain spells right here. And then everything else that we attach is just extras to make it so that our, you know, like it would be infinite regardless of the other stuff, but Without piercing, it would it would die off the moment it hit me. Without drilling, it wouldn't be able to travel through the walls. And uh, what we did, divide by two on the boomerangs, trying to make more of the boomerang, but you only need one boomerang, really. We're just trying to make it like strong boomerang effect so it sticks to me like glue. And the gamma, the reason the gamma is there is because gamma is pretending to be a heal bolt because the heal bolt has no charges. But you can do this without gamma and just have a heal bolt with charges so that it'll actually cast it. But yip, yip, yip. Let's, uh... Okay, I, apparently I moved my teleport out at some point. Alright, heal up before I get myself killed. What's up, Miksu? Orange me? What orange me is it? <laughs> what do you want me to do to you, Miksu? <laughs> orange me! So our healing wisps are functioning as they're supposed to. Hands down, did you figure us out on your own? Not a single person told me. I was like, you know what? I got this chat. And I showed people how it's done. I found every wisp there is. No, uh, this is like, this is layers and layers of like crazy Noita science. I don't think there's any one person that would claim like they've made all of these this on their own, right? Um, now, there are people like, Nymph's Pyre, and I know Alias did a lot too in the early days, where they went and they found out like all the projectiles, what was needed for each projectile. They're the guy, like people like them, and I, I and there's other people that probably deserve shoutouts as well. Obviously Latali, but I don't know if Latali necessarily had a hand in specifically for Wisps, but um, there are people that literally went through and found uh, what was necessary for each one. I imagine they went through the code to look to find the and did the math, but um, yeah, there was. There is some crazy noise of science that was going on here for the for the wisp to be created. I don't know who was the person who made like the biggest the first discovery of a wisp, but I guess that whoever did that would be the one I guess I guess that deserves the the most credit. But I don't even know who it is. It may it uh, Latali says nah, I did not do a lot of this science. I was not involved. Yeah, I think Latali got big into the noise of science after 1.0 came out, which wisps were before uh, 1.0, which lots Latali's been around a long time. But I mean I don't. I just remember most of your big sciences these days. 
Overlooked my sub, I'll never buy from you again. What? Is this true? Scythe blood with the seven monther says, Dunk, I hate you. <laughs> you got me addicted to Noita. Okay, okay. It was going a little dark there for a second there, Scythe blood. I had to buy a new setup to be able to play Noita with more than 20 FPS. Thanks. I feel like that thanks was a little bit. He just said thanks, but I took it as like a jab. Uh, but hey, I, I hope it's running smoother there, Scythe Blood. Don't forget, if you're wanting to get maximum, like as good of F FPS as possible, don't forget in the workshop, um, Latali has like that QOL mod. Which wait, the chainsaw fix is in the Q the quality of life mod, right, Latali? I, I keep saying that, but I'm like, it's not a separate mod, is it? It is part of it. Okay, so yeah, the QOL mod that Latali made will actually make your game run smoother. Uh, so if you're looking for as you know as good as FPS as possible, I would recommend it. Luca dropping off a thousand sweat. Well, ch chat, we're just gonna go through and kill all the bosses now because I'm I've been through three parallel worlds. I mean, it's it it, it would have been nice to show you guys the Giga Death Cross version. Let me glance real fast to make sure there's not some math that we could do here real quick to 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 make this Giga Death Cross happen. Let's see. Where are you at, Giga Death Cross? Are you on this chart? Cause this is a, this one I think is an outdated chart, right? Which sometimes is a good thing. Uh no, I don't see the Giga Death Cross at or I'm blind. All right, well, basically, should be lifetime. We could calculate, I think, off of its lifetime, right? Giga Death Cross. Blind? Wait, it was there? It is there? Chat's saying blind. I see a Death Cross. Oh, it's right there. Right there, thank you, chat. One three. What is it claiming you need one and then three of? Um, no, it's the same exact setup that we're doing right now. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Um, hmm. Okay. Giga. Death Cross, 50. So anything, anything that's 50 has the same setup to get to negative one. Hmm. What does the chart do here? Uh, you can just use, you don't have to use the, the whole chart. You can just use this page that I'm using right there. I'll link it in the chat. Uh, it's letting you know what, uh, how many of each modifier you need to make a projectile of an infinite lifetime. Yeah, so it's creating a wisp. What are you looking for? I got some code ready to crunch numbers from some combinations that are not in the wiki. I'm trying to, I'm trying to create a Giga Death Cross without, uh, without a reduced lifetime, or I mean, without an increased lifetime, increased duration. What would be? What would I need to? Um, you know, if I'm going without this one modifier, what would I need in terms of other modifiers? Because we have. We have potentially several reduced lifetimes. We have two of these chain spells, and we can farm more of these no problem. We even passed some phasing. It's just we have no way to farm increased duration besides just getting lucky as fuck. Making me angry. Wanmar? Yeah, Wanmar is where we were about to head until I le leapt into the portal like a genius. This farm wants it does it doesn't drop from summon Tychosova. We'd have to farm regular wands if that's what you're saying. Oh crap. Uh wait, what? I'm set up to still create wisps, not to uh, dig. You get up here, get up here. Uh, these two go down there. This goes up, up. That's here. Boomerang there. Alrighty. Do to do. -do. 
Do, do. I think we can just dig straight up to the wall here. Oops. I mean, there's a, a boss right there that we're going to have to kill soon, too. The door boss. Oh, wait. Chad has an answer? Oh, hold on. Three increased durations. Wait, no, no, that was Spirit says I got three increased durations in a single wand mark. This is bullshit, Spirit. Pass me one of those. Three orbits slash ping pongs would do the trick instead of increases. Wait. When you said three. Do you mean three of each or just three total? So, for example, if I have a divide by two and a ping pong, it would equal ping, it'd be the same as three ping pongs, right? Latoya says, I told you this before. Oh, shit, my brain, man. My, th my brain. Three ping pong or three orbiting. Okay, okay. You were against using orbiting? No, but, but ping pong should be. F oh, wait, is ping pong really going to mess? Yeah, that, Latoya did say that one. The orbiting does really jack up the flying. What about ping pong though? How jank is the movement with ping pong? Hmm. Yeah, these are gonna be some really, ping pong might be better. All right, well I, I, have, I have ping pong in one of these holy mountains. Let's do it. Let's try it out. Gotta find out which mountain I left it in. Oops. Boop, boop. Oh yeah, that was the one I can grab now because I have already killed the dragon. Yay, heals! We really need that. Oh, there's a ping pong anyways. Oh, let me just get to the mountain. Drop is behind that. I don't know. Put that up for a moment. Let's see how this thing travels. I am very curious, but pretty skeptical too because the orbiting arc makes it moves in such a shitty way that you'd rather just have a spark pull trigger let's try it out so it was ping pong uh we'll put down the double homing got to put down the divide by two Then we gotta put down drilling, and it naturally pierces, correct? So that part shouldn't matter. Um. Ow! Okay, I didn't set it up correctly. Uh, hold on. Needs a reduce as well. Oh, it needs a reduce as well. Where's, uh... There it is. Oh wait, it still needs three reduces? Wait, it has to be three reduces and three ping pongs? Oh no. Oh no. Because then... Hmm. Go kill Alk and get the key. Shit! There's always something, isn't it, Chant? Always something. Alright. 
Increased lifetime equals plus 0.75. Ping pong equals plus 2.5. Ah, I see. So you just need three ping pongs to replace one increased lifetime. Uh, yeah, I got you. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Screw it. We're going to the west. And uh, my, my wisps are going to die off for a bit, but that's fine. I'm so determined to make an infinite death cross after all this time. I'm like, you know what? We're creating one. And a good one, not this ping pong bullshit. We want the good stuff. Fact, we're gonna go directly into the overgrown. I think our wand should be set up correctly. Can be real. Can't see right now. Check overgrown. Restart. Oh crap! I'll wait till the blinding is done. I don't want to end up somehow. Restarting and have like perma blindness. In before 20 wisps. No. Never know. I think when we do a restart, it'll kill them off, right? That, or it'll like somehow change ownership of the wisps and I no longer own them and they just insta kill me. That'd be badass. Hey, one of them kind of lived. Keep me safe. We're going on a journey here. By the way, if I get polymorphined, uh, my wisp will pretty much insta kill me. Probably should have pointed that out a long time ago. That's why polymorphine is very fucking scary. When, whenever you're using wisps, that is. No, 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 no. Bit of everything there with one there. That was kind of scary because when they opened that chest, I was in the water. Like, if that dropped an electric stone, it'd have been like, well, that's that. Those wisps are moving. What happened down there? Uh, why the restart? Oh, sorry, Ivo. Yeah, you like to restart before going into to new uh, parallel worlds because your game is... Uh, the client gets really unstable. So you do... Re restarts help the stability in your, in your game run smoother. Uh, one way that you can actually tell is... Um, and I've been doing, I did this earlier today as well. Um, if you go like control delete, basically you just go into your uh, task manager. If you look for, for Noita uh, on the list, you can actually see it's like memory usage. And right now it says 748. I'll look back in like an hour and this will be like 900 to 1000. And sometimes it'll you can climb like 1000, 200, 1300. Chat said, it, I think it's like 1400, 1600. It will just fucking crash. So, but when you do the restarts, restarts, it will send it back down to like 700, and that's how you keep your game uh, stable. I was talking with Chad just earlier today how we were hoping the devs one day would make a return, not even necessarily for new content, just just to fix that kind of that memory leak kind of crap. What are those wisps doing? They are just running to any... If there's a nearby enemy, they run off and they kill them, and then they run back to me.
I already looked at that one. We had to the left. How's the restart mod called? You mean like behind the scenes, or do you mean like kind of like I just go to mod and hit restart with the name of mods? You don't have to do that. You can just you can just save and quit and reopen it. It doesn't it doesn't have to be specifically that method. Put a glimmer on that. You want you want a colored uh, a wisp of a, like a different color so we can. I mean, we have a ra we if we grab a rainbow, it'll have different colored wisps. Okay, hold up. Check this. We are looking for increased lifetime. So the Giga Death Cross is a nice, like one of the better wisps, but. It isn't really necessary all the like this isn't our current wisp is definitely good enough. The other one isn't gonna be like, oh now we can kill stuff. Like we could always kill stuff. I was just trying to show different versions of wisps, since right now the only damage wisp that we're really showing is the the spark bolt version. Whenever there is literally tons of different wisps. It's just many of them take a long time and collecting a lot of resources to do. Oh my god, that scared me. If that was polymorphine, I would have been in trouble. Holy cow, that was close. Those, they were coming back for me too. Mr. Heart Streamer, lies. Giga yeah, Death Cross does less damage because it's slower, right? Uh... I don't know if it's even gonna be slower. Like it, it, it moves pretty well. It moves really well uh, as a wisp. I was impressed with it the other day when I used it. Bit of lag in this area. A little bit. Did I just lose all my wisps? The fuck? Uh, regarding who figured this all out, some dude, I don't recall, figured it out you could make uh, projectiles infinite. I made the calculations for the optimal modifiers, and Nymph's Pyre made the data I compiled into the chart. I say optimal because the code I put together to calculate the minimal modifiers requires, required was very sketch, <laughs> so I can't guarantee its correctness. Oh, shit, Tronus, I had no idea. There you go, there's a little bit of lore on how it was Tr Tronus got some... Noit to history for you right there. Some some of the wisps made their return. The hell? That's the annoying thing about Noito, is there's always that one that one spell that just is being like a huge pain in the ass to find. And it's like some random spell. They're just like, well, guess I'll never grab it. Because the, the spell that we're looking for is not even a, a difficult one to find. It's not like that rare. We're just getting screwed by RNG. Like we've literally seen some in Taika Sova. And uh, the, the Swapper spell, which are both much rarer spells. I guess we haven't seen Circle of Vigor. It's one of those that's up there as a considered a somewhat rare spell. We haven't seen every rare spell before, but still, we've seen quite a few. RNG is random until you want something. Yeah, this is, this, it's the rules. The rules of randomness. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna go through the regular zone and then that'll be our final glance at like if we don't get it then we're just gonna say that this world does not have <laughs> I mean it, 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 it has it it's just a matter of it ha doesn't have it in a reasonable spot for us We'll just go kill the bosses right, well, with what we you guys got. Can see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Yo, who dis? D burn with a tier two 14 month. There says, why can I literally never remember my CD? You're, oh, your cooldown? You mean like your or your command? Is that what it is, D burn? The brain damage kicking in. Aren't the duration spells pretty common in the sky? The sky workshop and uh, I mean uh, the sky shop and the hell shop, I believe, had the same odds. And we were we already looked through two hell shops. Did not find that shit. Ugh. Yeah, D-Burn, uh, right, Mixu well, is right. You guys can see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Is that cheering sweat link for subs new? No, no, the, the cheering sweat links have always um, been around for subs. You never noticed the cheering sweat links? I mean, they've been around for like 900 days now. <laughs> Oh, the cheering sweatling on stream. That one's been around for a month. Not super long. So yeah, I, I thought you were talking about the bottom of the screen sweatlings. Yeah, the guy the Bialet made the the jumping sweatling, the little woo. Yeah, it's always making amazing stuff. You mean Bialet's Bialet's notification that took you years to implement? <laughs> he's, he's he sounds like he's joking, but Grizzly's actually serious. <laughs> he ain't wrong. How the fuck are we finding everything? The one we're looking for. What is this bullshit? I don't see any poly there. Doesn't mean there isn't any poly. But hey, this just gives us a reason to revisit uh, the Wisp build one day, right? One day we make our return. Check your DMs. Oh, I, I saw it, Grizzly. I saw it. The the negative seven uh, streak uh, discussion. I'm interested. Interested. Spar arc, uh, a few screens below you is uh, plus 50. Uh, you could use one spiral plus one ping pong. The crappy thing is though, the spiral and the orbiting arc and all that shit, they move in such a way that, that I don't like them so much as wisps. I, like, it just, they're frustrating. They, they like run, it's like you have a wisp, but it runs away from you the whole time. It's a wisp that doesn't want to be your wisp. It's like, ah, hey, get away. That's why ping pong, I wasn't so sure. I was like, I didn't know about the results of ping pong so much, but the other ones, they... Bleh. That is a little scary. There's electric immunity in there. Alright. Uh, we do want... Hey! Kill him! Doesn't the pathing effect, uh, effects of spiral such orbiting die out after a while, or am I remembering wrong? Uh, the, on the heel bolt that we had, it definitely did not die off. We had that thing on there for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, and it was still moving jank as hell.
Need to know, Dunk, is that your uh, sweat we're collecting to buy funny pixel apparel? That's your sweat. I am I'm simply um, harvesting sweat from you guys. Circle of Vigor. Now we have literally seen all the, the rare spells. Except for the one that we're looking for. Thanks, game. That's even weirder. <laughs> Lou, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys sweat. It's... it's it's valuable stuff. The gold of the future. Listen, it's because you're over there hearing about all these fake currencies. You're hearing about Bitcoin and Ethereum and the US dollar. These are all scam currencies. There's one currency that makes the world go round, and that's sweat. I'm just simply one of the few people that recognizes this and is leeching all the sweat I can from you guys while I can. I hate how each time the shot's homing over that thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can head over to the... <laughs> Paste? Yeah, that's facts, man. The game doesn't love us. So we have killed two bosses. Whoa. Come on, Wisp. It's when you want it. This is why you want Giga Death Cross because it'll work 100 percent of the time. So you don't have these scenarios where you're just like, come on. Two bosses in six hours, world record pace. I don't know why we're just getting we're getting some really shit luck. I mean, we ha we have good stuff on this on it, but I mean, like we were trying to to build a very specific some some cooler wisp wands, but the game is just not allowing it. Make your wisp wand faster. That's true. If it fires faster, we'll summon it in earlier. This is true. Um. <laughs> there we go. Oh shit, they were really fucking got yeeted away, didn't they? Well, we're just heading down to the portal down here, so I'm gonna jump to the portal on purpose. To send us back to the main area so that we can go kill all the bosses. Sorry chat, no Giga Death Cross home. That's, that's how Noita goes, you know, you gotta work with what you got. And we do have a cool wisp wand anyway, so it's not like the, the end of the world. Alright, end of the portal we go. Uh, this is my wand shop from earlier where we did, did lots of building. And we are going to... First thing we're going to kill is I'm going to kill that... that uh, Put these here, that back, added another add mana. 
Where are the eggs? They are on this one. No, nope, they are on this one. Yes. And we're going to swap those in there for this, I think. Egg. Swap. Um, egg goes here. Put us whatever there. Hmm. Trying to set up a wand so that we can actually throw it, but the thing is, actually throw the egg. Anything else that we put with it will crack the egg almost immediately. Also, I'm trying to think how we're going to kill the Master of Masters. Hmm. Out of all the weakening spells, what do you think uh, is one of the better ones? It's it's probably projectile weakening curse is number one, and then uh, explosion explosion weakening curse is is up there as well. That shit is uh, is high tier loots. But yeah, projectile weakening curse probably number one, explosive number two, and then it just goes down from there. <laughs> My organization skills are carrying over from Terraria. It's just been so much bullshit, man. It's hard to keep up with, uh, like, why are we getting so many multicast one? Like, what the hell is that all about? Like, every one I feel like we're coming across today is, like, another multicast one. See, there, we can use that now. Literally had to change our wands up just so that we could throw an egg at this boss. So, remember all bosses are supposed to be killed with wisps, meaning that uh, we gotta have some wisps prepared here. This one's gonna be kind of a weird fight. We have to throw three eggs at the door boss. Okay, we got it. Alright, and then now we gotta have the Wisp. Okay, the Wisp is just fucking shit up. Alright. That was fast. Wait, I only see... Wait, where's the third drop? One, two... Oh, three, four, okay. So, one, two, three, four. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, door boss is dead. That means that we can get rid of this damn egg. Then this goes in the front. Of course, there's not enough mana to cast this. Jesus. Now we have to swap everything back because the mana pool cannot sustain that one spell. Cool, cool, cool. Move that back. That goes in the front, sure. All right, door boss down. Pyramid boss down. Dragon down, three bosses, uh, nine to go, 12 total. We are heading over to the Master of Masters with a wand that is kind of a dangerous wand to use on the Master of Masters, but I'm just going to say screw it. Oops. It's been a long adventure. Explosive boxes for Master of Masters. But you got to keep in mind that... Our build has to be, we have to kill him with the Wisp. So we have, like, I figured, you know, if we had a Wisp that was coughing up explosive boxes, I, I guess actually that could be not bad. But I figured with we Ambrosia, we're just sending these, we're gonna send in a very deadly combination to fly into the, into that dude. Wait, what, how far down did I go? Okay, there it is. This is the orb. Yeah, right there. Maybe. The boss is right there. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, boss, get over here. Where are you? Oh my god, he started to go down through that gap. Jesus. Alright, a little bit of ambrosia, a little lubed up. Okay, so he does delete those projectiles pretty quickly. Hmm. Trying to think, but here's what we're gonna do. I got, I got the plan. I got the plan. So we create an army of them, right? And then we, and then we go flying in there. Our frames are not gonna be happy with us. That's for sure. Holy shit, I just pumped damage into me. Did you see that fucking damage, dude? <laughs> 2,000 damage to myself. And he barely hurt him. Alright, hold on, let me try a different method. Damn it, I can't quite create a ledge that's steep enough. There it goes. I can't get my character caught on the edge. I'm trying to not have to worry about the kickback. That's a pretty good hit on him. Uh, he's got he's got one more crystal to go, and then we could really light his ass up. Oh, it's so close, man. I'm getting restless. This, I keep missing this one. And so because of that, it's costing me tons of health. Just go over this one purple one, you piece of shit. Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, freak, don't freak out like that. Should have grabbed a recoil damper so I don't have to worry about the kickback, man. Oh, there we go. We're caught on a ledge. Damn, did you see that damage come out on that thing? It was so I don't know why it wasn't catching me on a ledge before, but now it was. Basically, if you get caught on a ledge and keep your character from being kicked back. And once you're not no longer kicked back, you can keep the ambrosia on yourself much easier. All right, we worked hard for this stone. Now we can edit wherever we go. Woo! Uh, we also need to heal ourselves uh, real quick. Time to bust out the healing wisp. I can remember what all we had. Divide by two and drilling, yes. Ah, our healing. Probably should have created a healing wisp at the beginning to make that fight a lot less scary. <laughs> Instead of being like, holy shit! 2,000 damage nearly blew myself up. I was forced to go out uh, for a pub lunch. Did I miss the death cross? You did not, Trogdor. We did not, we literally could not find the spell. It, like, a spell that I see every day for the past three years has for some reason just been deleted off the face of the earth. Which I don't, I don't know why. 
But, you know, that's how RNG goes sometimes. That's what it do. Uh, let me just move all this stuff to the side. And then the stuff that gets swapped in here. Let's see, speed up. This chainsaw. Black hole at the end. Uh, this goes there. Alright, swap these like this. Yes? Okay. Uh, there's like another ad trigger and stuff that that boss drops, but we don't really need too much from him. Wait. How did the... What happened to the wisps? Oh, the black holes pulled away. Like, my children, they're gone. Alright. Drilling goes up here. Piercing up here. Boomerang up here. And... Look for the second drawing on the wall, and then we know we are good. There's drawing number one. There is drawing number two, so we know that Tiny is going to be right below us, which is normally kind of like a stressful moment whenever you're fighting Tiny, but we are melee immune, so it won't be nearly as stressful as it could be. Come on, create some of these bad boys. All right, we got a couple wisps going here. Yeah, maybe I should have taken off the... Uh, Oh my god. Dude, these wisps are sticking to me. Holy fuck. Okay, I got one wisp. Alright, we have two wisps. This should be good enough. Kill Tiny. Go get him. There we go. Tiny got his ass lit up. Uh, we're gonna cast that to get rid of that. If you want to see it in instant replay. You want to see how Tiny dies, you literally, he just, boom. Wisp, Wisp just one tapped his ass. Two of them actually, I think, were there. Whoop. Instant dead. Now remember, if you don't have melee immunity, he can pretty much one shot me with this much health. Which sounds crazy, but it's true. He can do thousands of damage in a matter of seconds. Ah, oh, so there's an exciting moment where you can possibly get beyond a 26 capacity wand, and I was getting kind of hyped for it, but of course we got another 26 capacity. Oh well, oh well. Hmm. Wands still be good though? Yeah, they're not, they're not bad. They're respectable, right? Like, I want to swap out. Alright, chat. I'll hold on to the, the Giga Holy Bomb, the Giga Nuke, because you guys have an illness that apparently I feed into and I enable you guys, but... Um, wait. Oh, Giga... I was thinking, why is Holy Bomb not have a charge amount? It's because Giga Holy Bomb has charges, not a regular Holy Bomb. Infused myself for a moment there. All right, move those there. That there to the front. Do, 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 do. All right, and then we can just get rid of that wand with this wand. We're good. Let me head up to the surface. But yeah, like Akon's like he's asking what a wisp is. Don't 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 feel like you know if you're if you're confused. Like what the hell's a wisp? It's just a nickname that the you may already know about them. It's literally what the community calls infinite projectiles. So it's a projectile like this that will now follow me around and fight as like my teammate almost. Um, it, it looks like it's like a creature or something. That's why they refer to it as wisp, like Navi or some shit. But it's just a. Um, over here it's just a projectile that has an infinite lifetime because of the modifiers how we have it set up and it will attack nearby enemies if they are threatening me so you're like that guy threatened me this guy he looks dangerous fuck him up and that guy oh so yeah, there you go kill that guy boom boom 
So we are about to be trying to fight uh, Mecha Colmy. Get ready for a Mecha Colmy fight. And again, you know, use these enemies to test if you have the right damage. Because remember, he does have certain immunities and crap. But uh, as you can see, my, my Wisps are doing their job. I'm hoping that they don't go flying over there and killing him before I get the opportunity to see him. There he is. Go get him, boys. Go get him. Oh, they got him. Good work. Good work. You beat his ass. And then he drops right here. He drops a, a perk, which is spatial awareness, which will allow us to find uh, another boss, which is going to be way away. So I'll, I'll show you to use that chart in a bit there, or that map. our turret so we can be a true K Kona. Which it actually healed us because of Wand Experimenter there for a moment. Just a turret chilling, no big deal. Which actually that robot that we just killed is the one that uh, actually can I show it again this robot right so you, you see how when the guy died right here there's a skull sitting there afterwards that skull is because of this guy right here now this guy this guy right there I believe that's the exact one right Chad that one makes it where if, if an enemy nearby or one of one of its allies dies, a skull will appear. And if you don't kill that skull after a couple seconds, the, the, the enemy will respawn. He comes back. Well, people have theory crafted up some pretty silly stuff lately. It doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be like game changer or whatever. But some stuff that I have been wanting to try is, for example... You could take that guy hostage, right? Using using like certain spells, you can make him, you can kite him over, like you know, grab him and take him somewhere else. So what you would want to do is you would find this mechanical dude, then you would find um, you would find like a leggy chest, and a leggy chest. When you kill the leggy chest, it dies. It drops a perk. It drops the leggy perk. But if you had this dude here, it would die, drop the leggy perk, and then resurrect. So you could do this several times in a row. And then get a ton of the leggy perks there, like a hundred of them. And then carry a reroll machine over to it and rerolled all the leggy perks. They would all turn into other perks. Now, the downfall to this, uh, and the reason that's not like, oh my god, the most insane shit ever, is that um, whenever you pick up one of those perks, whenever you've rerolled those leggy perks, they've began to get the, uh, the rules of regular perks and the rules of regular perks would be that when you grab one the others disappear so you would want to get a ton of dice perks or at least several dice perks before you did that because you would get like uh, well i mean i guess you could use the you could use the leggy uh perks to try to get lots of dice perks but the point is there's some really interesting farms that you could create with this guy and his resurrection see he, he even resurrects this guy you can actually see it happen right below him see the machine um the machine right here whenever i kill him you're gonna see a skull appear and then after the skull doesn't die for a second he comes back see a skull appears and then he comes back oops well skull appears and then he resurrects and then he dies again but, yeah, there's there's some cool science that you can do with that uh, the reason i brought that up is because it has been brought up in the noita community recently because some people posted um uh same concept but the person was doing it with a, a ghost that carry wands and then whenever you let the when the ghost dies and then he resurrects, he's carrying another different wand. So you can actually farm wands with that method. Though it would be very weird that you need to because usually at the point that you can grab that guy, that mechanical dude, and carry him there, at that point usually wands don't mean very much to you, or not nearly as much. Has anyone tried polymorphing themselves near the necrobot and seeing what happens? I think I know what would happen, but I haven't, but I haven't seen it done. 
So, uh, no, I haven't seen it done necessarily, I don't think. I don't, I've never seen it, because the resurrect should happen, right? But not on you. What'll happen is it'll spawn another, like, entity, and then you'll be dead, I'm pretty sure is how it goes. But, yeah, I can't, I can't say that I know it. I know the interaction. So we have killed... Uh, hold on. Oops. One... Uh, so this guy was number one. No, this guy was number... Yeah, it was number one. One, then the dragon, then the door boss, the master of masters, tiny, mecha Colmy. We have six bosses remaining. And I really... I, th I think our build should be fine against the alchemist as well. I think we're pretty much fine for everybody. We, we've done like a build that is both... Um, it does do explosion damage, but also it has a weakening curse for projectiles as well. And the chainsaws have slice damage. I think it should work. I think we have just about everything covered. He was number one. What's up, Raz? How's it going, man? He says, second dunk stream I could catch. Whoop, whoop. Now, we are running a little bit late today, aren't we? Uh, today, uh, Today's run, earlier in the run, I was like, you know what? We're going to be fast. We're gonna be efficient. Let's try to let's try to make it so that this this isn't too long of a watch for the YouTube peeps. Proceed to like look for one spell for like three hours. It's like oh my god, uh, it's it's not as clean of a video as I was hoping. Uh, where's the oh? So look at the background. Watch the background. Watch the house back there. We got the house set up. Now we're gonna create a couple infinite projectiles. Got a couple of these bad boys going. All right, all right. And then, oops, I, I launched them off. That was not what I planned. Okay, they're still there. We're still good. All right, so here we go. We're about to be jumping into the alchemist and hope our spells just instantly warp onto him and instant kill him. Okay, his shield was up. <laughs> that was not as I planned. His shield has to be down for this to work. All right, I think, I think one of them may actually work. Get him, get him. There we go. When his shield, his shield is up, he just swallows the projectiles, essentially, just... So that's why whenever they first went after him, it just poof. Alright, uh, is there anything we want here? Not really, I mean, Alpha and Gamma, they're all pretty decent. We, we'll just grab Alpha for the, for the hell of it. Okay, apparently there's a key in the way. Get out of here, key. 8.7k versus Alchemist. It was a fair fight. What are you talking about? It was an even 1v1. You just Anything could have happened. Oh, bridge boss. Should probably do the bridge boss while we're here. That was number... Hold on. Let's 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 see where the friendly boss is. So we're right here. Friendly boss is down here. Alright, we can... We can deal with that. Friendly boss, here we come. So remember, if you're curious how we see that map, that's because we killed Mecha Colmy. He dropped a perk, which is pretty much a map. We are the red dot. The friendly boss is the green dot. That's how you kind of break down where to look for him. And there he is. There's a guy just having a, an outing with his family as they all start to spit on you. But don't worry. Don't worry. We get the last laugh. In fact, let me go up here and summon in, uh... Yeah, there you go. Sick the wisp on him. Get him, boy! Get him, wisp! Fuck him up! Oh, shit. Uh... Get the big fella. I don't trust him. There we go. So there, you just, you know... Wipe out a whole, a whole family. They started it, though. They started spitting on me. So we don't have to feel guilty about it. Guilt-free murder. Okay, so we killed the friendly boss. The ones that remain... That should be eight bosses down. The ones that remain, so that means four bosses remain. Um, the bridge boss, the leviathan, the forgotten, and then Colmy, which is the final boss. Those are our four remaining bosses. Let's go smack them. Now, bridge boss is going to be the one. The... The most pain in the ass of the bosses that we have left. Because our build is not set to do shit to him. <laughs> Just bridge boss cheese. Well, the point is, that's supposed to kill all the bosses with wisps. 
Can the bridge boss spawn a wisp? Uh, no, no, I, I don't. I mean, like, I think it just mirrors, it, it'll mirror a projectile individually. It doesn't copy, like, the setup of the projectile. At least I don't think there's anything like that that I can do. I've never seen him do anything like that. I think he just copies literally just, like, individual spells. Pop a plasma cross in there, but then it, they'll, they'll hit me with the plasma cross. Oh, I forgot the bridge boss is going to spawn early. Remember we set it up that way earlier in the run? All right, here we go. Way earlier we had already grabbed this, so... Bridge boss was just waiting to smack us around. All right, here we go. Go, my children, go. I'm a little scared to go look, so he's got to... Yeah, they're not... They're not doing a ton of damage, as you can see. This may take a bit. So keep in mind, if you're curious, why why is this build not that great against the bridge boss? The bridge boss is like, like a counter to this build. Um, the bridge boss is where, when it gets hit, he goes invincible for a bit. So you, whenever you do hit him, you want to hit him very hard. So the build against the bridge boss, and the norm, in, in terms of non-cheese builds, is a single projectile that hits with a ton of damage. A wisp is not a single pro I mean, a wisp itself looks like it's a single projectile, but where the damage comes from is the payload. Oh shit, he must have killed him. He came back. Yeah. Where the wisp damage comes into play is the payload that it delivers. So all of these chainsaws and everything are the damage. The wisp is one projectile, and then every time it touches an enemy, it delivers this whole payload multiple times. Like, pretty much every frame it's sitting on top of an enemy, it's hitting them with more and more chainsaws and explosions and shit rapidly. That's what makes the wisp so special, but the, that boss was only getting hit by a single chainsaw. Single one of them was hitting him, and he was, he was going invincible for the rest of the probably other thousands and thousands of damage. Then the invincibility frames would go away, he would take one hit from one chainsaw, and then that's it. Just that's why it takes a bit. There's been a, oh, there's a, there's some thick sweat deposits going down. Give me a moment. Where this run is getting getting near its end, and then I'll make sure I check out this girthy sweat from the chat. Um, that is there's three bosses remaining. Let me haul in over to their side. I can I, I can glance now. Peachy dropping off a hundred thousand sweat says. Uh, this took me uh, not long at all, and it was not worth it. <laughs> I am sweaty. Wait, what? <laughs> As PC drops off a hundred thousand sweat, my dude. <laughs> this took me not long at all, and it was not worth it. Uh, ben off dropping off a hundred cases. This took me so damn long. But man, it was worth it. I am sweaty. Okay, now that makes sense. Uh, Peachy's coming makes a little more sweat. <laughs> you used your 100k to parody Ben Off's 100k? Thank you guys, both Ben Off and, uh, and Peachy. I appreciate you guys for lurking so much, though. That's some extreme sweat levels. There are at least three 100ks today. I'll make sure to glance at the channel points in a bit here to so nobody gets left out. Just think about that, the sweatling swag you can get for that. Exactly. You'd be looted out of your mind. Not only that, think of the potential features in Dunkbot 2.0 that you may have access to with that thick sweat. Wow. Shocker. It's it's mind-blowing. <laughs> Copium? That's it's factium. Factium. If you're curious, why, by the way, why I'm falling so fast in the water, don't forget, I do have Breathless. I have the perk Breathless. It makes you move faster in the water. You're just all around, all an ass. Uh, okay, so I always line it up here, and then I just go directly up. Sorry, I don't believe in vaporware. <laughs> hey, what the hell, man? Uh, okay, where's... There he is. There he is. Hello, Leviathan. So keep in mind with the Leviathan that homing does not work. Um, so the shots aren't going to home onto him. What we need to do is make the shots run directly over him. Which is going to be a little tricky without getting ourselves blown up. There we go. Come on, finish him. Oh shit, they went for the fish. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 
Oh no. Damn it. I never keep up with that. The chase of the uh the greater chest, but I'm too scared to open the chest mid-air because you risk a polymorphine flask just blasting you in the face. I mean every once in a while I'll open it mid-air, but for the most part, it's a little scary. So, by the way, here's the Leviathan portals, which I think I just saw a heal blow up here. I'm trying to remember, chat, which one is the forgotten portal? Uh, the one that's not necessarily the forgotten portal, it's near the orb. It's this bottom left one, right? Or correct, I should say. What happened to all the water? So, once you kill the Leviathan, all the water in your world transforms into steam. So my flask that I had that was filled with water is now, or not steam, smoke. Smoke transforms. So when you pour out the water, it is smoke. That's why I held off killing the Leviathan earlier because I didn't want to have to deal with, because uh, earlier I needed it for like toxic sludge and stuff because you use water to wash it off. But now I have the immunity so it's not as big of a deal. Um, bottom left is hell. Bottom, bottom right is hell. Yeah, so the bottom left. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Worst case scenario, we can get over to where we need to get. Yeah, okay, this is what we went through earlier. Well, not through this area. It was, on a, it was a, in a parallel world, but... So this one will be kind of funny because normally uh, the, the scary thing about this boss fight is you have to place the eye like in a way that you can place the eye and then shoot the uh, oh, I really wish you guys could the see boss. This guy right now. He is but we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that because uh, our shots will literally run after or just like they'll stick with me mainly. But we'll just jump into the boss is all we got to do while holding the eye. It's very simple. Give me one second chat. We'll sweat it up. I just gotta find where this freaking boss is. Uh, prepare my shots. Hello? Really? There we go. There we go. Alright, we bring out the eye so we can see the boss, and now we just need to find him. Where is he? Here he is. And he's dead. And he's out of there. Uh, and if you're curious, we can throw away the, the eye now. And we have the Sun Seed, which this Sun Seed right here is how you do the Sun Quest. Be very careful when using black holes around it, though, because the black holes will eat up that, uh, that item that he drops. But we're not doing the Sun Quest right now, so we don't give a shit. Uh, hey, what's up, Nitrum? With a 12-monther, yo. Uh, hold on, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. He says, you ever fart in your sleep and it smells so bad it wakes you up? My god, Nitrum. Nitrum, Nitrum, no! That's it, Nitrum's dignity has been thrown out the window. He's sleep subbing. That's a thing, chat. Don't you hate it when you're, you you wake up and you, you're, you're assuming it's a dream that you subbed to my channel and posted that and then you later find out it's reality. You go to the VODs and see it happen for real. That's what's gonna happen to Nitrum. Thanks for the love, Nitrum. I hope you're doing well, man. Uh, by the way, I shout out Strobeski. I shouted shout you out earlier for the 25 month there, right? I better have. I better have. Otherwise I have failed you as a streamer. Uh, Klimpert and Tech, thank you guys for the follows. Appreciate you. That is going on YouTube, the YouTube video for all time. Yeah, exactly. History will, will remember the day that that Nitrum woke himself up from a fart. We'll never forget. All right. Now, just the final boss, right? We've killed 11 bosses. There are 12 bosses uh, total. Let's bring it home. Does the Leviathan kill or remove water in parallel worlds too? Yep, water is gone from our all worlds. Just gone. <laughs> Aquellus, Aquellus, he's he look, is is Aquellus Nitrum's like alter count because he's trying to uh, he's trying to convince me to cut out Nitrum's uh, comment. <laughs> it's like please, for Nitrum's sake, it's it's too bad. It's going on YouTube. Not, the YouTube community will know Nitrum as that one fart guy. There's no going back. 
Uh, this fight should be very easy for us. So what's gonna happen is we gotta wait for him to about uh, to, Oh, he's about to put his shield down. There you go. No! So we have to wait for his shield to go down, and then we send in our, our Wisp. We are actually getting scammed right now. Wow, that's terrible luck, but whatever. Oh, there, kill him, kill him! There we go. Because when his shield is up, he just blocks everything, so... That's why we had to wait till his shield was down. Boom. Alright, maybe this time I don't fuck up running away from the goal. Maybe this time. You! GG, thank you, chat. Thank you for the love. This time- hey, last time I failed, chat, I embarrassed myself. I, I told chat how professional gamers go to the sun to die, and then I just died immediately before <laughs> before getting out of the gold room. This is my chance to redeem myself, chat. I need this. I need this. Pro gamers go to the dark sun, and that is where I'm going, baby. Could Wiss kill a 30-plus or boss? Yeah, yeah, I imagine, like, uh... I mean, you could make it where a Wisp could kill um, uh, the the hardest to kill the hardest boss in the game, right? Like the tankiest boss there is. I don't think there's really any limitations. You can make a Wisp that spawns Wisps. Like, it, it, you're not really that limited. I mean, it's as limited as your creativity and the engine will let you go. Miss my 50k? Simo, don't worry. We're about to check out those thick sweat deposits. See what you guys got. First, I need to leap into the sun real fast. Oh, and just to be sure that I'm not crazy about the whole deleting projectiles thing, the, the sun deleting projectiles, let's try to create a infinitely uh, healing wisp while we're in the dark sun and see if uh, see how that goes. Boomerang, piercing, drilling. I think that's everything we need, right? Oh, we can go ahead and put a chainsaw on the end here. Actually, no, we have an extra chainsaw. No, what am I doing? This, okay, hold up. <laughs> Please hold. Ah, uh, that's not firing how I want to at all. That doesn't matter, hold on. Use alpha instead? Oh, that's actually a good idea. Wait, we have a wisp though. We're in wisp business. Do you mean to divide by two the boomerang? Yeah, didn't I? I'm doing it right, right? I'm wanting the I'm wanting the um, the wisp to stick on me as uh, much as possible. If I if I do uh, swap out the alpha, move this to the beginning, put this down here, is it? Better result. No. Hard a machine gun with drilling shot as it uh, adds recharge time. Oh yeah, I wasn't even thinking. Well, leave it to Durium to point out where I'm missing my calculations there. Daddy Dunk, why does reduce lifetime make it last forever? If you set the timer at exclamation mark, or not exclamation mark at minus one, uh, negative one, uh, it, it makes it results in the projectile having an infinite lifetime. Peachy actually linked you something that is oh wrong wrong uh, wrong wiki that's fandom wrong wiki. You want to go to uh, this one right here? That's the wiki GG fandom wiki. Apparently, in the gaming community, it's been deleted from the gaming community. They they say it's I don't know it's like ad heavy or something. So all the cool communities moved over to WikiGG for their wikis. So, um, yeah, there's a there's a guide right there. Uh, I'll post it in the description of the YouTube video as well. Uh, if this ends up being entertaining enough to go on YouTube, but there we go. We have an infinite healing projectile following us. But I I think at the moment that we get into the dark sun, it gets deleted. Is how it goes. So, oh well. But time to go for a swim, boys. 
Try to keep the try to keep the heel near me. It's gone. Wisp, where are you? <laughs> Come back to me, Wisp. Uh, did you have saving grace? Yeah, I did have saving grace. <clears throat> I would have to I would have to grab the circle of vigor and then like spam cast it while I was in the sun, then I could have stayed alive. But I just wanted to see. I I, I was pretty certain like cuz Latali I think I said it several times where uh, projectiles get deleted while oh, they're in well, the sun. I wish you guys could see this guy right so you'd have to circle of vigor over and over. There it is, guys. Uh, hey, look at that! What the hell? I have a new record for enemies slain. Oh, cause the ghost, the the ghost that we are farming, normally we 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 create builds that are trick kills on the ghosts, but because uh, because we had so much damage, I was just straight up damaging them regularly, and I got credited for the most. That's crazy. The way yeah, the wand farm uh, was set up perfectly to farm enemies slain. It's actually the highest amount I've ever gotten. So there you go, new record in today's run. New record. What a gamer, casual PB. Yeah, what can I say? No big deal. Um, honestly, it's it is actually no big deal. If you guys are curious, that that literally just means if we sat in the holy mountain and farmed wands longer, we get to push that number up even crazier. But the, the Wisps also get some credit because I was kind of mindlessly moving around and they were out there slaying. Yeah, only took eight hours. Only took eight hours. Uh, Tom, thank you for the Prime 5 month there. He says, GG. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate the love. Uh, in case this goes up on YouTube, I don't know how entertaining it was, but I don't have any 1080p runs on YouTube yet. So maybe this will be the one I put up there. Uh, but chat... In case this is, uh, you know, put down in history, annoyed to history as my first 1080p YouTube run. What would you like to say to the end? Make it, make it something clever, something that you can be remembered on, so, something that you would want put on your gravestone for your children to see. Okay, half of you are, one of these days you guys will be something besides Poggies. <sighs> Come on, chat. This was your moment. Why am I shadow banned? All right, that's it. I thought I thought maybe this would be the day that Chad had something to respawn in. <laughs> on your on your grave, you wanted to say respawn. <laughs> respawn in five, four. Not Jay Collins with the thirteen monther says good morning, old man. Hey, good morning, not Jay Collins. I appreciate the the thirteen monther. Thank you for the support. Dunker Slam is a responsible streamer. There we go. Finally, a reasonable person in our community. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. He definitely wasn't saying that like being ironic or something. He was being serious. Let's get that off the screen. Boom. I, I'm I'm sorry, YouTube. I know every time we try this, they spam Poggies, but I keep thinking one of these days they'll go in there, like I'll put it on screen, and they'll say something that is not completely degenerate. So far, I'm like 0 for 7, I think. Something like that. Um, but thank you guys over on YouTube for checking the video out.